Hi guys, in this 100 days we are visiting a little place called Russia. I am playing as Ivan Drago and have spawned in the main city of Dol, Dolkrob, Dolkobrun, Dol... Dolgoprudny. Yep, that's the one. Our goal for this one is to mainly try and explore but also survive the cold and harsh weather. As I am playing with Cryogenic Winter, as always, all mods are linked in the description so do check them out. This really is an amazing map with lots of detail. And do remember, if you aren't subscribed already and do enjoy my content, please go down and subscribe now as it really helps the channel out. Or drop a like if you are already subscribed. And now a quick word from today's sponsor. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to try and start a survivor colony in the zombie apocalypse? Well, with today's sponsor, Indifferent Broccoli, look no further. These guys offer one of the best server hosting services I've ever seen. You don't need to get bogged down with a nitty gritty, just select how many players you want and you're off. From just you and a few mates to a full blown community, these guys got you covered. You can even get a two day free trial without any credit card details needed with my link below. So go check it out now. Thanks Indifferent Broccoli for sponsoring this video, now let's get on with it. Okay guys, we are back with a brand new series in the lovely place of Russia. We spawned in the major city, kind of, so we've got a lot to explore here. The plan is to really secure this area. Oh, look at these houses down here. Yeah, we've got a lot to do in this map. We're playing as the one and only Ivan Drago. Let me know in the comments if you know who that is. Traits, we started with the usual stuff. All of my standard stuff there. I'll leave that up for a little bit so you can have a look at it. But we've also got the starter backpack because I don't know what this map's like. I don't know what the zombie pops like. I don't know. So I thought give ourselves a chance, give ourselves a starter pack and go from there. So as always, in the first 10, we're going to be securing the house. I don't know what's it, what it's like around here. I really do not know. I don't know what the loot's like. I don't know everything. I wanted to try this map for a while, but I have been waiting until it's been updated a few times. And we have also got cryogenic winter on as well. But it is the easy mode because, well, I've never actually played with the mod. And I don't want to be stuck in inside the whole hundred days as well so let's just get all these curtains closed we got a lot of food in here loot settings is just standard apocalypse we are playing on apocalypse setting except the usual changes which is a map just to save time i don't want to be running around all over the place not knowing where i'm going because it's boring for me and it'll be boring for you to watch so yeah all mods of course will be linked in the description we're not we're playing pretty light because the russia mod it does come with a load of other mods as well so there's a mod for weapons clothing everything like that let's actually go down and secure our initial area here shall we well we got a garage which is nice this is really good Good, actually i like this oh we got a car down there potentially oh look at this look at this to get us started take the screwdriver so we are going to be getting cold so we got to wrap up warm hopefully the clothing mods that come with this mod do give us good uh insulation and everything like that take the wrench as well yeah so i kind of want to explore the area oh we could probably get up there as well now i think same as durka Dome, we have a map but it doesn't accurately show all of the color of the buildings which is fine because at least we can explore some bits i do want to venture out at some point to the other towns as well but i think a good starting point is the city i kind of wish i started in the city in durka Dome, to be honest so i thought we'll do it in russia because why the hell not? Like I said, don't know what the zombie pop's like. So that should be interesting. There we go. We've got ourselves a nice hoodie anyway. Now what about this car? Is this in good condition? Can we have a car straight off the bat? Wow, that is in very good condition. And it has gasoline. Oh, this is amazing actually. Okay, so there's no key in there. But at least we have a car now. Which is good. We just need to learn how to hotwire. And then we're good to go. Really? Are these open? Whoa, Jesus Christ. Get out of it. Pipe wrench, nice. Yeah, so standard apocalypse. The only difference is, of course, we have the map, but also I turn respawn off as well because who the hell likes playing with respawn? <laughs> oh my god, we found a sledgehammer straight away. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Right, let's just wait in here. Wait it out. <laughs> what is it with me and alarms? Jeez. Let's just wait for it to go off and we'll see what. Well, that's drawn out. I mean, I imagine it's brought quite a few over, so we may have to rethink this, but we'll see. There is a lot of fences and stuff around, so it might be all right. Okay, it hasn't brought that many over, actually. Oh, or maybe it has. Oh, or maybe it has. Whoa, okay, okay. Oh, jeez, it has, it has, it has. Okay, we, we've got to we've got to abort that. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, let's abort. <laughs> let's get down here. 
We'll look at one of these houses for the time being. We will go back up there, though, because it's got our sledgehammer and all that stuff in there. We'll take a classic watch for now. I actually don't mind this house. It's got a stove in it. It's got plenty of storage. Take that can opener. Probably get some food in as well, because we have started underway. We got any high-calorie stuff? Turn that bloody TV off. Less windows here as well. Maybe, maybe we base here. Right, let's clear the area out here, because I think we'll stay here for the night at least. Yeah, so everything's like different, like the can opener's different, it's all from the the mods that are added with the Russia mod, which is pretty good actually, I like that. So some stuff that I'd normally just glance at and say, no, yeah, we're not going to know, so we're going to take our time a little bit with this one. Oh, we got cigarettes, that's nice. No key though, that's fine. What is that in there? That looks pretty interesting. And it's got walls all around it, this could be good. Let's go and have a look at this. Oh, this this is nice. This is nice. Oh, there's a there's a grave outside. Oh, and it doesn't have a wall on the back. Okay, okay. Well, this oh no, it doesn't look too good in there, does it? It looks like there was some accident in there or some incident. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of stoves around, which is pretty nice, actually. Cod liver. Oh, that's high calories. We'll eat that. Yeah, so it changes all the food items and everything. So I've got to keep my wits about me and not just glance over stuff. Scissors will take. Yeah, so even adhesive tape. Look at that. A lot of effort's definitely been put into this. What's this? Peaked army cap. We don't really need. Dog tag. So I guess this guy was a soldier. Oh, yeah, this is what we want. Box of MREs. We still have that mod on. <laughs> What's this? Intermediate mechanics. Okay. We will actually mock stuff off as we go because we all know what I'm like. This could potentially be a little uh, a little base for us here, though. Let's try and get in some houses. Really need a digital watch because we need to know what the temperature is. Let's just duck in this house here. Okay, so as always, what we're looking for is electronics, carpentry, everything like that, really. Oh, wow, look, Back to the Future poster, brilliant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, wow, look, we got some seed-bearing stuff. Oh, a fanny pack. Yes, please. Yeah, we got some seed-bearing stuff right here. Well, let's take this. Because why the hell not, eh? <laughs> 20 cabbage. And we got cabbage seeds now as well. We've done it. We've completed the game. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to our little temporary base over here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe, maybe we stay in here just for the first few days anyway. Maybe until the helicopter's been and gone. That might be a good idea. Just because there's less windows. We can go up and clear our potential base, our starter house tomorrow and get all of our stuff stuff oh let's eat that margarine get them calories going yeah we're pumping we're pumping okay so it looks like we've actually cleared this area out a little bit maybe let's get down to this construction site see if there's anything down there oh we do have some bits here Ah, paint. Not interested in paint. More paint. <laughs> Ooh, hatchet. Could be going axes. Okay, but it's 20 past 9 on the first day. We have survived. It was a little bit touch and go there for a bit with that bloody alarm. But yeah, we we have made it. So we're probably going to go to bed soon tomorrow. I think we're going to try and get back into them storage units up there. Let's just bring the mappage up. Where are we? Here. Yeah, so we're going to try and get back up there because it's kind of on a main street. I want to check that out as well. That could be some kind of... I think that's an air airport you know i think that's going to be an airport they might find some guns in there possibly i think it's a military airport we've also got this boat here yeah we got a we got a lot to explore and this one we're not actually right in the center of the city as well so we probably had a lucky escape there but it is 11 o'clock we're gonna to go to bed we'll see you tomorrow okay day two well we've survived the night now i want to try and get back up to that house at least close some zombies out because i feel we might be able to get some good loot from them storage lockers there let's at least go and see how we're looking zombie wise we got a few here don't like all these trees still need a bloody digital watch and this guy has one on him right here. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so it doesn't actually look like there's that many over here, which is quite nice. I'm not complaining about that. A couple of the bastards around our house. So get out of it. Oh, I think they got in our house. Oh, God, yeah, they have. Look, at, get out of it, you bastards. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. They've trashed our windows, which isn't ideal. Oh, look at that. And police car. Let's go see if that's got gas. Oh, well, there goes the bat. Is this a police station then, maybe? Doesn't look like it. I mean, we'll take any of these if they've got a key or 
police baton we got pistol first aid kit yeah let's take that oh it does have does have the key it just needs gas let's check the engine i quite like the look of this thing actually oh it's in good condition as well i think we'll probably take it now we do not have vehicle armor on on this playthrough so i don't know if it would work with these oh wow oh wow uh yeah i think we'll take the uh the ak empty gas can okay so we got a gas can. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I've got to be careful. You know, I mean, that that is not like the, you know, that's a grey. It's not red. I normally look for red. Oh, yeah, that's a gas can, just instinctively. Oh, oh, there's a few over here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a shop here. Let's see some tortillas. Let's try and get that weight pump in. Take all the chips we can. Maybe we can get ourselves some other stuff as well. Is it a general store or just a food store? It looks like it's just a food store, but that's fine. Maybe a how to use generators? No. <laughs> oh, we got gas in here. Okay, so we've put the gas in. That might have actually even filled it up, you know. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff here. Let's transfer. Oh, no, not to the floor. Not... No, we want the chocolate. Okay, we have transport. Look at this. What a bloody start. I mean, it doesn't handle the best, but actually, what's this house here? Well, let's drive this down because we don't be driving around all over the place. And I like that there's high walls everywhere. That's nice. Let's go dump a load of this stuff inside. Now, I'm a bit worried about this house because we, we've lost a few of the windows. Let's go and clear these bastards out down here. Oh god, yeah, see we're on minus 18 already. Okay, so this place looks fairly secure. We have a garage as well. Doesn't really have a lot in it. Well, it's got a load of mufflers and stuff. Not that we need it, but it does have a lot of storage though. Anything good in here? Now, I was going to say it hasn't got an upstairs for a rain collector, but... But I've just realized we ain't going to be... Oh, it has got an antique stove. I've just realized we're not going to be using rain collectors, are we? Because it's going to be bloody snowing all the time. That's put a spanner in the works, hasn't it? Oh, bearded axe. Uh, yes. Looks like we are going axes. It's fine by me. Don't like this bed here because I can't actually... We can close the curtains now. Yeah, I think, I think we actually stay here. We can sleep on the couch. That's fine. It's a little bit tight, but it'll do the job. That's for sure. A couple of books and that. Okay, so I think this, this will be better. So let's actually go and grab all of our stuff. Oh, we got snow. We got snow. It's going to be a cold one. I mean, I don't actually know what the temperatures are in Russia. I know it does get cold. I mean, obviously, it's, I mean, I guess some parts are minus all the time because it's a pretty big country. That's for sure. All right, let's go down to that other little mini base that we had where we stayed the night. So it doesn't actually look that busy, this part of the map, which... I'm not complaining about. I guess, you know, in the city, it's going to be a completely different story. Anything else worth taking while we're here? Maybe the books and the comic books and stuff for when the helicopter comes. Because helicopter is set to come on. We'll take this food as well. We take the cabbage. We probably don't need the cabbage because, obviously, we need to gain weight. We'll take the hand trowel. I mean, we're probably not going to be able to do any farming, actually, because of the weather. Maybe we take a couple of curtains as well, just in case. Oi, easy there, fella. All right, let's get out of it. Let's get back to our new lovely base. All right, we are home. Let's grab some of the stuff out. I think we're probably going to be leaving the sledgehammer in there, aren't we? Let's just do a search of the perimeter just to make sure there are no windows that we haven't seen. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Claustrophobic in here. Let's dismantle some stuff because we don't... Oh, we don't have a saw. Okay. Well, you know what we got to do. It's all going on the floor for now. Okay, we'll pop the empty gas can back in the car. We got anything on us? Let's actually eat ourselves some peas. All right, but we are, well, we're kind of secure, I'm going to say. We could do with a few more books, that's for sure, for when the held heli does come. But a pretty successful couple of days. How is the weight looking? 72, not bad. All right, it's 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to go and have a look in them storage units, I think. See if we can get ourselves a saw or something like that but we'll see you in the morning all right day three let's get up and out i think we're going to do houses today and look for some more books and get ready for when the helicopter comes ah uh, the snow is starting to settle which is nice yeah let's do the houses around our our house shall we oh long blunt upper level nice probably are going to be going axes though so oh we got zombies in here not finding too many skill books. Oh, this is a nice house. I'd say we'd move here. Oh, no, they broke down the gate anyway. I'm going to say we'd move here, but as I said, there's not really much point in having an upstairs. Well, actually, to be fair, it'd be nice to have a rope, sheet rope down, wouldn't it? But 
We'll find where we are. Yeah, I don't think food's going to be the problem. It's going to be the water, isn't it? We will take that needle, though. And we will take them beta blockers. Thank you. Oh, we got carpentry one. Nice. You could really do with electronics one, though. Or maybe a nice new backpack. And we do have a cupboard. Because we can't put armor on it, I've got a feeling we're not going to have that car very long, to be honest. So it'd be nice to be able to hotwire. Oh, look at this. Survive this hiking backpack. Thank you very much. Get rid of the school bag. We don't want you anymore. Nice. Nice. Amazing. Amazing. All right, we're feeling a little bit better now. Okay, we didn't actually loot this house, so we will go in here. I just want books. Well, I want a lot of stuff, but books are the priority. And magazines and stuff like that. Oh, wow, look at this. Nice satchel kicking around somewhere. Fishing, uh, we'll take it. Well, actually, let's, let's look for any bottles we can and get as much filled up as oh we would have that ice cream yeah get as many bottles filled up as we can for when the water inevitably goes out oh look at all of them down there they're a bit late to the party aren't they okay so we are home it's yes very cramped in here i might look at smashing some of these doors through yeah we can definitely do some uh some work in here can't we uh, i think weapons will go in here for now yeah let's get smashing bit too claustrophobic for my liking there we go that's a bit better at least not a lot but at least we can walk around here now yeah so we're probably gonna hang around for the rest of the days it's getting a little bit late and i think tomorrow we'll go we'll go to them shops and maybe just maybe try and get in them industrial units okay but it's 20 past 11 yeah we're gonna go to bed we're very tired tomorrow yeah, we'll go to them shops and get all the bottles of water and everything like that we can, so we'll see you then. Okay, day four. Weather is, well, 22 inside. How's our weight? 75. Have we lost underweight yet? Not quite. But we got to be a little bit careful here. So let's just eat this fresh stuff. Let's eat an onion just to take some of that hunger away. Right, let's go in that shop and see what we can find, i.e. water. Because I know there was a big water bottle in here. Oh, we got a hell of a lot of water, that's for sure. Especially once we fill this bottle up. Do we have this tank here? I don't think we can actually get in this. I think it's just, hmm, interesting. Maybe, maybe we could. Yeah, I mean, the engine's in good condition, but don't know why we can do anything, to be fair. Okay, so we have filled, look at all this, all this water we've got. It's a good giant water bottle. Yeah, that can't go anywhere. So let's put that, yeah, let's put it in there. We will have a proper sword out. I will knock some walls down get some crates built and stuff like that but let's actually try and get in them storage units now i think and see what we've uh see what we've got over there there was a few of the bastards down here isn't there but oh we want that multi-tool oh propane torch yes yes we want the multi-tool also want a saw ah ask and thou shall receive what other goodies can we find in here? Getting a lot of propane tanks. Not complaining, not complaining. Ooh, crowbar. Yeah, we'll take that. It's nice that all these are open. <laughs> oh, electronics one. Yes, we wanted that. We will take metalwork in too as well. Ooh, wood axe. We'll take it, we'll take it. Don't know if we'll probably use that because it does tie you out, but we'll have it anyway. Oh, that's the key, I guess, for that car. Yeah, we'll have that. Is it for this car? Yeah, it is, okay. And this has got gas as well. We'll have two cars, why not, eh? Let's take it home. Actually, handles quite nice. Probably not the best boot storage, but at least we got a second car now if we need it. Oh, we did get an assortment of goodies, mainly electronics, which is really good. Okay, so the multi-tool does what? A knife, scissors, can opener, corkscrews. It doesn't actually work as scissors, though, does it? I can't remember. We'll keep the scissors anyway, but... Oh, we've actually got a bookcase there. Let's put all our books in there, because we're actually running out of space in here. Okay, all done. Let's dismantle some of this stuff now, get it out of the way. Okay, there we go. we got a bit more space. Oh, we've actually gained a level in carpentry just from dismantling stuff. Nice. Okay, we have uh, cleared some space out here, haven't we? I'm thinking I might destroy this antique stove because we can't pick it up and move it and then find another one and put it on this wall just so it's not right in the way there. Okay, but it's 10 past 11. We are going to get a bed and then we're going to have some base days because the helicopter is due. We've got a lot of books to read, so that's fine. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, so day five. So we could have the helicopter any time now, so... We're going to hunker down and we're going to do reading as we usually do. Now, I think we're actually going to start off with uh, maybe carpentry, I reckon. Right, let's just crack on and get, get a reading. Oh, we already know carpentry.
carpentry one, apparently. Oh, yeah, because we start with 11 in carpentry, didn't we? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so we don't need carpentry one. We will keep the books for starting fires and everything like that. Do we have carpentry two? No, we don't. Okay, well, we won't be reading carpentry. Let's read electronics then. Just realised our weight is at 75 and we've lost underweight, so that's good. And we're not gaining weight anymore, so maybe have maybe have some chips. Go on, Ivan. Have some chips in you. Okay, so we just finished electronics one, which is really nice. We need a smoke. We're very hungry. We may as well fill our water up as well. We're going to have to eat then something. Let's have some salmon. Why not? Let's start reading mechanics one i think okay it's half past 11 we didn't get mechanics done of course we only read 77 pages so we're gonna go to bed tomorrow well same again same again we'll see you then okay day six let's just crack straight on with mechanics let's get this bad boy red probably get some food in us as well because we are very hungry we've got to be careful of these calories though let's uh yeah vegetable soup that's filling isn't it surely uh it did actually do quite a bit <laughs> let's have another one there we go lovely stuff yeah i think we might destroy this thinking about it and go and get another one maybe that's a job for when the helicopter's been actually okay that's mechanics red still fairly early in the day that is good 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 what else we got probably do metal working i would say next let's have a smoke though maybe a crossword we'll do a crossword as well because we are getting a little bit bored actually do a magazine read a mag there we go right let's get this metal working red right it's 20 to 12 we didn't quite get metal working red we're going to get a bed and we'll finish it off tomorrow we'll see you then okay day seven we got snow outside no sign of the helicopter just yet we can actually dismantle this stuff now because we've read electronics and so let's just dismantle everything electronical how much skills does that give us not a lot <laughs> oh well probably get some food in as well let's actually read a magazine as well let's do it let's actually do a crossword today let's get some food the storm is going out there sounds like we might have a bit of thunder in the distance as well possibly uh, have some tomatoes and some sprats i'm not too sure what sprats are they're pretty good on calories though not so good on the hunger what do we actually have on the floor here so let's put these guns and weapons away let's try and tidy up a little bit being as we are just kicking around base we may as well do something new so i know we got to read the books and everything still but it's fine well looks a little bit better in here anyway not amazing but we're getting there we're getting there and we got all this junk over here that's fine it's fine right let's finish reading metalworking okay metalworking done nice 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 yeah we got a storm a coming luckily the power's still on so we have heating in our house but i mean we have this stove anyway but right what are we gonna read next then maybe maybe cooking i suppose yeah let's read cooking oh we have the helicopter we have the helicopter okay we gotta be careful here day seven not bad day to have it so we've got a couple left now after it's been a gone let's just fast forward a little bit here okay so it sounds like it has gone i think we escaped that now we may as well finish reading cooking today and then tomorrow we can actually get out and do a bit more exploring again which is gonna be nice god look at this bearded axe that's such good damage wow hatchet ain't bad either okay so we've read cooking that's fine that's that all done let's how what is the temperature outside minus five so it's not too bad definitely got snow though helicopter brought a couple of zombies over let's deal with them all in all not too bad this snow is going to be a nightmare for driving i can tell already <laughs> okay but it is 11 o'clock we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going to go out and explore hopefully find another stove that we can pick up and then destroy this one possibly we'll see but we'll see in the morning okay day eight looks like we have a horrible storm still raging on out there but it's fine let's just get out and do some oh look at this this is this is terrible out there let's get some food in us first because we are hungry oh look at this we got four ice cream yeah let's eat some right let's go out and have a look let's try and find ourselves a stove i feel have we been in this house over here? Let's go and do it in this house. Oh, look at this. This is a posh house. Look at all the stuff it's got in here. Loads of buildings. Oh, what's this? Kiln, but it doesn't look like it actually works as a kiln, so. We also need Taylor and one as well. I wouldn't mind getting some backpack attachments. Big hiking bag. Now, is that actually better than the survivalist hiking bag? 2585. Survivalist hiking bag is better. Oh, welder mask we will take. I'll we'll actually wear that. Can we pick this one up? No. I don't know if it's because they're already in the house or because of how they're positioned we'll have to try and find one that's uh, on a different position maybe not coming off the wall like that all right let's try next door we are i am marking as we go for once okay we're in let's see what we've got we will of course keep taking all of this water and stuff don't need any canned goods to be honest i mean what's this this is an oven can we not take this 
Still no Taylor and one. This bloody bat has been good, lasting ages with very low durability. Oh, sprinting up a level. I will take that. We also need carpentry too, don't we? So we'll keep an eye out for that. All right. Well, we've done them buildings around here. Now, I'm sure one of these did have a different antique stove in. So let's go through them again. Can't actually remember where we've seen a bloody antique stove now. Well, we'll be all right for the time being anyway. Let's see these other garages over here. Well, there may be one in here, to be fair. Another crowbar. Not in the best condition, but we'll take it. Utility bar. Mm, okay. Yep. Yeah, we'll take it. An axe I wouldn't say no to. Oh, padded pants might be nice, actually, especially to keep us warm. Yeah, let's take that. And the scarf as well. Just got to be careful we don't overheat. But, I mean, it is minus 10 outside. Ah, we got one here. Okay, let's just check these. Right, can we pick this one up? No. Well, looks like they are stuck there then. Oh, another crowbar in good condition. We'll take that. Hatchet, yep, we'll take. Hat another hatchet, thank you. Probably do with some gloves, you know. Well, looks like we're going to have to just find an antique stove in a container or something like that. But it's fine. We have got ourselves quite a few weapons now. And we may not even end up staying here anyway. I would like to have a permanent base. But you just never know in Zomboid, do you? I mean, it's not in an awful position here, to be fair. I would just like it against a wall. But, you know, if it is, it is what it is, you know. If we can't move it stay in there and we may as well actually put all this scrap wood in there as well tidy the place up a little bit and we may as well use these planks to at least barricade some of our windows maybe the ones that are closest here so maybe these two here possibly i think that's probably a smart move in case we get overrun and the gate gets smashed there we go we are all boarded up well of them two windows at least but it's better than nothing that's what i say so let's bring the old map up then so we will mark these ones off because we have done these houses here that's fine put a big base one there because that's our base we have done all of these nice we have done them shops as well so we are we are getting through it looks like there could be more storage units over here yeah we got a we got a lot to explore i'm looking forward to it it's a good map really good map a lot of detail really like it okay but it is 11 o'clock we're gonna get a bed tomorrow i think we might actually go and have a look up at this dock area i'm quite interested to see what this is like little piers or something i think yeah but that's what we're gonna do so we'll go to bed and we'll see you then okay day nine we have survived we're looking good let's get some food in us how are our calories 77 so not crazy actually buckwheat porridge i mean i don't know what that is but we're gonna eat it yeah that in you there we go calories yeah we're gaining a little bit right let's go let's try and actually smash this bat so we can move on to the bearded axe that's what i want to do but we'll go and have a look at this pier over here anyway pretty big pier actually as well oh, look there's some planks missing there that's cool Oh, and there goes the bat. Nice. Okay. Anything cool down here? A lot of zombies by the looks. Anything at the end of these? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, let's try out the bearded axe anyway. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but it takes quite a while to actually swing and it's probably going to tire us out. So maybe we just go hatch it. Yeah, maybe we just get a couple of them and it keeps our weight down as well. And let's go do a few more houses along here. We're, we're done with the pier here. We'll jump over the fence and do a few houses. What is this building? Now, unfortunately, I can't read Russian, so this is probably going to be an issue, but I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Uh, some kind of grocery store by the looks. Okay, yeah, we got a grocery store here or a mini mart kind of thing. I will actually mark this on the map as food then, so we do know. Canned goods there. There we go. Look at that lovely stuff, right? Let's keep moving. See what else we can see. Oh, look at this. This looks pretty interesting. Is this military tents here as well, maybe? Got a couple of zombies on end, nothing we can't handle. Oh, that lady's stuck there. Well, I ain't bothered about that. I ain't worried about you, lady. Oh, it's like some kind of quarantine. I guess this is saying quarantine. What is that, though? Maybe a fuel station, actually. Okay, yeah, it does look like a fuel station. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is definitely a fuel station, isn't it? Wouldn't mind grabbing some more cigarettes while we're here, possibly. Worst case, I suppose, when it comes to water, we can fill up from the river. Good cooking. Yeah, we'll take it. Those cigarettes, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. Let's mark this here as a fuel station. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, we could probably get out of here now. Okay, so we're back here. Maybe these are some kind of military... 
buildings or something, possibly, like a checkpoint. I mean, this just looks like a house, so I don't know. Ah, we did find some cigarettes in the end, nice. Oh, more Ushanka. Is that some kind of, yeah, that's some kind of woolly hat, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that, look at that. I think we'll wear that because we're going to be getting cold, aren't we? So, yeah, let's let's wrap up. We don't really need the protection. Famous us words, I know. Oh, what replaced our, our hoodie? Maybe it's because we had the hood up. Yeah, there we go. We want to stay warm because it's only going to get colder, I reckon. Oh, no, these are just garages. Okay. Well, we'll have a look in them anyway. Okay, it's starting to get late. Let's head back, I think. Let's mark them off as well, though, so we know. How is our axe skill? Ah, uh, it's getting there. Nearly half a level. I'll take that, to be honest with you. Okay, we are home. Let's get rid of this bearded axe. Oh, we got no space in here. See if we can take out another hatchet. Will it go in there now? Yeah, it will. Okay. Okay, we are hungry, and we're a little bit low on the cows, so let's eat some chocolate. How? Yeah, 77. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Heating is still on inside, which is nice. Probably do with getting ourselves a, uh, a new bed, couldn't we? Oh, let's dismantle this. How's electrical skill coming on? Ah, it's getting there. It's getting there, mate. Maintenance is only level 2, which I will take. What is the temperature outside? Minus 10, okay. Well, it is a bit chilly. How is our temperature here? Insulation. Yeah, pretty good. We just need something on our hands, but that's fine. We'll be able to find some gloves somewhere. Okay, but it's 20 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. As it is the 10th day, we're probably going to have a base day, so we'll see you then. Okay, day 10. We survived the first 10. Look at that. Wow. It's a little bit touch and go at first without an alarm. But, you know, it didn't actually bring that many, did it? Let's be honest, which is pretty nice. Now, I think what the, what, why it didn't is there's a lot of high walls around, so I think that may have stopped them. And we're not quite in the city, so I think the next 10, we will push into the city, hopefully find a gun store. Now, there are suppressors on the mod already, the armory mod, so that should be interesting. I also want to go to this airport as well. Maybe we look at doing that in the next 10. I don't know, because I believe it's some kind of military airport, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. But as I say, we're probably not going to do a lot today as it is a 10th day. Okay, we're back on day 11. Now, we got a lot to do over the next 10. we got a lot to do. What I want to try and do is get into this town, into the city a little bit, at least to here, and maybe even up to this airfield as well. I'm not too sure yet. We might save that for a little bit, but I definitely want to get in here and see how we're looking and hopefully get some supplies. So we're probably just going to crack on, go on in foot, I reckon, first. Canneries, we're looking good. We're looking good. We do need a bit of food in us, though. Actually, our calories are quite high. Uh, let's see some corn and maybe take a bag of chips or two with us as well. I think we're going to go axes this run. We'll see. We'll see, but let's get over and have a look, shall we? We're going to go on foot first, see, assess the situation. Okay, so we are over into the city now. I can't read the signs, so <laughs> I don't have a clue what kind of buildings these are. We'll soon find out, though. This is no building. <laughs> oh, maintenance up. Yes, please. Now, we still need watchers and everything like that to get electrical up. Right, let's try and get in this building, see what this is. Oh, it looks like some kind of store, which is good. Yeah, okay. We got a how to use generators. Oh, we got maps here, but our map is Oh, we do have how to use generators. Amazing. I love how everything's got like its own texture in this map mod. It's really good, actually. Oh, we got more houses here. Look at this house. Look at this. What is this place? Some kind of warehouse, actually. You know what? I really like this location. We may actually move here. This is right by a water source as well. A lot of farming stuff in here. Oh, my God. A machete. What? What? Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh my god, another machete. What? What the hell? The spawns are just standard apocalypse. I don't know how the hell we managed to get two machetes. I'm not complaining. We may go machetes now then. <laughs> so this, I'm going to actually mark because it's a potential base location because I really like this actually. We'll put a bed there as a maybe because I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the water situation. I do worry about water. Ah, we haven't read Taylor. We need tailoring, don't we? Okay, so let's maybe do some houses and look for some books that we're going to need. So we're going to need carpentry and everything. We could even, you know, completely turn this into some kind of, you know, build our own base in there or something. Let's do these houses. Ooh, what is that there? That is a padded jacket. Oh, I think we wear it, you know, because we'll keep us warm. Let's put it on for now, see how we get on. We'll keep the leather jacket as well okay so not really many books in there we'll actually do these houses along here i'll make sure i mark them off as we go as well 
So it doesn't seem like the population is that high, but I've got a feeling because there's a load of high fences, they're all going to be stuck like inside the fences and stuff like that. But I can hear a lot of banging around. So we just got to be careful we don't go barreling in somewhere and there's like 20 of the bastards in there. Looks like it is a party house. Oh, I've actually found a bleach bottle. We'll have that. That's quite nice. Means we can't put any attachments on our backpack yet. That will do. As us mark these houses off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. They took a chunk out of something. I don't know what. We gotta be careful. Oh, padded jacket. You bastards! It's a brand new jacket. Jeez. Yeah. See this? See? Getting getting too confident. Nearly drank the bloody bleach then as well. Oh yeah, that was bloody lucky. That was. All right, we have a needle. Let's actually rip some leather as well because we will try and patch our. It's a little bit annoying that we've got a rip in it already, but we've literally only got it five minutes ago. Uh, we can't make friends because it doesn't count the scissors. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll get the scissors back at base. Actually, let's head back for the day, I think. We've got carpentry too, which is nice. Okay, we are home safe and sound, which is nice. Let's clean all of these bandages. Let's fill up all our waters. Let's read all these mags so they're done. Yeah, right forearm, you bastard. Uh, we'll rip the leather. It's fine. We will keep the padded jacket on, I think. All right, let's patch this up with a leather. Nice. And we'll also just add leather to the jacket anyway. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. May as well add it to our pants. As Actually, no. Let's add it to our hoodie. There we go. Oh, what a day. What a bloody day. We got we got lucky going in that house. Gotta be careful. Okay, so we've done a fair a fair bit of it. Maybe we drive down to this little building here tomorrow and see what that is. And maybe some of these. I got a feeling these are gonna be like shops down here. Yeah, we could really do with tailoring. Because I feel I might I might try and level tailor and get it quite high to add some nice protection on because I don't think we got much armor. There's no armor mods on today. Because a high tailoring level is pretty nice, actually. Okay, but it is eleven o'clock. Are you gonna go to bed tomorrow? Yeah, we'll drive, we'll drive over to that building so we'll see you then okay day 12 let's just get up and out actually let's have some food because we're a little bit hungry we could do with a satchel uh we got snow outside we are actually going to have some ice cream as well for the calories and because once the power goes out it's going to be useless so right yeah let's drive on over to that building hopefully it's a school and we can get ourselves some nice books oh it's a bloody church okay well this looks interesting here we'll go and have a look in that Oh, we got a few in here by the sounds of it. Oh, that's just one. And look at this, like a little power substation or something. Nice. Well, let's go and have a look in here then. Oh, look, we can pick this antique oven up. Let's take it. Let's take it. Okay, that's good. I guess it's just whichever way they're, they're kind of positioned to pick them up, because that was the normal way. So let's grab that. We'll put it in the car, and then we can destroy that other one. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Didn't plan this very well, did I? Okay, nice. So we got an antique oven that we can position better, which is good. What else was in here? We didn't really have a look, did we? I need books. I need books. I mean, we may as well go have a look in the church buildings we're here. You never know. We might find something. Got a load of books, but not the ones we're looking for. We will take them MREs, though. Ah, Taylor and one. Yes, Thank you very much. I'm so glad we came in the church now. Ooh, long gloves. We don't have any gloves, so we will take them. Keep the old pinkies warm. And a dust mask, because that will keep us warm as well, actually. And also protect us from the old corpse sickness, which is always good. All right, let's walk down a little bit further, being as we are down here. Looks like we got some kind of shops or something down here, so this could be quite good. Uh, actually looks like residential, to be fair. Yeah, so it looks like it's more residential. And we can go in some houses, that's fine. We can have a look. What's this thing? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, what is that building? Let's try and get in there. Yeah, this is something, isn't it? Okay, we got a mechanics. Interesting, interesting. Some kind of restaurant here. I'm really too worried about that. Okay, well, I think we, we head back. It's definitely a lot of residential up here, isn't it? Oh, long blade up. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, we are home. Let's grab the sledgehammer. Let's grab the stove. Actually, let's leave the stove there. Let's smash this one down first. Destroy the stove. 
There we go. Look at that. Loads better now. Lovely stuff. Lovely. Right, we can actually stop putting stuff in there now then for when the power goes out and it gets a little bit cold. Got our MREs. Are they going to fit in the fridge there? Looks like they are. Nice, nice. Do we have metal working one? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm actually going to dismantle these because they're annoying me being there. We're just going to destroy them, but you know, we may as well dismantle them. It's a shame we haven't read metal working one, but it is what it is. I'm actually going to chop some wood as well for the rest of the day to put in our nice new stove. There we go. Add fuel logs all of them surely how much time is that given us 36 hours okay <laughs> that should do us for well 36 hours all right it's half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're gonna be doing some reading i think so we'll see you then all right day 13 let's just get cracking and start reading what else can we read i think carpentry 2 as well possibly let's just have a quick look yeah carpentry 2 and tailoring that's what we need all right so we've read tailoring 1 let's make a start on carp 2 may have to read again tomorrow possibly actually let's get some food we're pretty hungry shall we have some yeah have some peanut butter because our calories and there's 78 and rising so that's not too too bad let's also have a smoke okay so it's 10 past 11 we didn't manage to get carp red but that's fine we'll finish it tomorrow we'll go to bed and we'll uh, see you then all right day 14 let's just get cracking finishing carpentry two let's just do it all right so we just finished carpentry it's 10 past two so not really much time to do anything else for the day we are getting tired as well we will have a smoke though no don't drop them all on the floor probably don't need this other machete on us either you know and we will rip some of these up just for the rest of the day actually because we'll make a little bit of thread and being as we've got some denim we may as well just put it on our clothes you know all right there we go there we go let's get some food in us maybe an mre let's treat oh machine gun outside now let's have some plonkies some high here's just some junk food really yes yeah, so i think maybe i mean this this could be some kind of shopping outlet here with the car park here but then these are quite small maybe we go have a look at that tomorrow yeah and we can also go to the the ship as well i don't know how busy that's gonna be it's 10 to 11 we're gonna have a smoke we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to push push into hopefully the city and find ourselves some nice shops. Maybe a gun store would be nice with a suppressor. Not holding out much hope, but maybe. But then, you know, we haven't got any aiming, so we'd need a shotgun. But we got options. We got options. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 15. Wow, we have woken up very, very late. We should have gone to bed a little bit earlier, I guess. But that's fine. That is fine. Let's grab ourselves some food. Maybe something a little bit low in the calories. Because, yeah, 79 on rising. So let's just have some cod liver. Why not, eh? Hey? But let's get up there. Let's go and have a look at that little car park area and see uh, see what we can see up there. I don't mind finding a generator. That'd be really nice. Especially as there is a fuel station just over the bridge. Oh, what is this? This place here. We've got to go check this out, haven't we? Little detour. This looks interesting. Some storage units, which could have a generator in. Guess it's just some kind of storage lot. Oh my god, is that a generator? Yes, it is. Oh, amazing. Look at that. We are laughing. Oh, military boots as well. Yes, please. All right, let's go dump this generator off. Now, even the generator's got different texture. I love it. I love it. Love this mod. A lot of car parts. Don't really need them. All right, well, let's mark this place off as done. Nice, nice. I'm glad we stopped here. Great little place. Okay, so we are parallel to that little car park place I wanted to get in. See if we can find an entrance somewhere. This looks like it could be military, maybe. Or I don't know. It could be. They could be garages, not tents. Oh, what's this? Oh, God. Is it? Is it risky getting out here? Let's see the car running. Let's take some baiters. It's looking okay up here. It's all these high walls. They're really good to have around, actually. Nice. Level in Taylor, and we will bloody take that. Okay, we nearly got another level as well. Yeah, look, half a level. Nice. Oh, and there we go. Taylor in two. Bloody amazing. Amazing. Right, let's put this thread and the lever in there. We will keep all the thread because I don't think we, we only have a little bit back at base. All right, what the hell is this building then? Oh, a big old supermarket. Nice, nice. Okay, what kind of stuff we got in here? Bit of everything by the looks of it. A lot of food. Lot of food. Okay, empty camping canteen. We'll take that. Can we find another one? Giant water bottle. We will actually... I uh, wouldn't mind taking that, but we can't. Yeah, let's go drop it off. It's very heavy, but let's go drop it off. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Drop the water bottle. Drop the water bottle. 
Oh, that was a little bit, a uh, little bit nerve-wracking then. Oh, it's 7 p.m., so we should probably head back, actually. Yeah, we weren't down here long, but let's head back, and we'll get back in a routine. Let's actually mark this as well. I do want to come... We will come back down here tomorrow, because I want to get in here, but we will mark that as food as well. Okay, we've made it home, safe and sound. Can we actually take the generator? Yeah, we are so overweight. Let's drop this down here. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with it yet. We don't really need it at the house just yet. Okay, let's put our giant water bowls somewhere because they are just taking up so much room what mod are they actually from there canteens and bottles nice let's actually get rid of some of this junk in here there we go we are of course gonna have to put the bleach bowl back in there because that can't fit on our backpacks now we can put backpack attachments on yeah these have got to go in here you can't actually put them on the backpack once we've added attachments. I don't even know if we can add attachments to this. It is a modded in backpack, hopefully. Right, let's go get all of our leather. Lovely. We really need a satchel. I hate having all of this jazz in my backpack here. We need Fred as well, don't we? Ah, that's annoying. No, we can't. Okay. All right, well, we'll have to figure something out. That is a little bit annoying, so we're going to look out for a new bag. Oh, I hear a zombie banging. Get out of it, you bastard. All right, well, we got a camping canteen anyway, and it does hold quite a lot. So that might do us just one of them. We'll see how we get on. How are the cows on our weight looking? 79 and rising. Okay, so let's just have some, some carrots then. Okay, it's half past 11. We're going to go to bed. We're going to try and get back into our normal routine. And tomorrow, I think we're going to push back up to there. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 16. We've woken up at a reasonable time, 10 to 7. I'm happy with that. I think we're just going to get straight on with it today. Have a little bit of food first. We'll take a couple of peas with us well we'll eat the peas now and let's get back down to that supermarket and that other building so we need another backpack now <laughs> i want one that i can put attachments on and also we want taylor in two carpentry free i believe as well now the only problem with all this snow is it is killing the fps but then that could be just the amount of buildings and zombies around but i've got a feeling it's the snow <laughs> okay so we are back down here let's go and kill these zombies here so they don't sneak up on us Right, let's have a proper old loot then, shall we, in here. So there's a lot of food, but it's not really food we're looking for. We're looking for anything else. There's just a carrier bag with two axes and some chocolate in. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Because we do want to go axes once the machetes break. Oh, another giant water ball. Do we take it? Let's go drop it off at the car quick. I'm guessing they're like water dispenser sizes. So we've essentially got three water dispensers. School bag. Now we can add attachments to that, but um, it's not worth the, the loss in carry capacity. We'll take a pipe wrench. Can't remember if we've got one. More axes. Nice. Okay, so we've got a fair amount of good stuff from there. A lot of weaponry, a lot of axes. Yeah, and another water bottle. So that's good. That's really good. Right, okay. Let's go try and get into this place here then. I mean, there's a police car there, so it makes me think maybe it's some kind of military or police complex thing. Maybe we should actually be using axes just to up our skill. Oh yeah, look. Oh my god. Does that work? Oh my god. This has got to be some kind of military place. Has oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell did all these come from? How is our axe skill? Ah, uh, nearly at level one, okay. This has got to be some kind of military place, hasn't it? Military depot, maybe? For the vehicles? Ah, leveling axe, nice. Oh, look, there's fuel pumps there. Yeah, this is some kind of military refueling place. This ain't a bad shout for a base, you know. Let's try and clear it out a bit. Look at all the cars we've got if we need them. I mean, we would be pretty safe except for the main gate. Oh, we got duffel bags, we got duffel bags. Let's actually take that. I don't know if we're going to use it. I don't know, but we got options now. Oh, and leather gloves as well, look at this. Police, bat, police jacket. Oh, AK submachine gun. We'll have that. 9mm. We'll take that. Oh, look. Even the police outfits are different. There's a lot of effort and work gone into this mod. It's so good. I think we move down here. And look at all the cars we can do mechanic skills on. Yeah, we could get in this building here, couldn't we? We could even take one of these trucks up to move all the stuff from our base. Oh, we got war dispenser as well. Toilets. No beds, but we can find one. We can find one. We got chairs to sleep on anyway. It's no different to what we're sleeping on now. Oh, look at this building. Oh, my God. This place is massive. Look at this. Oh, look at all this stuff. Yeah, we're doing it. We're moving up here. 
Oh my god, look at all of this. Look at it all. It's not military, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Ah, uh, there is a gate there as well. Okay, maybe we block that with a car, I think. Let's actually open it so they don't smash it down. Okay, we got a burnt down house here. That's fine. Is this some kind of shop, maybe? Oh, what are they wearing? Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Looks like some kind of military. Oh, they got gas masks as well. Try not to rip their clothes. Oh, they're firefighters. Let's wear the helmet. Yeah, it's not going to give us as much insulation and stuff, but I think the mask will, won't it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I'm thinking, do we wear the firefighter clothes? Because the insulation and wind resistance is really good. Blue, green on everything. I think we wear it, you know. I think we wear the firefighters. Maybe not the trousers, but definitely the, the top. Oh, let's see what else we're looking like around here. Gotta be careful, because we're going to start getting tired soon, so maybe we switch the machete. Empty house there. I think the problem with the firefighter though is, yeah, it make, it's making us slower. So, yes, yeah, so it has made us a little bit slow. So, I think we will take the padded jacket. Actually, no, because it's got a hole in it. Let's just wear the fireman stuff. To hell with it. Extra protection as well. Okay, so we are getting tired. So, we just got to be careful here. Let's just have a quick look, see if we can get lucky with a key in one of these. Because we can't quite hotwire yet. The electrical's nearly there, but mechanics is not. I think we sleep here for the night, you know? And then we'll fully assess all of the all of the cars tomorrow. Have we got somewhere safe in here? Ah, I suppose this is kind of safe. Just heard something smash. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's try and get some planks to board that window up. Ah, oh, leveling car up. Nice. Okay, let's leave this padded stuff here, because I say we are coming back up, so we'll just pop that there for now. Board these windows up. Oh, we didn't get nails. We put the nails in the car. Damn it. All right, got to sell some nails. Don't know if it's going to be enough, but we can get a few planks on there. All right, we've barricaded the window up. Nice, nice. We've also put the water dispenser there. Yeah, we need to grab our stove and everything. Oh, I love it. I love this place. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Yeah, if we put the generator like here, we should should power that and our little house here amazing stuff really good location but it is 11 o'clock we're going to go to bed tomorrow we're going to go and have a look for other vehicles see if we can find a key for one of the trucks because that'll just make our life a hell of a lot easier if not we're taking our taking our police car but we'll see you in the morning okay day 17 we've awoken at well, 11 o'clock we're sleeping in late lately aren't we jesus all right well let's crack on oh look at our beard coming through as well let's see if we can find a big truck. Oh, yeah, I want to check this out as well. Let's see if we can find a big truck to drive home to bring all of our stuff. This is amazing if we can get in it. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, I guess this is the engine at the back here. Has it got any fuel in it? Gas tank. Now, there's no gas in it, but that's fine. How do we get in? <gasps> we can. We can. <gasps> oh, and it's got the key. It's got the key. Oh, my God. Where's the... Uh... Where's the boot then? Is there no boot on it? Doesn't look like there is. Okay, so it's mainly just armor, but that's fine. That's fine. If we need to go somewhere, we're taking the big boy. Okay, so we do need a, a truck, ideally. Don't know, like we're having much luck. What else we got? We got a couple of, I mean, I'll take this little van thing over here, to be honest. This is a bloody good base. It really is. Probably the best base I've ever seen. Oh, okay, okay. We got a key for this. What's the storage like in it? Might be enough, you know. Doesn't have gas, but that's fine. 81. Hmm. Don't pull that out for now. Probably more than our current vehicle. Let's see if we can get a bigger truck, though. All right, there's one more down here. Oh, yes, and there's a key in it. No fuel, but that is absolutely fine. Pretty good condition. How do we get in the trunk, though? Won't let us. Hmm. Maybe because there's canopies on. I don't know if we can take it off. Doesn't look like we can take it off, and I... Not too sure how to do it. Or is it just open anyway? Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's just open anyway. There's a bloody corpse in there. Brilliant. Oh, we got ammo. Oh, look at this. Right. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. Let's go drop all this ammo off back at the house. All right, let's go get our other car. Oh, we've also got the bloody supermarket here as well. Oh, we are sorted. All right. Let's go fill up with the gas here. Can Yeah, take fuel. Okay. So they do work as fuel pumps. Amazing. Right. Let's go down here. Right. Let's go back to the old base. I'm going to take this nice and slow because she does not handle well at all. Okay, we have made it home. And now the job of moving everything over. It shouldn't take too long. It's a shame we lost all that wood in there, but, you know, I'd rather have this amazing base. Okay, just do a final sweep. We have everything, it seems. Right, let's try and get 
Get back. Let's just check the garage. And there's a load of car parts, but there's plenty of them down there anyway. Right, let's get back. All right, we are back home. Our new home. Look at it. Right, I've got a load of books on us. But these are the ones that we've read. So I just wanted to bring them to use as to start the fire and stuff. So I want to put them here so I don't get mixed up. That's the first thing I want to do. You can also hear some zombies around somewhere. Mm, doesn't look like it. I want to see if I can get some of these crates as well. Okay, we managed to get two. We did break a couple as well, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got a crate there for weapons and a crate there. I'm going to put the food up there, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a, a few days of sorting, I think, on this one. Okay, but it is is 10 to 11 so we're probably going to get a bed soon and then tomorrow yeah it's probably going to have to be another base day sorting all this out but it's definitely worth it let's just get the generator out and pop that down why not hey uh yeah i think it may have to go like here possibly like here put it here and see how we get on with it but yeah it's 10 past 11 we're going to get a bed we'll see you tomorrow all right day 18 we've woken up at a reasonable time which is nice let's fill our water up good old toilet water right and let's continue sorting we may have to go and see if we can get some more crates yeah let's just go get some we're gonna need them aren't we all right we're just breaking them everywhere now let's see if we can get one of these shelving units okay we did get one of them that's fine let's get back we probably should have done that in the first place and just oh nice sprinting yeah we probably should have done that in the first place and just uh, dismantled the crates for carpentry skill so we'll have melee weapons there and this side will actually have guns i think and in this one here we will have tools and outside we'll have this large shelf maybe for maybe for metalworking stuff and mechanic stuff maybe hmm, actually maybe we should have used this for food or something oh well we'll put it there anyway actually we'll just put all of our crafting stuff in here shall we yeah crafting stuff in there tools in here all of our important stuff in this one actually do you have a bookcase so we'll put all of our lovely bucks in there put our propane and stuff in here we'll also put our jack wrench and everything like that so there we go welding mask can go in there look at all the water we've got here jeez okay we got the antique stove we're actually gonna put that in here i think mm. no we'll put it in here where we're gonna have our bedroom oh we can't destroy them okay that's interesting actually maybe we put it maybe we put the stove there yeah let's do that oh i did not mean to do that that's not good uh, we're gonna have to take a let's drop the sledge we're gonna have to take a window from somewhere aren't we that's annoying we'll be fine we'll find a window somewhere oh they broke down that gate all right we have a window good 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 hey the window is back we did, we lost our planks but we have a window now there we go we have the stove in the bedroom nice now what we will do is put a metal sheet on that window i think we can at no levels i believe let's go grab some we got bloody plenty of them that's for sure yeah you can barricade with a metal sheet right so we'll do the ones that are open so like this one there we go and we'll do the outside of the one around here so no pesky zombies can get in nice nice we may as well do one around the front as well because we've got the sheet on us because i don't know what the pop's like here it could be crazy oh we can actually weld with this mask on apparently that is nice that is very nice all right what have we got in here still okay we are getting tired but i don't want to go to bed just yet because it is quite early and right, let's actually go and get another rack of shelves and we'll put our water on that i think oh look at all of these where the hell did all of you bastards come from there we go we got our water shelf we have got another metal sheet, so I want to board that sheet that window up. Let's see if we can do it in our mask, because we don't have the welding mask on us. Yes, we can. Nice. Amazing. We don't have to carry around a bloody mask with us now. A welding mask. Oh, amazing. Look at it. It's amazing in here. I love it. I love it. Okay, so tomorrow, I think we'll look at blocking up that gate that's been smashed with some cars. But it is half past ten. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 19. I can hear a zombie wandering around. I don't know if he's the other side of the gate. Oh, look at this fog bloody hell yeah i think they're the other side of the gate right well we got to block that entrance off haven't we so let's get the jerry can do one of these have a key in them oh we got another generator here as well there we go that should do for now anyway they can crawl under but it still should be fine I can hear him banging on windows somewhere oh i think it's this guy in here isn't it he's still not broken out hey buddy now what i also want to do as well is chest out this little van here because i imagine it's got better boot capacity than our vehicle than that police cruiser wait do we yeah we do have the key for it don't we yeah yeah that's a nippy little thing this is yeah i think we'll i think we'll take that 81 in that what's in this oh 136 okay no we'll be keeping the police cruiser then we also have this bloody apc down here as well don't we if things get a little bit tasty i mean i imagine this drives like an absolute boat did we have the keys for it yes we did jeez bloody hell that's actually pretty 
pretty good, to be fair. I suppose they've got to be mobile, haven't they? God, it's loud. Well, we have plenty of vehicles. We're very safe. So the duffel bag, we can add side slots, but no weapon slots. So I don't think, I think we'll keep this survival hiking bag till we find either another hiking backpack or a military backpack or something like that. Yeah, what a few bloody days. Wow. I ah, don't know what I've actually done with my scissors. <laughs> uh, we do need them as well to make them. Oh, we got plenty of leather anyway, but still I would, would like a pair of scissors. Got the sledgehammer back in the truck. Oh, we have actually red metal working one. That's nice. Not that much food in here, but we do have the supermarket just over the road. Best base location ever, I think this is. But it is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 20. We are getting through. And what a 10 days this has been. Bloody hell. Look at this base. This is actually the best base. Maybe the bunker in the I Am Legend run we did. But th I like this one. So much space. So many cars. Uh, so I suppose the next 10, we're probably going to... We, I want to go to this boat. We've got to go in here. We need to find a bed for our new base as well. we got a lot to do. We need to put some fences, fix the fence down here. Yeah, we got a lot to do. we got a lot to do still. Let's have a quick look what guns we've actually got. Do we have a shotgun? I don't think we do. No, we got a lot of uh, rifles and stuff, but no shotgun. That's fine, though. I'm sure we have some shotgun shells. I'll probably put them somewhere. God knows. But yeah, we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as it's been a busy 10 days. And we never normally do a lot on a 10th day anyway. Okay, we are back. Day 21. We have got a lot to do. Now, now, it looks like we got a bit of fog outside. Yep, a lot of fog. So we might not be going too far today, but we need to find a bed. So we may go in these houses across the way here, or even these ones here, actually. Maybe look for some more books. We need to get to the boat. And also, while editing the first episode, I realized we did leave a hiking bag in this house here, I think. So I want to get out because we can put attachments on that, I believe. And we've also got to get up and see this bloody airport as well, haven't we? But I think today, because of the fog, we'll just go across the road and have a look, see if we can find ourselves a bed or, or something like that so let's get cracking we also need to go through all of these garages we've got to do some metal working yeah we got a we got a hell of a lot to do actually all right well, let's get in this first house here and see what we can find there's probably going to be a bed in here oh loads of books by the looks of it as well we will take metal working because we want to get some metal fences up oh another survivalist hiking backpack we don't need that Let's also eat these MREs. I should have pumped our weight right up going. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Two Chevys. Got to be a little bit careful now. now can we pick this bed up? Uh, I probably want a single bed because we don't have that much room in there, to be honest. Ah, oh, we got 11 and electrical. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. Right, let's go and see if we can find a single bed somewhere. Next house. Next house. They got a big old industrial wrench on their bookcase there. Fair enough. Ah, we've got a water dispenser. We'll actually have that. At least we got some in. Let's mark these houses off. Oh, we got some zombies coming. Let's ditch this water dispenser. There we go. What we actually got in here? Did we go in here? I don't think we did. Eh, not a lot really. Okay. We'll actually take the propane torch and go and dismantle some stuff down there. Get that metal working up. See if we can get ourselves some propane tanks and things like that. Yeah, this bastard. Come on, buddy. Get out of it, you bastard. Oh, it's saying I do need a welder's mask now. Okay, well, there we go. Can I have a look and see what we got down here anyway and clear it out? Still haven't found any satchels, have we? Oh, we got some seeds. Let's just take them. I don't think we'll be planting, but we'll take them anyway. All right, so we've done all the garages. Wasn't that much in there. We got ourselves, what, a couple of, well, a few propane torches, some books, things like that. So, yeah, not amazing, but not bad. All right, so we've dropped all that off. Let's have a look what would need to be changed in our motor, shall we? Not a lot, really. I mean, the tires, that's about it. 51, yeah. We need a front left tire. What is this? It's a standard vehicle. Okay. Let's actually do that now, shall we? We may as well, haven't we, really? Yeah, look at this one. 86. We'll take you. All right, let's look at pumping them up as well. There we go. All done. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, but it's 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed. We are going to grab another hatchet if we have one. Yeah, is that the same hatchet? Hatchet, yeah. That'll that'll do. This one is nearly dead. So tomorrow, depending on the weather, we may go up and get out of a backpack and maybe have a little look at the airport as well. Maybe drive up there, see what this bridge is like. That's the plan, but we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 22. We've woken up at a reasonable time, half past seven. The weather looks okay out there, to be fair. Grab ourselves a little snack. Fill up on water as well. We've been pretty lucky with the water and the power still on. Ain't got much longer left, though, I doubt. Right, let's look at the map. Yeah, I think we go and get our hiking backpack and then also try and examine this airport. I don't know if we're going to get in there today, but we can at least check it out, being as we're down that way. 
Yeah, because the weather is okay. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go, let's go. Might even be able to find a bed in one of them houses up there as well, actually. Oh, this car handles so much better now that we've got air in the tires. Did see a sneaky little bastard hiding in here. Oh no, the hatchet. Two sneaky bastards in here. Three by the sounds of it. Get out of it. Whoa, Jesus. We need to get a bloody gate on there, don't we? Let's also clear some of these out to make the roads a bit safer. Okay, well, we're at our old stomping grounds. And I can't actually remember which house it was in. I think it was this one over here and this one. Let's go and have a look. Maybe a little single bed as well. Well, it doesn't look like it was this one. Oh, look at this. Picture of Jesus. We're having it. Ah, big hiking backpack. We got it. We got it. Okay. Let's have a look. See if there is a single bed. So we got a double bed. Just double beds everywhere. They're living in luxury over here. All right, well, I'm not going to waste too much time looking for a bed. That's fine. We can do that closer to the base. Let's go and have a look up at this airport, I think. Okay, so we're on the bridge. Doesn't look like it's congested or anything which is good yeah it's very clear not complaining okay so we got something here some bollard bridges out there that's fine because that's the end of the map okay we are we are in let's actually park up and go on foot for now i think we'll have a little scan in the buildings and see what kind of stuff is spawning in there how is our axe skill ah uh, nearly level two nice Okay, looks like we've got some kind of medical building here. We will take the betas. Get any more while we're here? Antidepressants we'll take as well. We've got a little house upstairs. Okay, it's a bit run down. they got a single bed in here that we can have. Didn't end well in this room, did it? Oh, they do. Look at this. Right, let's try and grab one. I think a zombie has broken in downstairs, so we've got to be careful. It's a double bed, but not quite. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a zombie. Also a generator here as well. Oh, pretty good. I'll take the betas, that's for sure. Wow, this is like housing. Yeah, could be military housing. We got shops. Yeah, it's like a little town up here. Okay, which makes me think, is it like a little army town by a military airport? So it would help if we had, if we could see the road markings. Storage lots. Hmm, interesting. I actually see a gun on the floor in here, so not in good condition, so we won't take that. And this is just a storage locker, okay. Maybe this isn't an airport. Oh, we got we got bars on a window up here. Oh, we got a few zombies. Let's take care of them. Doesn't look like a gun store. We'll go in anyway, though. Oh, God, oh, God. Get out, get out. Run. Yeah, it's drawn a few of the bastards around. Let's get out of here. We'll have to come back here another day, I think. Let's go, let's go. Back home. We got the bag anyway. That was the main goal for today. We did kind of scope this area out as well. Okay, we are home. I'm actually going to fill our car up while we're here, if it will let me. All right, there we go. Now, what I think we'll do for the rest of the day for a couple of hours, just do a little bit of uh, mechanics grind. I reckon because we have actually read mechanics one so yeah let's go do it on this card down here it's as good as any I suppose all right level two nice noise 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 what carpentry we need to build a gate carpentry six okay well that's uh that's something we're gonna have to look at still have no bed let's see if we can place our picture of jesus yes we can <laughs> let's put him on the fire there we go jesus there you go <laughs> yeah i think tomorrow we're probably going to be reading the next mechanics book i reckon if we've got it yes we do okay and also adding some attachments to the big hiking bag and we can move all our stuff over to that we can get some our canteen on it lovely stuff lovely stuff but it's 20 past 10. We're going to go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 23. Let's, I'll tell you what we'll do first. We'll get the attachments on our backpack, I think. Sure we had, yeah, we got some thread here. We also got some leather. Oh, we don't have scissors. Ah, oh, we did have scissors, didn't we? But we lost, I put them somewhere. Okay, well, that's another job then for tomorrow. Okay, so we'll leave that for now. Let's just put all this stuff on the floor here. See, there's scissors on these, but it just doesn't, doesn't register as them being scissors, which is a little bit annoying for the multi-tool. Otherwise, it would be an amazing, amazing bit of kit, but yeah, you always got to have scissors on you. Uh, weight's 80, which is good, so we'll try and keep it level at that. Now, we'll read mechanics for the rest of the day. It'll probably take us all day to read this anyway, to be fair. Okay, there we go. We read it. It's 20 past 10. So not perfect, really. Perfect. Right, let's drop this off. 
in our kindling corner. <laughs> Grab ourselves a quick bite to eat and of course a nice smoke after dinner. Oh, go to bed tomorrow. We'll probably go in some of the houses. We may even go in that supermarket and see if there's some scissors in there. But yeah, we'll see you then. All right, day 24, we've woken up at not a very good time, 20 to 5 in the morning. Not ideal, that's for sure. But we will grab ourselves a little bit of food, maybe pickled tomatoes. They're very low on calories, yeah, have them. Now, apparently the multi-tool has a can opener on, so let's test that if it works. Uh, yeah, it does, okay. So we can actually get rid of our can opener, which is pretty good. Just doesn't actually work as scissors. Well, not for backpack attachments anyway. Does it work for the clothes on the floor and stuff? Yeah, it does. Just not for... I guess because the backpack attachments is a mod and it only accepts scissors. And it doesn't know that this mod's running. So, that's fine. We'll trade the can opener for scissors to keep on us. So, that's absolutely fine. Right, let's go and see if we can find ourselves a bed and some scissors. Oh, look at this bastard. We may also do a bit of carpentry as well while we're out. Have we read the books? Yeah. Because we do need to get a gate going. To stop bloody stragglers like this coming in. Every one of these bastards has got some scissors on them. Nah, no scissors. Oh, it's a bloody soldier with an AK. Oh, it's a policeman. Ah, uh, don't mind if I do. Thank you. I mean, we should be able to find scissors pretty easily. Yeah, maybe we make our way over to the supermarket because surely there'll be some in there. Ah, scissors, we got some. Amazing. Brilliant. Oh, jeez. I didn't even mean to jump over the fence then, but... <laughs> It did the job. Now let's look for a bed now then and dismantle the ones that we don't use. Oh, leveling carp. Nice, nice, nice. I don't actually know if we have carpentry free. I would have thought so. We'll have a little look in here. Farmer's Remedies magazine. Yeah, we'll have that. Fisherman's magazine. Yeah, I do love how everything's got its own texture. So good. Oh, an axe. Yes, we will take that. Where does that go? Can we put it on our belt? Yeah, we can. Okay. It's actually a lot better than our current one, so we'll use that. Right, let's have a little walk around, see what we can see around here. Because we haven't explored south of this supermarket here, so we got a load of shops here. Whoa! Oh, I see a zombie with a satchel. Come on, come out, come out. Let's take some baiters. Ah, oh, leveling axe, nice. Satchel, equip on back. Look at that, lovely. Very, very productive day. Let's put all of this jazz in there. Oh, amazing. What's this place here? Another store. Let's go and have a look. Oh, maintenance up as well. Nice. Handy is such a good trait, you know. That maintenance is really nice. And the boosting commentary is really nice as well. Oh, we got a hardware store. Okay. Maybe we find a nice machete in here or something. Hatchet will take. Another hatchet, yes. Well, the zombies coming. Let's just get out and clear them. Let's actually mark this off as hardware as well. We'll put a little hammer there. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Looks like we got residential here. Oh, oh. Don't really want to go in there because I don't know how many are in there. No, let's go around the outside and see what other shops we've got. Oh, bookstore there. That might be quite good. There's a lot of zombies, though. Okay, we have got a stalker here. And more zombies. Okay, let's have a look what they had on them. I will take the pistol because it's in quite good condition. Leather gloves. I oh, will take the ammo as well. No, I think that's all we'll take from her. This axe has taken an absolute beating, so it was in full condition. I think we'll go around the front to that bookstore, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so what is this store then? Looks like a gardening store, actually, yeah. Not that we're going to be doing any farming, but good to know. All right, let's have a look in this bookstore then. We've actually found some good scissors. Let's swap them over. Right, let's mark some of this stuff on the map. we got books there. I guess we'll use that for farming. There probably is one for farming, but that's what we're using. And we are getting tired, so let's go back. We've got... We found scissors. You know, we've had a good old haul, to be honest with you. I think I'm actually just going to jump over this fence. They keep coming over to our gates, don't they, the bastards? Come on. All right, we are home. Let's get these backpack attachments done. Add a weapon slot. Add flashlight. Add left slot. Add right slot. Yes, so we do lose a little bit. So that's 2280. That's 2585. But it's worth it. 
to be able to have the attachments on there. And we could also actually, maybe we'd look at taking one of these bigger axes out. There we go, two machetes, couple of axes, happy days. Oh, we've still got power and water, which is crazy. All right, let's do a little bit of mechanics then for the rest of the day. Nice, we got a level, we got a level. Oh, right, we've done quite a bit of mechanics. We've nearly got another level, which is bloody good. But it is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're probably going to read Carpentry, I think, so we'll see you then. Okay, day 25. We've woken up a little bit late because we did go to bed late and we was really tired. But it's fine, it's fine. Let's put these carpentries back in there. Take carpentry free. Grab ourselves some food, actually. How's our 18 dropping? That's fine, I'm happy with that. So let's just have, let's have this kind of buckwheat porridge, I think. Go, and then maybe some chips as well. Yeah, there we go. We should still, yeah, we're still losing weight, that's fine. So we have actually finished it just, but it's 10 to one. But we did get, we did wake up late, didn't we? So hopefully this will put us back in a routine. So we go to bed tomorrow. I think we're gonna look for a bed, so we'll see you then. Okay, day 26. Looks like we got a bit of fog outside, which isn't ideal. I did want to get out and look for a single bed and dismantle some beds, but we will see how we get on. Let's open one of these box of MREs as well. All right, well, I think we can head out a little bit anyway, even if we do the... Oh, God, look at it. Look at it. We will still head out, though. Yeah, we need to get that gate built because zombies are just sneaking in everywhere. And I don't like it, to be honest with you. Maybe let's look behind... Actually, you know what? We could actually go in here and dismantle all of this stuff surely this has got to give us some levels surely grab a load of food while we're here as well nice we do actually get a level just from doing them so if we do it all in here i reckon we'll get to level six nice i'm gonna mess around going in houses although we still need a bed but we're fine on the sofa for now nice there we go level six happy days let's see if we can take some of these planks with us as well because we're going to need a lot of planks so may as well take them as they're awesome here okay we're very overweight but we do have a fair few planks on us so that's going to save us a job all right let's drop them off here now can we dismantle this gate mm, might need a welding mask for that that's fine let's actually go let's have a smoke Go drop off stuff off and come down with a welding mask just have a look see there's bloody zombies getting in all the time and I don't like it. Not one bit. Also want to shave Ivan's beard off as well. Let's get rid of that. Shave beard. There we go. That's a lot better in the mask. <laughs> Probably a lot more comfy as well. All right. Let's get the uh, welding mask and propane torch. We'll take four because while we're down there, we may as well do a bit of dismantling of stuff. Why the hell not, eh? We are tired, but we're not going off too far from base, so we should be fine, I think. But we can actually make a metal fence. Oh, no, we can't. We need metal working. It doesn't look like we can actually dismantle that, which is annoying. We'll have to bring the sledgehammer down, but that's fine. We can do that. Nice. Level in metal working. That's good. We'll need that to repair our car. Nice. We got another level in metal working. Happy days. I'm sure I saw a propane tank somewhere around here, which I wouldn't mind picking up. I swear it's in one of these garages. We've definitely seen a few of them kicking around. That's for sure. Hmm. Okay. Well, not there. It's somewhere. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. Well, another successful day. We're very tired, but we're not going to go to bed yet. Let's have a look. See if we got metal working too. Yes, we do. Nice. We may as well start reading that. Okay. We're very tired. So we we are going to go to bed slightly earlier today. Tomorrow, we're going to sort out that fence, that new gate I want to get put in, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 27. We have awoken. We've got snow outside by the looks of it. Now, we're going to need some hinges, so let's dismantle these doors and some doorknobs as well. Don't mind dismantling these because there's no windows out the back there. Let's get our sledgehammer. Oh, they've actually broken through that gate now as well. Bloody hell. You bastards. We're going to have to put a door there now. Oh, we need more planks. That's fine. I actually chop one of these trees down. All right. We have a gate. Lovely. Need one more plank and some door hinges. So we may as well get that from in here. There we go. It ain't pretty, but it'll do the job. Well, this door isn't pretty. The gate's good, but... Hopefully that'll keep the bastards out. All right, so I think today we are going to read metal work in the rest of it. And then tomorrow, maybe go along this road here and see what we got down here, I think. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's read this metal working for the rest of the day. We may as well, because we're going to start getting tired soon. Okay, we've actually finished metal working, which is nice. We will need carpentry four at some point. Not really too worried about that, because we can build stairs now anyway. So, But I will put it outside, because if we do have a, a reading day or a base day, 
that's what we'll read next. All right, but we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 28. We've woken up at a reasonable time. Half past five, a little bit early, but we can we can live with that. Let's get ourselves an MRE in us. Weight is 79 and level. So, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Let's fill up our water. All right, and I think we will just go west and have a look what's over at that crossroads there. We'll also check on the condition of our gate, see if any of them bastards have broke it down yet. I feel it's going to be an issue with that gate. <laughs> Clear these bastards near the supermarket so they don't come over to our gate and start smashing it. Oh, we got some shops here. Don't know what, but we're going to have a look. Bar there by the look. Kitchen, yeah, no gun stores. We're looking for gun stores now. Ah, oh, there goes the axe. We're actually just going to get rid of that. Oh, I think we need the machete. Oh, there's a lot around here. Let's take some baiters. Okay, that's fine. What we got over here then? Some kind of shops? Uh, maybe a post office or something? Doctors in there maybe, should we have a look? Oh, it's locked. Another bookstore. We don't really need a bookstore. Oh, what is this? This looks like a police station. Again, I can't read Russian, so I don't know. Let's actually give it a little shout. Let's draw them to us. Oh, they're coming behind us. Okay, not that many around here by the looks of it. I like how there's shops like under all, I'm guessing these are apartments up here. I like how there's shops underneath them. No, this is not a police station. <laughs> Looks just like a shop. No, we don't want to go in there. Oh yes, let's keep an eye out for some beds. They're all, oh, single bed there. Okay, any zombies around? Yeah, we got a few coming over. Let's deal with these bastards. Oh, they're barred. We can't get in. Can we get in here? Yeah. No! <laughs> No, we broke it. We just want a single bed. Is it too much to ask? Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta be careful. Bloody hell. I nearly had a heart attack then. Ooh, what we got back here? Ooh, this is fenced off. This could be something. And it's got barbed wire around it. This could be something big. Oh, it looks like it might be some kind of power plant or something. Oh, we got another AK. We will take it. We really do have a shotgun to up that aiming level. Oh, it looks like this is a school. Not interested in that. Oh, long blade up. Nice. Should actually look in the back of police cars, shouldn't we? Yeah, because we can get stuff like this. And stuff where well, the AK... Oh, shotgun shells, though. That's what we need. No, let's keep going. Got some shops down here by the looks. Yeah, there's a lot of bloody Zeds down here, that's for sure. Okay, we haven't found any police stations or anything like that yet. Oh, a lot of zombies there, though. A lot in these buildings. Yeah, now that we're getting into, like, the city centre, there's a lot more around. All right, let's head back, because I can't actually remember where we left the car. Good thing is we could probably drive down here the next time we come down. Ah, I found the car. Ooh, what's this bill? We've been in here. This looks pretty interesting. Just supermarkets, mini marts by the looks of it. All right, let's get out of it. Got some Zeds near the supermarket. We're going to take care of them, because like I say, they probably make our way over to our base with the noise of the cars. And try and smash our fence down, so we will kill them. Okay, that looks like they're taken care of. Let's go. I just love our base. It's such a good base location. All right, let's drop this stuff off. Let's actually read these magazines quick. There we go. Oh, looks like power's gone. Okay, power is now out. Yes, yeah, it's only six degrees inside. But let's connect the old Jenny. There we go. Now we should have heating inside now. Mm, I don't know. It is powering it. Is it powering it all? Yeah, yeah. Mm, doesn't look like we have heating. Okay, that's fine. Well, we've got the stove and the antique stove anyway. We will keep this broken machete just in case. And we will put that hatch is about to die. So let's attach that one to our belt. And we'll also take a Pulaski axe with us as well on our back. There we go. Okay, happy days. How's our weight looking? 79 dropping. Let's have a an MRE, maybe another, uh, maybe some chocolate just to get the uh, cows going a little bit better. To actually fill this up because if the generator runs out of juice, we'd have to mess around getting some from the car. So if we fill it up now, so nice having a base with fuel pumps or a, you know like a gas station base. 
Haven't done it in a while. Well, Dirk and we did for, what, 10 days? We didn't actually use the facilities, but well, let's put these guns and stuff away. Do we have a shotgun? I'm pretty sure we don't. No. Pistols, submachine guns, and rifles. Oh, that box only gives us eight shotgun shells. Brilliant. So we have 12. That's not going to get us very far, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, it is warm enough inside. Eight degrees. That should be fine. Yeah, it's minus seven outside. But then I suppose once the temperature just dropped to like 30s, then we could be in trouble. All right, let's actually do a little bit of mechanics for the last part of the day we may as well nice level in mechanics that's what we want okay let's go finish reading metal working we may have a base day tomorrow again as well just to get mechanics read and i oh know it's carpentry we're reading is it so it is okay well i actually think mechanics would be more beneficial to read first if we've got it okay it's 20 to 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow yeah probably gonna be a reading day i reckon but we'll see you then okay day 29 woken up at a decent time 22 well 10 to 9 now let's have a quick smoke we go we get some food and let's have an mre why why the hell not and we'll just finish reading mechanics looks like it's gonna be a foggy day as well anyway so all right we finished mechanics let's actually have a look how long we've got on this 82 days wow okay it's just using power for lights well i suppose yeah we've got no fridge or anything have we well bloody hell we don't need to worry about topping that up we may actually get a fridge put in here or something we may really do this place up i don't know yet let me know in the comments. Do you want to see us really improve this place? Maybe put an upstairs in or get out and explore. I mean, we'll be doing exploring anyway, but... Okay, let's start reading carp. Okay, it's 20 to 11. We didn't quite get carp finished. Probably about halfway. Not quite. Um, but yeah, probably going to go to bed. And tomorrow we'll have a look at what we're going to do for the next 10. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 30. We've woken up at 10 to 7. Not bad, not bad. Let's just finish carpentry. Why the hell not? Let's get it done. All right, we've finally finished carpentry at 4 o'clock. Happy day. At least we ain't going to worry about that for a while now. We're very hungry. We need a smoke. Let's take care of these moodles. There we go. Right, let's bring the map up. So we haven't really explored that much. It's just very busy. We will get to some places. Look at this down here. We probably... That just reminds me of March Ridge. Yeah, there's a lot of places, isn't there? Down here, here, over here. This, this could be the airport, actually. This looks like an airport. Hmm, interesting interesting it's a very big map that's for sure i like it i like it this could also be an airport as well though i don't know i don't know maybe i have a look on the map for it the interactive map possibly we've also got to get to this boat maybe we do that over the next 10 because it'd be interesting to see what what's in here but we probably won't do a lot for the rest of the day as it is a 10th day okay we are back day 31 in russia we're looking good we're looking good we've got this amazing base guy. let's grab ourselves a bit of food quick let's have some bag bowl now what i want to do over these 10 is i want to get up finish here i want to go to this building here i don't know what it is and a couple more around here just to see what it is up here because it looks quite interesting also want to get in this boat as well that is the goal for these 10 days i think and then after that the following 10 we're actually probably going to branch out a little bit and just see maybe go down this road here so we don't have to go through the city and go in here and then down here because this this definitely looks like an airport i think you got some hopefully some military buildings or something there Let me maybe stop in here as well so yeah we're gonna we're gonna explore we're gonna explore a bit i think but let's go and see what the weather's like today we might actually be able to get in the boat today probably take a little bit more food with us uh, let's take a couple of chips why the hell not uh, we got plenty of weapons with us we filled our water up we got food i think we just cracked straight on you know let's do it I actually do want to move our generator because it doesn't actually reach our bedroom which uh, I'd like it to. Hopefully it's a military boat and there's loads of guns in there or something, or at least some kind of military armor or something, but we'll see, we'll see. Ah, look at this bastard here trying to get in. Hey, get off my door, get off my door, you bastard. Get out of it. Oh, it looks busy up here. All right, so it looks like we're at the boat. Maybe this house as well could have some interesting stuff in. Looks like the, I don't know, the harbor master or something, maybe. Not really a lot in here. I like this picture of the fish, though. <laughs> Now we've got these containers or something. I can see the boat. This looks pretty cool, actually. Look at this. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get in there because we don't have the ladders mod. Oh, oh, we can. It's a rope. Oh, amazing. I'm glad I tried that. Jeez. Oh, that looks pretty pretty clear. Okay, let's, let's go around this floor first. Just make sure it's clear. I'm the king of the world. Okay, is this the engine room? Oh, but we can take this, can't we? Look at this. We have a bed. We finally have a bed. Let's actually go and drop that off now. I don't know if the Project Russia mod pack has added the climb ladders. I don't think so. Or they've just retextured rope. Not too sure. 
You know, this would probably be a good base. You can only get in by the ladders. It's like a bit deserted, the boat. Doesn't look like there's going to be much military stuff, but it's fine. Okay, we got the mess hall by the looks of it. Let's actually use some of this low calorie stuff now. Okay, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Oh, water dispenser. Do we take it? Do we need it? I don't think so, actually. Okay, we got the, the captain's quarters by the looks of it. Oh, he's got a little balcony and everything. Look at this. I mean, we will take the water dispenser if there's nothing else here. Actually, no. Let's. We don't need it. We got plenty. Oh, what we got down here then? Briefing room or something? Okay, the medical area. We will take beta blockers if they've got some. Another water dispenser as well. No, they don't really have any medical supplies in here, really, to say it's the medical center. Military stuff. Okay, so maybe it is military. Okay, this is like the storeroom or something, maybe. Yeah, there is a zombie in here i can't see how many are in there sounds like it could be two just leave it a minute see if any more pile out of there there's a bloody barbecue he's got here oh this is the engine room and a box box of mres will take them thank you yeah this is definitely the engine room down here isn't it do you see some guns good condition as well is that a balaclava what would that would that replace anything because that would keep us warm wouldn't it let's see if that replaces anything no it doesn't okay oh it does our mask i think i'd rather the masks that will protect us from the zombie uh, corpse sickness as well and an akm yeah we'll take that <laughs> oh it looks like we've cleared it then we may as well take one of them water dispensers haven't we because there's not really much else down here all oh, right we're pretty interesting stuff as i say we got a few guns we got a water dispenser we got a bed so that's a plus but we have finished the boat not a hell of a lot down here but like i could say stuff we needed so i'm not going to complain i'm a bit worried about this zombie down here now, it's a shame we can't get in these. We could probably build on over, but I don't think there's going to be anything in them, to be honest. Okay, we're at the cart. We made it. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, we are home. Let's see if we can get our stretcher out of the boot. We may have to drop off. Ah, uh, we can. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, we have free water dispensers. Brilliant. <laughs> we'll actually keep this chair. Cars. We will put it here to rest on if we need to. There we go. Can we sleep on that from this angle? Uh, looks like it. Okay, well, we'll try that later on. Let's have a look at this AKM rifle. Yeah, that's like, what, an AK-47 there? Nice. Oh, happy bloody days. What a result that was. Tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Maybe a base A. Maybe we'll move some more of them. Actually, you know what? We could just go and dismantle a load of them. Yeah, that might not be a bad shout. But it is 11 o'clock. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Will this bed work? Yes, it will. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 32, slept on our lovely, lovely camp bed, which is nice. Grab ourselves some, let's grab ourselves some chips. Why the hell not, Ivan? Right, now I think what we're going to do today is actually go and dismantle some shelves down by the warehouse and also bring some metal sheets up and put them on the rest of our house just for safety because obviously we don't know what the population is like so they could all end up piling on us you never know so many metal sheets down here as well oh and a propane tank we wanted that it's a real shame we don't have the vehicle armor mod because there's so much stuff here to put on it all right so we are short a little bit of a level but i reckon if we take all these sheets and put them on our windows that'll probably do as i reckon a level oh there we go look at that lovely all right, well, it looks like we've secured our little base, which is nice. Let's just jump over the fence here and go and have a look in the other side of these, see what we can see. There might be some good stuff in there, maybe. Being as the day is still early, another generator on that roof there. Because you never know, there could be like a gun locker in one of these or something. Like this here. No guns in there, though. No. A lot of propane tanks. We'll take them, why not? Do want to get some metal gates up on our base there. We got the, all the resources for it, so why not, eh? Oh, yeah, more axes. Another axe. Another axe. And yeah, that's the thing with PZ, you never know what you're going to find. Oh, we can make metal containers now with that magazine. Another generator. <laughs> They're everywhere. Ooh, a pickaxe. That does class as an axe, doesn't it, I think. We'll take it. Oh, we found some guns and a shotgun as well, actually. Yep, let's take that. Nice. So it was worth coming down here then. All right, let's have a look what we got then. We got a Mosin. Nice, nice, nice. We got what looks like some kind of AK again. But we have the shotgun. It takes 12 gauge, but only one at a time. Hmm, okay. Um, and we only have, what, 12, 12 gauge? Yeah, that's all we've got. So, yeah, Probably a shotgun. We're probably not going to be increasing that aiming skill anytime soon. A hundred days. Well, we ain't going to worry about filling that up anymore, have we? <laughs> okay, it is 11 o'clock. We're going to fill our water up and then we're going to get a bed. Ah, the generator still hasn't reached over here. Maybe the bulbs have gone, actually. We'll look at changing them tomorrow. We'll see you then, though.
All right, day 33. Looks like we got horrible weather out there, so we probably mm, don't look too bad. I'm not sure what we're going to do today yet, though. First things first, we will try and take these bulbs. Ah, there we go. We got light. We got light. Nice, nice. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do today. Let's just do a little bit of mechanics, I think. Try and get another couple of levels, or at least a level so we can take engine parts. Oh, that's a bit annoying. So the multi-tool doesn't register as a screwdriver either for mechanics. It's not actually very good, this multi-tool. Let's see if we can go get our can opener and see if we got a screwdriver anyway. We'll just get rid of it. And we did have a screwdriver, but I may have thrown it away. <laughs> ah, no, we got it. We got it. Get out of here, multi-tool. Oh, look at this. We didn't even check the boot. There's bloody guns in there amazing oh we got more in here as well lovely we should probably check all of these ah oh, there we go leveling mechanics nice now can we actually repair oh we got fog now as well yeah i'm glad we didn't go out today can we actually repair the engine yes we can look at this get it repaired probably do with another brake pad as well let's go do that now well <laughs> after all that it we didn't even really really get an improvement because we damaged it trying to put it on all right well we'll just put the tire back on it we'll leave that for the time being we probably could repair it actually we need small metal sheets okay let's go grab some sheets i'll tell you what we could probably go and get some from dismantling someone in maybe the house or something down here let's get rid of this ak and that grab ourselves some food what is our weight 79 that's fine that's fine there's some bastards trying to get in here get out of it actually well right let's go dismount some cookers and stuff because that will definitely give us small sheets i think oh there's a duffel bag here with guns in look at this all right we got one small sheet from the fridge what about upstairs uh, we need cookers and stuff don't we i uh, got two small sheets okay let's go do the house that's in our in our area in our base this guy's still stuck in here <laughs> there we go that'll do what about the gas tank two small marshes yeah do it there we go lovely lovely stuff okay but it's 10 to 11 we're gonna go to bed we'll see you in the morning okay day 34 here we go now the weather looks a little bit snowy outside but it's okay it's okay okay but what i want to do today is actually go and find taylor in two i think tomorrow we will go up to this place up here Okay, there we go. Taylor in two. We got it. We got it. Let's see if we can find the third one while we're here. Taylor in three. There we go. Right, let's get back. It's lovely just having a bookstore over the road there. This guy does have body armor on him, though, so we will wear that. Thank you very much. And we'll take your AK as well. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. What a result. Okay, let's get reading Taylor in two. Okay, we've just finished it. Perfect time, about nine o'clock. So it's nearly time for bed. Absolutely perfect, actually. Let's drop that off there. Also drop our ill-gotten gains off as well. And Taylor in three. Grab a quick smoke and a little MRE as well. All right, but it's time for bed. We'll see you in the morning. We'll get back up to that little island there. All right, day 35. The weather is not looking good out there at all, but we are not hanging around for another day. Nearly out of water with our sinks and toilets, but we have all them water dispensers. Ah, the weather's not too bad, to be fair. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's just get up there and explore. Got a nice repaired Jeep, so we should be fine driving. The brakes should be better as well. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm actually going to go along the train tracks, I think, this time. Well, I believe it's train tracks anyway. I can't really tell. Look at this storm. Right, well, we've made it to the checkpoint. I think we're going to go to that furthest building first, I reckon. Let's take a little detour down here. Oh, we got, what are these, storage units. Okay, we're not too worried about them. Okay, we're on the long road down to the end. It's not an airport anyway. Okay, so it looks like we're getting to the bottom. There is this one building here I want to check out. Okay, we are here. What do we have? Oh, okay, okay. Storeroom, another generator down there. Not really a lot in here, actually. No. <laughs> Wow, okay. Oh, we can go up to the roof by the looks. What's up there? Not a lot. <laughs> well, I suppose being as we're here, we may as well just dismantle some stuff. Five propane tanks. Jeez. Oh, hatchet we'll take. Ah, leveling carpentry. Nice, nice. How is the weather? Oh, still absolutely awful. Well, I think what we might do is we might actually just sleep here. Stay the night and then tomorrow we can go into the little town there can make a chair that's what we can sleep on it's not ideal but it's, it's it'll do okay well we got our home for the night <laughs> we're getting a little bit bored as well okay so it's 10 to 10 looks like the weather has cleared which is good we'll stay up a little bit later and hopefully tomorrow we can get in the town yeah half 10 let's go to bed make sure we close these doors 
Right, we'll see you in the morning if we survive. Okay, day 36. We have survived. And the weather looks good, so we should be able to get into that town. Now, we have had a couple of just slow base days, this this one, but you know, there's no point rushing in and getting killed. There is that little back road. Do we go down this, which runs parallel to the main road? This could be a bad idea, but uh, yeah, we're not going down that. <laughs> Looks like we got more storage units. Okay, we got a shop here. We have been here, but we could do with some food, so we will stop here. Okay, turn the motor off. Now let's go grab ourselves some food and fill up on water. Ah, we got some chocolate, we got some chips, we'll take all of that. And all of that. <laughs> the junk food. What else we got in here? Anything? No, it is just food. Okay. All right, let's have a little explore then while we're here. Oh, we got like an apartment block. Really want to go in there, to be honest. Okay, okay. Oh, we got one more here coming through the trees. This looks like it could be some kind of shop. How the hell did you get in there, though? Okay, what is this? Oh, it looks like a school. Okay, well, we don't really need a school. Big old football pitch there. Nice. We got here more apartment buildings, I guess, or something. Offices, maybe. Hmm, what is this building? It's got barbed wire around it. Let's see if this is like some kind of security building. Uh, lockers and stuff. Could be. Let's have a look. Nope, it's locked. We're not going in there. This looks like some kind of power plant, I reckon. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at all these stoves uh, and a rifle. Terrible condition, so we're not having that. I guess they're powering everything with the uh, the antique stoves there. Nice. Yeah, more apartment buildings by the looks. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, I think we've probably done this area. What is this place, though? Have we been in here? Oh, it's the hairdressers. Okay. <laughs> Looks like some kind of food store there. Ooh, these have come out of nowhere. Ooh, okay, they came uh, as a bit of a surprise. I like how these houses have got, like, stuff outside. It really adds to, like, the world building. I don't really want to go in any tight rooms, though, to be honest. Oh, God, we got a fair few here. I thought the car was up here. We're a little bit low on uh, stamina as well. All right, okay, okay. Oh, we got in here. Some kind of mechanics by the looks. Don't really need anything in the mechanics. Right, let's get out of here. We've done this. All right, we are home. Safe and sound. Nice. Okay, that was a good good little excursion there. Drop this food off we got. Actually, we may keep this on us. Ah, no, we'll put the pop away. Yeah, we may keep these bits of food on us. How is our weight looking? 79, that's fine. Now, what I do want to do is just check our hood. 49, okay. That'll be fine for now, because we can repair the engine, but we've got plenty of hoods around so that's absolutely fine tomorrow i think we're gonna still try and push down here a little bit into the town into the main city bit i think or do we go down here this looks like this could be like a parade of shops maybe yeah let's go down here i think into the center but it's 20 past 11 we're gonna go to bed we'll see you in the morning okay day 37 let's just get cracking straight away we'll grab a little bit of food as usual oh we got some on us haven't we oh yeah of course we have let's have a little snack let's have a snow globe i'll have two snow globes why not a little smoke right let's just get on down there shall we see what we can see nice gun store will be good yeah the bonnet has taken a little bit of a beating but it's fine it's fine we can replace it let's go south oh it looks busy it's fine it's fine yeah, let's actually park up here oh no there goes the hatchet let's get the axe oh i actually get rid of that hatchet because we got plenty of them you know what let's use the machete okay well that's them dealt with let's go down on foot i think oh yeah there's a lot down here okay oh okay Right, let's go looting. Yeah, look, we got some shops here. Could be some good ones. That's a bar. <laughs> oh, we got a lot down here. We got a lot. So we got some apartment buildings there. I'm staying clear of the apartment buildings. Sounds like there's a lot of them in there. This building here looks pretty interesting. It looks like a school. Brilliant. <laughs> no police stations yet, though. Oh, we got a fair few down there. And this red building looks important, so we can have a look in there as well. Oh, we got another prepper. Anything good on him, we'll take the ammo. Don't know if that's actually going to work in any gun, though, to be fair. Another little shop here. What is it, like a 
butchers or something, grocery store, okay. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Ah, this looks like a normal shop, okay. Let's have a look, just in case it is guns. No, it's just a general store. There's a bloody lot of them around here. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay, well, I think we head back for the day because we're probably going to start getting tired soon. And then tomorrow we can drive down a little bit further now we've cleared it. Okay, we made it safe and sound back to the car. Let's get the hell out of here. But I actually leave the car here, you know. What I do want to do as well is actually get rid of this axe because if we've got a machete, we may as well use it, to be honest. Oh, I thought we... Oh, it's broken. Okay, okay. Well, let's take some of these hatchets then. These darker ones seem to be better. There we go. We got a couple of hatchets and a machete. That'll do as that'll do. All right, but it is half past 10. Well, 20 to 11 now. We're out of water there completely. That's fine. We'll fill up at these. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're pushing back into the city. We'll see you then. Okay, day 38. Let's grab some food and get back down into that town center. I'd actually take an MRE today, I reckon. Get that in, yeah? All right, no point wasting time. Let's just get bloody down and get killing some Zeds. Oh my lord, where the hell did all of these come from? We should probably deal with these. <laughs> Let's go park up down here and then we'll come back up. Oh god, there is loads of them. Machete time. Beta blocker time. Oh, that was a lot. There's still more up there as well. Yeah, look at all the bastards around our car. Come on, let's have ya. Oh, okay. Look at this bloody idiot stuck on the car there. Oh, he's free, he's free. Well, let's go up and see if there's any more hanging around up here. How is our axe here? That's got to be nearly another level. Yeah, so close. So close. Oh, I think that's a lot of them. Right, let's get back to the car and we'll drive down. The weather, it's got darker, so I think we've got a storm coming. Okay, we're further down. There's a lot of Zeds. We should be okay, I reckon, though. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. They ambushed us. Oh, they are everywhere. Let's get the machete out for this. Oh, it's got very dark. Yeah, we got a storm coming in. Oh, okay. Well, we got through a load of them. Okay, well, we're back down to our car. Let's try and get on this main road to our south here. Ah, oh, leveling axe. Nice. Are these shops? No, they're just houses. Okay. Okay, so we are on the main road here. God, FPS is taking a right old hit. Let's try and clear some out, then I think we're going to have to head back, you know. Maybe let's go and have a look what this is first. <laughs> Can't resist. Now oh, we got shops. It's a shop by the looks. General store. Yeah, like a food store. Oh, no, the hatchet's gone. They don't last very long at all. Okay, I think we get out of here. Let's not push our luck today. Yeah, look at this storm. It's awful. Let's go. Stuck in a bloody blizzard or something. Okay, we are home. Freezing wind chill. Okay, we gotta be careful here. What a bloody storm. Jeez. Okay, we are home safe and sound. Let's have a look at the engine here. Yeah, we're gonna replace the hood. Let's get a wrench. Let's do that now. Actually, no, we'll do that tomorrow. Let's get in from this cold. Oh, at least it's not freezing inside. Two degrees. Grab ourselves some food. Actually, let's grab another hatchet as well before I forget. There we go. Let's have a smoke as well. Calories are dropping, so let's have some junk food. Is it like outside? Oh my lord, look at this. Look at this. Minus 11. Not horrendous, but freezing wind chill. Body temperature's still okay. Okay, though, 37. Eight degrees inside, nice. <laughs> we'll take that. All right, it's 10 past 10. We're probably going to go to bed. Tomorrow is going to be a base day. I think we're going to replace our hood. And, well, if this storm's still going, we won't be going out in this. But we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 39. Now, it is actually in the minuses in our bedroom. Is this because we don't have a radiator in here, maybe? No, that's just what it is inside. So we may have to start sleeping with the stove on, possibly. Get some chips in us. Let's also drop this ammunition off. What's it like outside? Oh, God, look at this. Look at this. Horrific wind chill. 20 degrees colder than it actually is. Okay, well, let's let's get this hood changed over quick. This is cool. This is really cool, actually. 72. Okay, let's take it. There we go. We got a nice new hood. 
I don't actually want to look at repairing the trunk as well. Maybe we go grab some metal sheets. Do we have any metal sheets, actually? Yes, we do. Okay, let's do that quick. God, minus 18. There we go. We repaired her. Nice, nice, nice. God, this storm is horrendous. We're not too cold, though. We are well insulated. Okay, so yeah, look, we're on the, we're on the upper side of normal, which is good. Our insulation is very high everywhere. That's good. That's good. So actually, maybe we would be okay outside. It's just the visibility in this. That's the problem. Okay, so it's starting to get warmer. So it looks like the storm is passing. Yeah, I'm coming through a wind chill. So it looks like it is passing. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. We just got snow now. Lovely. No blizzard. <laughs> okay, but it is 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning for day 40. Wow. Okay, day 40. Still minus three in the house. Early hours in the morning. So yeah, we may have to look at getting that stove going how is it outside mm, no storm uncomfortable wind chill but that's fine minus 19 now okay so the next 10 i think we do keep trying to push down here a little bit maybe spend the next 10 in the city and then venture out after that over to here here and here maybe that's gonna be a long old drive i wonder what that is probably some kind of substation or something but yeah we got a plan we got a plan we can actually put an x on this island because we have done it there we go we actually got yeah we actually got down to there so we'll put an x there as well but we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as we never do on a 10th day all right we are back on day 41 we got a lot to do over the next 10 a lot to do i think we're going to go on an adventure i think we're going to come out of the city down to here along this long old road here and we're going to explore some of these outskirt towns here down to here, and then finish at the airstrip here because i feel this could be military down here see if we get a load of loot and everything like that now we're going to take the pickaxe and 16 mres we're going to fill our water up i think we'll be okay for water and the mre should be fine but we're just going to crack straight on with it today i think the weather's fine we're looking good let's just do it let's do it let's try and get to that first little town today in our lovely lovely repaired car we could take the apc but if we find a load of loot, I want to be able to store it in the car. Oh, no zombies out here for a change. Okay, so we're just going past our old house. Uncharted territory nearly. Can't remember. Can we actually get over this bridge? I think we can. Gonna have to smash that wall down, I think. But that's fine. God, it's got colder. Look at that. Minus 23. Okay, we got to be careful now then. We'll get the heater going in the car, I think. There we go. We should be able to get through that now. Get that heater on. All right, we are over the bridge. Nice. No dramas. No dramas. Okay, we've made it down to this little crossroad. It looks quite busy, actually. There is a fuel station here. Not that we really need it. And some other building as well. Don't know what that is. Some kind of shop. But like I say, we don't need any of that. So let's just keep going. Oh, I got some kind of little building here. I do want to check it out because it could have some goodies in it. Okay, so it's a mechanic, so we don't actually really need anything from here. Have a little look, though, because we are here. Can fill our water up. All right, let's get out of it. Oh, we only brought seven cigarettes. That's not good. Maybe we should have stopped at that gas station. Okay, we got something here. Looks like some shops. Maybe we do stop. Is it a... Oh, is it a fuel state? Yeah, it is. Okay, maybe let's look see if we can get some cigarettes. There was a fair few of the bastards in there, wouldn't there? All right, let's have a look. We got any cigarettes in here? No, we do not. No, no cigarettes. All right, let's get out of it. All right, so maybe we stop off at this town here for the night. I do want to check out that blue building. And then tomorrow we push on down to these ones. But we'll see what time it is when we get there. Okay, so it looks fairly quiet. Looks like it's some kind of farm in town. Very quiet, actually. Quite eerie. Just have a look in these cars, see if we can get a camping canteen. No, no camping canteen. That's fine, though. I think we hold here for the night because this could be quite busy down here. It looks like a fairly long drive. So when we get there, we could be tired. So I don't really want to risk it. We'll probably just stay in here the night. We need some kind of chair, though, don't we? We'll have to dismantle some stuff. Actually, let's go sleep in one of the houses to hell with it. They got fences and stuff around them by the looks, so we should be safe, I reckon. Yeah, it's very deserted though, isn't it, around here? All right, well, this looks fairly safe up here, and we've got some chips as well. Let's go and have a look what's in the back garden here. The greenhouse, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's have a little walk up to these buildings up here. I think it's probably going to be a farm, but let's check it out. Yeah, some kind of farm? Yeah, nothing really in there. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a little farm in town. That's cool. So eerie with there being hardly any zombies around. I'm not complaining. Okay, but it is 20 past 10. We're going to get a bed to see if these zombies had cigarettes on them. No, they did not. Right. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to get a bed and we'll keep pushing on tomorrow. We'll see you then.
Okay, day 42. We have got snow, which isn't ideal. Oh, over the banister then. Right, let's get some of this in. Let's get stew in us. And we may as well have the chili as well. How is our weight looking, actually? 79, that's fine. We haven't really struggled with weight this run. Right, let's just push on and try and get down to that next town before the weather gets too bad. Yeah, very quiet, this town. And we got some apartment blocks here by the looks. Probably a fair few of the bastards in there. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. We nearly flipped it then as well. We got to be careful. We have to check the car when we when we stop because, uh, yeah, that, that could have done some damage. Okay, so we got some kind of town here. Let's just park up here for now. Let's have a quick look under the hood. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we got to be careful. Okay, so we could actually do with a wrench and we can just change our hood. We didn't bring it with us. That was a uh, oversight on my part. We might be able to find one though and do some in the field repairs. Okay, we got a few Oh, there's a survivor house there. Nice. Okay, okay. All right, well, we're in the survivor house. We just got to be very careful. Okay, so we are in. Doesn't look like there's that many zombies. Oh, look at this. Take some hatchets. What else you got for me? Give me the good stuff. We'll probably stay in this house, I think. We will stay here for the day. Maybe even a couple of days. Oh, okay. What else we got? Hatchet. Yeah, we'll take all the hatchets as we are going axes. And I think that looks about it, to be honest. Or tomahawk. Yeah, but look, it's not in very good condition. We'll take it, though. Yeah, we'll definitely stay in here. Let's just go and secure the area a little bit. Try and find ourselves a wrench as well. Okay, looks like we got a pharmacy or a doctor's there. We don't really need anything from that. That's fine. Okay, so it looks like we got some garages down here. We may be able to find a wrench in them. Another hatch here we will take, though. Ah, a wrench. Okay, perfect. Let's do a couple more before we go back. We never know what we might find in there. Okay, let's get out of there. Let's go up here a little bit because I want to check this other black building out. Also, this blue building up here. Could be a police station. Oh, there's something going on up here anyway. We will, of course, check for cigarettes as well. No, we got no smokers so far. Ah, cigarettes. There we go, 20. That'll do. I mean, we'll take these beta blockers as they are right there. All right, what is this? Oh, it does look like a police station. There's a... Uh... The cells there. Oh, I don't know if we can get in. We have to break the door down. There we go. Okay, we're in. Definitely a jail, isn't it? No guns, though. Oh, no in there. Okay, what we got? Oh, look at this. Oh, we got a shotgun. Nice. Let's just take it all. Holster we don't actually have yet. Okay, so we have a shotgun, but we have no shotgun shells. All right, let's go have a look what this other building is before we head back to that house. Some kind of warehouse by the looks. Oh, yeah, it is a warehouse with a load of old junk in there. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Right, we're back at the little safe house. This just looks like residential, so we may drive, we may just drive through that. Yeah, and then maybe just perch up here for a few days at the airfield. It's got to be a airfield, hasn't it? But yeah, I think that's the plan. So we're going to go to bed and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 43. Let's just get up and Adam. Let's get the hell out of this town onto the next. Not bad little town. The first police station we found. So that's something at least. Got minus 24 outside. Jeez. Also need to keep an eye out for a vehicle to change the hood on our car. We've got to be bloody careful driving ours. Pop all this stuff in the trunk. Oh, we got plenty of hatchets, that's for sure. Right, yeah, so I think we're just going to skip this town. It looks like it's just residential, so we're going to come out, come down here, and stay in one of these for the night, I think. It's probably going to take us a day to drive down there. But let's go. Okay, so we're in that other town. We've got to be careful around here. We also keep an eye out for another car to change the hood. Do you have one here? We're going to do it, I think. Let's just see what kind of condition it's in. 87, yep, yeah, we'll have that. We'll also take your engine parts as well. All right, we are very overweight. We've got to be careful here. Okay, the hood has been changed successfully. Let's repair the engine as well. There we go, 76, okay. Let's see if we can get some more engine parts from this car. Okay, we'll take you two. That'll do for now. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's try not to crash again. Okay, so we're at the bridge. Hopefully it's all clear. Looks like it might be. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's got fence around it. We may have to smash that through. So let's bring the map up. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's... Oh, there, maybe. Okay, let's try down a little bit further. There's got to be an entrance. A lot of zombies around. It doesn't look like there is an entrance. I think we're going to have to smash through, you know. God, there's a lot of them around. Jeez. Oh, God, yeah. Now let's, uh, let's move up a little bit here. Okay, let's get killing here, I think. 
Okay, we kind of carved the way through. We'll smash these walls down and we'll do a bit of off-roading to get in there, I think. Just gotta be careful when we smash this wall. The thousands don't pour out. Oh, okay, here they come. I feel it's safer in there than it is out here. Jeez. Yeah, it's not good for the tires, but oh, we're getting bogged down. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. Okay, we're in the airport. We're on the strip. Probably gonna start getting tired. Yeah, oh, look at all of this. Look at all of this. Let's get up and turn the car off. Oh, I feel like we kind of got to wear the helmet because it gives us better bite defense. Oh, and this gives us better bite defense as well, but it's damage. Oh, that gives us loads of bite defense. Yeah, we'll wear that. <laughs> One of them had a backpack. I want to see how good that is. Military backpack. Yes, we'll have that. Oh, we need to get in a building. Oh, God, look how many there is. We're going to start getting tired as well soon. This is not good. Yeah, we need somewhere to... S oh, God. We need to try and kill as many as we can before we get tired. Oh, long blade, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're tired. This ain't good. Okay, well, we're in the building, but there's nowhere to bloody sleep. We need a chair or something. I mean, we could chop a tree down quick. Let's do that. Okay, we have a wooden chair to do us for the time being. So we're probably going to be here for a few days, I reckon. So this will be our, I suppose, our base. Hopefully they don't break down the doors of the night. We're not going to wait outside because we're so tired. We're just going to wait in here for a few hours till we can go to sleep at a reasonable time. Okay, it's 10 past 10. There's going to be no banging on the doors or anything, so I think we're safe. We'll go to sleep, and tomorrow we'll secure the area around us. We'll see you then. Okay, day 44. We have survived, which is nice. We're a little bit bored, a little bit hungry, but that's absolutely fine. Do want to clear the zombies around this little area, then we'll bring the car down today, I think. Any camping canteens in here? All right, what we got here, then? Just a fuel depot by the looks. Maybe some ammo. All right, so there's nothing really in here. I think I see some ammo. Oh, no, matches. <laughs> All right. <laughs> matches by the fuel. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, maintenance up. Yes, please. Level four. Look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting through them. Oh, no, we're not. Jeez. Bloody hell, there are so many of them. Oh, we do have some desert boots. Let's take them. I do like the old desert boots. And we have managed to get some leather strips, which is good. Maybe we can get some thread as well. Okay, we may actually be able to add everything we need to this backpack. Yes, we can. Okay, let's get it on. Wait a minute. Is it better? 2280? Yes, it's a lot better. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, we'll take it. Too right. I like the model for it as well. It's not bulky at all like the normal one. Oh, wow, yeah, look, the floating machete. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that on our back. Okay, let's go up and get the car, I think. Okay, we brought the car over. We are getting a little bit low on water, which is a bit worrying. Surely one of these places will have some water. Yeah, we have residential down there, so I'm guessing they're going to be like barracks, I guess. But we're just going to wait around here for the rest of the day, I think, for any stragglers like this that come over. Just thinking, we might not have enough water, you know. Let's just have a little peek in one of these hangars. See if there's a sink or something before we fully explore. No, there is not. Brilliant. Yeah, maybe one of these zombies we've killed has got a bot on them. It's too late in the day to be going to the residential area, but hopefully we've got enough to last us. Oh, empty water bottle. Damn it. What about again in this building? Oh, there's got to be some kind of water in here, hasn't there? Ah, we are bloody tired now. Oh, God. No, no, no. That's not... Oh, they've broken down that door. Let's not risk it. Let's... We should be fine through the night, hopefully. Oh, level and sprinting. Yes. Okay, to hell with it. We're just going to go to bed at 9 o'clock. We're tired, and then we can just get in one of them buildings tomorrow, hopefully, and find some water. So we'll see you then. All right, day 45. We survived the night. We have a tiny bit of water. Now, what we're going to do is just bucket to the residential area. we got to. We got to. I am not dying to the dehydration. Let's just get the hell out of here. We'll come back. We just need to get water. Jeez. Oh, actually, yeah. We was going to look in this building, weren't we? Oh, look how many zombies there are. Oh, God. 
I mean, these civilians may have some water on, they don't. Okay, it's risky trying to get in here. This could just be a warehouse. Yeah, it is. Look. Ah. Oh, God, no. Let's just go to the residential. Tiniest bit of water. It's going to be busy down here as well. Let's just go. Imagine if I died because of lack of water. So many zombies as well. This is bloody risky. This is risky. Let's see, high first can... Ca oh, no. Look at this. Let's see if we can get in this blue building up here. Or if we've got to go through the fence. Oh, we got to go through the fence. Okay. Okay, that's so we got a bit of a break. We are out of water now as well. Oh, God, and we're slightly thirsty. Okay, let's smash it. It's risky. It's risky. Okay, let's drop that there for now. Let's go through. Hell with it. All right, we got residential down here. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Please have some... Oh, there's so many zombies in there. Okay, we are in, we're in. Oh my god, there's no sinks or anything. What? Oh, thank god. We went bloody reckless there, jeez. There is zombies everywhere. But at least we have water. Let's just get out of here now. Oh god, no, 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 no. Not that way. Let's go out this way. <laughs> oh god. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're going back after that. Jeez. Actually, let's clear it out a little bit, being as we're here. And fill up on water before we do go back. And look at this. There's a bloody zombie with a water bottle. And we're actually going to take that. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely terrifying. I was panicking then. I thought we was going to die to dehydration. bloody dration. Unbelievable. And then I thought, no, there's not going to be any bloody water in here. Okay, we got two water bottles full. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that that was so terrifying. <laughs> A series of unfortunate events that was. Bloody hell. Right, let's go back. Oh my god, there are so many. All right, we're back to some safety. Jesus. Let's just hang around and see if any follow us. Oh, we are getting corpse sickness as well. We've got a mask on. Maybe these don't work, these masks. Mm, okay, well, we're going to have to just hang around. There was some zombies with masks, so maybe we try and find them tomorrow. Hopefully, corpse sickness will go in here. Yeah, Queasy's gone. Right, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're probably just going to hang around here, I think. Let some of these corpses despawn. Try and find a new mask. We'll see you then. Okay, day 46. We have survived. Let's just go out and see if we can. Oh, look at this weather. Yeah, no. We will not be hanging around in this. See if we can find a better mask somewhere. Oh, this person. One of these has a proper mask. Yeah, okay, put that on. Yeah, we won't be doing anything in this weather anyway. How is our weight? 80 and rising. It should be fine. Okay, so it's 10 to 10. Looks like this mask is working. The fog has just cleared, so maybe tomorrow we'll be able to get out. But we shall have to see anything good in here. Any water in here. <laughs> but we will see you tomorrow. Okay, day 47. We have awoken. We're still alive at least. Um, water is getting... Well, we're getting through the water, but we should be fine. We can actually take our time. We know where we can get water. So we can actually take our time and try and find some. So let's first go down and have a look at this building down here. So it looks like some kind of factory. So it could be like a weapons factory, maybe. Yeah, it's some kind of factory in here, but it looks like it's a car factory, which isn't really what we need. Car battery charge. I don't really need that either. God, it sounds like there's a lot in here. So many zombies everywhere. There better be some good stuff for it in this base. Okay, well, that's the factory. That, okay, there's nothing in here. Do we want to go upstairs? I feel we kind of have to. Oh, God, I hear him up there now. No, we're not going up there. <laughs> yeah, we got fog coming in as well. Right, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to hang around today, let the corpses despawn, hopefully get rid of this fog, and tomorrow we'll go in the hangars. Hopefully we got enough water. Okay, so it's nine o'clock. We're very tired. Water is still an issue. We're going to go to bed. We're going to go in the hangars tomorrow, maybe check out this blue building. Yeah, these blue buildings here. We'll have to smash through the fence here, I think, to get into here. But hopefully the blue building should have water, but yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 48. We are alive. Let's take the car up there because we may just power straight through. And also, if we take the car, we're not running. We'll save ourselves drinking water because we won't get overheated and stuff like that. Oh, God, there's so many. No, we're not going in the hangars. It's not worth it. There's probably nothing in there anyway. We did have a peek in one and it was just car stuff. So then this air traffic control, that could be quite good. No, let's go back down here to the blue buildings. And then hopefully we can get some water as well. Oh, look, we can actually get in here. I'm going to smash anything down. 
Okay, let's get in this blue building then. Okay, well, we got food, so there'll probably be some kind... Oh, there's a bit of everything in here, actually. Oh, look at this. We got sinks. We got sinks. So what's this? Oh, this is some kind of mess hall then. Need another bottle, to be honest. God, I haven't been this worried about water in a long time. Let's eat some... Yeah, let's take some fruit cocktail, because our calories are high. I mean, we're on 81. 81 is stable, so that's fine. So we need some low-calorie stuff. I think this hydrates us as well. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, well, it doesn't look very busy in here, which is nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just go and see what the other blue building is. Oh, God, this stuff's smashing. Get out, get out. Ah, you bastard. Ah, oh, did he just put a hole in our bloody boots? No, he didn't. Okay. Let's get out of these trees. God, there's just bloody zombies everywhere. Get a machete. Look at this. Bloody hell. Can we take them? No, we're not taking them. No, let's... Oh, what is this? Oh, God, there's more down there as well. No, let's get out of here. I ain't risking it. It ain't worth it. We could go around the other side, actually. Draw them all over to here and then go down this way. Hopefully it's quieter. No, not really. <laughs> no, it ain't, it ain't bloody worth it. Let's get out of here. No way. I'm sorry, but no. Oh, I do want to see, though. I want to see what's there. No, no, no. I've got a bad feeling about it. We're not doing it. Let's get out of here. It ain't worth it. It is not worth it. We nearly died so many times. Let's just go. Oh, God. Let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Get me to that little warehouse where it's safe. Bastards may have won this battle. They ain't going to win the war. See, loads more have come down here now as well. Well, we're somewhat safe here anyway. I mean, it was pretty successful. We got ourselves a new... Should we wear this webbing? Yeah, why not, eh? Yeah, we got ourselves a new helmet and a new bag, so can't complain. And a new mask, actually. One that works. But it is 10 o'clock. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. We will try and get an M hangers. Yeah, why not, eh? Why not? We'll see you then. Okay, day 49. We have survived. We're very hungry, but I'm watching the calories because, yeah, we're on 81. Let's wait till it starts dropping. Looks fairly clear out here. So, yeah, we'll check out these two hangers today. Tomorrow, we'll probably just hang around and then we're going to move on, I think. Bloody hell, look at them all. Yeah, a load of, like, mechanic stuff. And Well, they got the stuff for the... I'm guessing that's, like, the APC. Some military vehicles, but yeah, nothing that we really need to be honest. Surely our axe has got to be powering through. Ah, quarter of eleven. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, look at them all! Bloody hell! Yeah, I reckon you could spend weeks trying to clear this place out. Oh, there goes the hatchet. And I feel it would be like the secret military base in vanilla where there's just nothing there, really. Ain't worth the resources to clear it. Especially because we can't even use any bloody firearms. We'll have a little peek in here. Maybe just at least first lot of uh, shelves here. Yeah, just mechanic stuff and things like that. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, let's see if any zombies follow us back. Oh, no, the webbing replaces the fanny pack. What does that weigh? It's seven, but it's got stuff. Oh, yeah, we're the fanny pack. Oh, we got snow. Hopefully it's not a bloody storm tomorrow. We are getting through these hatchets as well. Okay, but it is 10 o'clock. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. We're probably not going to do a lot as it is the 10th day, but I think the following 10... We're, put, we're getting the hell out of this bloody airport, I'll tell you that much. But we will see you in the morning. Okay, day 50, halfway point. Wow. Yeah, what a bloody ride it's been so far. It's actually better, in, it's safer in the city. I think the following 10 will come down here, maybe, actually maybe base up at one of these for a few days, check out all this kind of stuff around here. And then I think we'll probably head back into the city. Maybe stop off here at this town. Oh, we gotta be, oh, I wonder what that is. It's off the beaten track, but I kind of feel we want to check that out. Put that there. Quite 
interesting i think so yeah we'll do this town we'll go up here stay here for a bit go over to there then over to here and then we'll push back up to the sea it looks like we can drive straight up there which is quite nice and then we can also see what shops we got on the south side but yeah we got uh we got a lot of stuff to keep us busy don't you worry about that but as it is a temp they were probably not going to do a lot and i don't like this snow as well so we won't be traveling out today we'll probably risk it over the next 10 we'll definitely be getting out of here in the next 10 so yeah we'll just hang around here for a bit i think okay we are back on day 51 wow we're getting the hell out of here let's bring the old mappage up okay so i think we're gonna go down here there's a few blue buildings i'm not sure what they are we're gonna investigate maybe up here it depends how busy the population is but that is our first stop then i think we're gonna come all the way down here along here and to these ones here because so i've got a feeling one of these this may be some kind of barracks or something and this could be some kind of base so we're gonna do them and then probably come into this town and we'll go from there really maybe that'll keep us occupied for the next 10 i don't know but one thing's for sure we're getting the hell out of here let's eat an mre maybe half an mre so we gotta be careful of our calories because we are on 81 weight but yeah let's i don't even care about the weather let's get out of here because we're gonna run out of water soon again so now whereabouts did we come from oh i see it let's go let's go we don't want to get bogged down and there'll be a hundred zombies out here no we're fine we're fine okay let's get the hell out of here i feel safer already now that we're just out of that bloody airport oh we got fuel station here got another gas station here it's got walls all around it so that wouldn't be a bad base actually okay so we're coming up to the town i don't know how far in we're gonna go probably stay in this house here we will stay here for a day or two let's clear these bastards out Okay, yeah, we'll base up in this building. So let's just make sure it's clear. Oh, the gate's open. Lovely. Lovely, lovely water. Oh, lovely water. We could definitely do with another camping canteen that's for sure oh we'll take this low calorie food as well okay so it's got a bedroom upstairs which is good so we will sleep in here yeah, it's even got a lovely balcony as well bloody hell okay but now the house is secure let's go out and clear a bit of town i think but there are some blue buildings and i don't like all these bastards around us as well yeah, let's go over, try and get over to this blue building down in this road today. How is our axe skill? It's got to be... Oh, yeah, near a quarter. Okay. What we got here, then? Little bakery. Not really interested in that, to be honest. There is a fair few Zeds around, but should be fine. They're quite spread out, so... Okay, what is this building then? Water dispenser in there. Yeah, it looks like some offices. It could be a police station though. We're gonna have to smash the door down, I think. Okay, we are in. But what is it? Oh, here they come. Oh yes, look at this, look at this. Okay, let's clear the area. All right, let's have a... Oh, look at this. we got shotgun shells. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, that takes them. Okay, let's take a bandolier. Okay, so there's a lot of 9 mil rounds, but we could really do with more shotgun rounds, to be honest. So, yeah, we have one box. How many does it give us? I don't think it's like eight. That isn't enough, is it? Well, at least we got something. I'm glad we stopped here, actually, now. Don't think there's going to be another police station. Here. We'll check the back of this truck, though. Uh, no, nothing in there. That's fine, though. Let's actually check these vehicles for a canteen. And look at that. The key's on the bonnet. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. And we'll take the key because the door's locked. So he's just smashing it. Oh, it's not even the key to this car. <laughs> Brilliant. No, no canteens. That's fine. Oh, let's check this car here. We didn't check this one. This rusted old banger. No, no canteen. Actually, let's open the boot. No, no canteen. Oh, there's a lot of bastards here sneaking up on us. Yeah, let's check these banged up cars down here. You never know. No, nothing in there. Okay, let's deal with these bastards and get home. I think we're going to start getting tired soon. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Actually, is this some kind of shop? Yeah, there's, there's loads of little shops about. It's really cool. I uh, stump all of our loot in the back of the car here. We got quite a bit. Yeah, we started to get tired, so we're going to have to retreat for the day, I think. I think we'll move on tomorrow, you know? Yeah, let's bring the old map up. So I think tomorrow... Yeah, we may check these out as we drive past, because we've got to go south anyway. We'll go south, and then we'll go 
west all the way to this place and then maybe that place so yeah, we'll check these blue buildings out here but i definitely think somewhere like this is only going to have one police station so okay but it is half past 10 we're going to go to bed tomorrow yeah we'll push it on we'll see you then okay day 52 we have awoken let's grab a little bit of food let's grab some soup why not eh there we go lovely soup get it in yeah all right we will fill up on our water as well before we set off it is a bit foggy outside but it is what it is you know oh god it's very foggy but we're going out we're not hanging around this place let's get the hell out of here we cannot see anything so i have to take this one nice and slow i think okay so we got some blue buildings there but they just look like storage units so let's go all right and we are out of there on the open road my god i cannot see anything this is going to be a long drive okay yes yeah, so we're on the right way we need to take our next right and then just follow that. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Forest, either side of the road is so thick. Okay, so we're coming up on the right turn. Oh, we nearly missed it. There we go. Oh, look, that's that's barricaded off. What's down there? Oh, another town. And them houses there. Yeah, no, I don't think we're going to go down there. I'm not risking it. Oh, we nearly went off the road then. Not paying attention. Pretty much just using the mini map to navigate here. Like, to see when the corners are coming up. Because <laughs> I cannot see anything in front of me. Oh, we got something here. Let's go and have a look. Could be something interesting. Ah, oh, a little shop. Oh, a hardware store. Nice. Okay. Any machetes or anything? A fish knocker. <laughs> Nothing out the back there. No, no machetes. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's bring up the map a sec. Where are we? Okay, so we are nearly there. Yeah, just at the end of this road. So we nearly made it unscathed. Just hope there isn't a ton of zombies down there like there was at the airfield. Okay, so we are coming up to it. We are actually getting a little bit low on fuel as well, which is a bit concerning. How do we get down here? Is it this bit here? Yeah, it must be. It's a little bit off-road, but... Oh, God, I don't like this at all. I can kind of see where the road is. Not good on our tyres. If our tyres go, poof, I don't know what we're going to do. They should be fine, Eddie. We're in good condition. I haven't really ran over any zombies either. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Get out, get out. This is not good. Oh, the axe is broke. Alright, so it doesn't look like it's too crazy. Not like the airfield, anyway. Maybe some cars here as well to get some fuel from. There's a lot of soldiers as well, which is positive. Okay, okay. We're not looking too good on weapons. Have we got any more? Yeah, we do have a tomahawk, but that's it. Oh, no, we got another hatchet. Okay. It's actually attached there. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, it's not in the best condition, but it'll do. Oh, we do have the pickaxe as well if it comes to it. That's fine, okay. Okay, well, it looks busy, but not too busy. Should probably rest up for five minutes in the car, get our endurance back. Okay, it's getting late in the day, but we're not that tired, to be fair. We've just been driving all day, so that's a bonus. But at least we should have water in these buildings. All right, let's try and draw some of these over to us over here. This guy did have a shotgun. We will take the bullets. <laughs> okay, let's try and get in here, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez. I knew that was going to happen. I shouldn't have really done it. Idiot. Take your antidepressants. Oh, I think there's a few in there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's still more up there. Can we take them? Oh, here they come. I think there might be one or two left. Yeah, we got the bastards. Okay, yeah, so this is the barracks by the looks. We'll probably stay here tonight. Yeah, looks fairly clear. Okay. We are just going to wait inside, I think, because I don't want to attract a load of them, and then we're going to be stuck and get tired. So we are going to probably get bored, but it's a small price to pay. Oh, actually, it's probably, I think I saw magazines in here. Yeah, we got word searchers and everything. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, I hear zombies downstairs. It's not good. I don't know where, though. Well, this is definitely some kind of military complex or something, isn't it? So that's good. I'm glad we come down here. Okay, so it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We will push into the blue buildings. I think we'll see you then. Okay, day 53. Wow, we've woken up at 10 to 4 in the morning. That is not good. We will grab ourselves some food, maybe spaghetti yeah now we will wait a little bit inside just to let it brighten up out there okay so getting light let's do read a comic book to get rid of that boredom let's also have a smoke all right let's get out of there let's start killing we'll probably stay here for the day i think and clear it out you know oh god i hear a lot of zombies around at least the fog's gone now as well 
Okay, let's go up here because I want to check this truck for fuel as well. Well, we're going to check all the buildings here because this is definitely military. I also want to check that little guardhouse up there as well. Look, there's gates. There's a bloody bars closing it off. That could be good. Okay, looks like we've cleared it. Let's check the hood here. There is fuel in there. Okay, that's good. We have zombies coming around, but that's fine. Let's go and deal with these zombies that are walking around here. Let's actually give it a shout, you know. Okay, that looks like a lot of them. All right, let's try and break into this watchtower thing then. Oh, we can jump over it. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so we got nine mil. That's summon, I suppose. Let's actually pour this water on the ground. We got plenty of water around us, so that's fine. And let's take it from here. Probably not going to drive the car because there's so many bodies. How are the tires? Tires are okay. That's fine. Let's see if we can get a little bit more fuel out of that truck. All right, so we've added all the fuel. Let's see how that's done us. Uh, yeah, it's done us quite well, actually, so that's fine. Happy with that. Okay, let's go and explore, then. Look, they've got bars on the windows here and everything. Ooh, prisoner. Okay, so maybe this is a prison. Makes sense, actually, because there's a lot of policemen here. Let's clear outside first before we start going in any buildings. Ah, oh, there goes one hatchet. We will keep it because we're getting a bit low on our weapons. So if we find some duct tape, we'll repair it. Yeah, look, this is definitely a prison, isn't it? Jesus, there's a lot of bloody zombies in here. Okay, so we probably don't need a look in this, do we? Because they're not going to keep guns in there. I doubt they'll keep guns in with the prisoners. And I don't want to fight all them zombies. This building, though, and this building could be good. Although this does look like the mess hall. Yeah, mess hall in there. Okay. Oh, they've broken down this. Now, if that doesn't look like a door to an armory, I don't know what does. Okay, we've broken it down. Are we adventuring up? Let's do it. Not an armory. Okay, let's run through. No, not an armory. Maybe the warden's office or something, though? There's got to be an armory in here. There has to be. Don't like all the banging. Okay, so we've got more cells. Oh, okay. Could be in there. Also an upstairs here. Okay, they're just cells. That's fine. Okay, we're in. So are some zombies. Oh, nimble up. Nice. Uh, we got some more shotgun shells. We really need 9mm. We need shotgun shells. Well, yeah, not, not a lot. Not a lot in there, is there? We probably should check out these buildings as well, as much as I don't really want to. Wait, did we do this building up here? I don't think we did, did we? Let's go have a little peek. Whoa! Jesus. Uh, so it looks like some kind of factory for the prisoners. Okay. Oh, we're not going to find any guns in here. We should probably go back because we're going to get tired. See, Well, we are tired, but we're going to get even more tired. Yeah, we're just going to hang around inside, I think. Yeah, for the rest of the day. That's the plan. Not risking it. There's still so many of them out there. we got magazines and stuff to read. We better go and pick our pickaxe up as well tomorrow, I think, because we are low on weapons. Any duct tape kicking around? No. Okay, but it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to get in them two buildings. We'll see you then. Okay, day 54. We have awoken. Still alive. And then we got Zeds inside. Oh, yeah, we have. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, God, there's so many of them. Just keep coming and coming. Right, let's get back to the car and pick up our machete and drop off some of this stuff we've got. We haven't really got a lot. Look at them, there's so many everywhere. What's our kill count on, actually? 2,300, okay. And we do have the tomahawk. Let's actually take that as well. And our pickaxe, okay. Oh, Lord. Wow. <laughs> well, then I was expecting in there. I think we'll try getting in one of these and then at least then we'll know if there is guns in there. Now, of course, I think the guns are going to be upstairs, which is where I do not want to go. Let's have a little peek. It sounds quiet up there. Okay, so not really much of an armory around here, is there? So I think, actually, we just get the hell out of here. Well, let's, let's bring up the map quick. Yeah, do we want to go to these buildings? Yeah, let's go up to them for the day, I think, and we'll stay there for the night. Well, wasn't really much in this place, was there? But at least we explored it. We've got to nearly be at another level in Axe now, surely. Yeah, bloody hell. All right, let's get out of this death trap. So as we got a few guns, 
guns. We refilled our truck a little bit. And then he got a leveling axe. So I suppose it's a win. And at least the weather's better now for us to get out of here. Okay, we're coming up to these blue buildings. What are they? Oh, what, what are they going to be there? That's the question, isn't it? Let's park here because I feel we're not going to be able to get out of this. Actually, let's go park on the road. All right, let's go and have a look then. Did see what looked like a policeman, so... Seems fairly quiet around here, which is nice. Okay, what is this place? It looks like some kind of farmhouse. Yeah, there's hay and stuff, so it's not blue. More farm stuff. Okay, let's go back over here and try not to draw any of the bastards over to us. You got anything good in here? I doubt it. But... Okay, so we will sleep in here tonight, but I want to just board that window up just to be safe. I think we'll be okay, but... You never know. We'll move one of these chairs in as well. Sleeping it rough on a plastic chair. <laughs> well, it could be worse. We could be sleeping on the floor. Yeah, so we'll wait here for the day and then we'll push probably up into this town here. Check out some buildings and then after that we're going back to the base. Probably straight up this high street here. But we'll see. We'll see. But I'll be glad to get back to our base, that's for sure. How is our weight looking? Because we have been starving ourselves. 79. Oh, okay. That's good. That is good. We can nearly start going back to MREs then. But it is 11 o'clock. Oh my god, I can't see anything. <laughs> get the torch on. Um, Yeah, so it's 11 o'clock clock we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're pushing up we'll see you then okay day 55 we're just gonna get up and adam actually first let's fill our water up let's not do the same oh there is no sink here right okay well let's get a move on then let's get up to that town i think of north of us let's have some canned cod liver i think to start the day off all right let's go let's go yeah we got a long old drive haven't we i mean we could potentially check this place out <laughs> I mean, it is on the way. Let's just get driving up there. What is this place? Just in the middle of nowhere. Let's check it out. Got like a little guard tower there. Maybe a little army depot or something. Oh, yeah, it is. That. Okay, we got some houses here. We're not going to stop here. No, no, I don't fancy this. Police blockade. Let's just go around that. Okay, so we've got another gas station here. Let's see, that's blocked off up there. Ah, oh, it could be something good. I don't want to drive up there. No, no, we're not doing it. Let's just stick to our main goal here. Although, I have just seen this, which could be a survivor house. But then it's kind of smashed up house anyway, so I don't know if the planks are supposed to be on there. Yeah, there's uh, there's nothing in here. <laughs> okay, so we are coming up to the little town there. We'll probably try and find a little house in one of these, because it's getting quite late in the day, and we are starting to get tired. So we've got to be careful. Okay, so we're just before the bridge. Let's check this car, see if we can get a camping canteen just while we're here. No, nothing in there. Right, let's cross this bridge then. This does look like it could be quite a big town, so I'm a little bit worried for the population because we are seeing zombies here already as well. It's not going to be our... Oh, look how many there is. Oh, no. Okay, let's just get out here. We've got to kill as many as we can. Oh, and there goes the axe. I like the tomahawk. It's got some good range on it. Okay, I think we try and actually get in one of these houses to our south there. Turn the engine off. That should be fine now. Now, do we try and hop the fence? No, let's go in through there. Ah, oh, the tomahawk's gone. No. Pickaxe time. Ah, get out of the bush. The only problem with the pickaxe is a good weapon, but it just ties you out. Let's just assess the area around here, I think. Okay, well, I think this is where we'll be staying. Hopefully, it's gone upstairs. I mean, there is windows up there, but it might not be. Okay, we are in. I can hear a zombie out there. Okay, so I guess it does have an upstairs, which is nice. We can take this food as well. Let's just check the house. We'll fill up our water as well. Okay, so the house looks pretty clear. Yeah, so we'll stay here for the night, and then tomorrow we'll push into that town. Okay, but it's 10 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we're pushing in. We'll see you then. Okay, day 56. We have survived the night, which is good. We'll fill our water up, and I think we'll just get cracking and push into that town, I reckon. We'll probably hop the fence here, I think. Yeah, lovely. I think we we'll probably drive up to the blue buildings. We'll try not to stay here for another night. I mean, if it's crazy busy, we're getting the hell out of here. Okay, so we got a blue building here, which is actually looks like a school. So we don't need to bother about that. Zombie count doesn't seem too bad around here. Probably all in the buildings, that's why. Okay, we got a blue building here I want to check out, which looks like fire department so probably not going to go in there either and there's one more blue building up here which i'm going to guess is another school maybe oh there's this that's a hospital i think and another blue building on the right here which again looks like 
a school. Okay, now let's just get out of here. Oh, I'm done with this road trip. We've had too many close calls. Let's just get home. We'll bring the mapper once we get out of this bit of town here. Okay, looks like we're on the main road out of here. Let's just head north and keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What we got here then? This could be interesting. We're on what looks like a roundabout. Let's just stop here. Let's have a little look in these buildings while we are here. Generator. No, nothing in them. Okay, so we are here. Now, if we just follow this road all the way up, all the way up to here, and then, yeah, we can get, get to our base, which is here. Okay, let's get home where it's safe. Okay, so it looks like we're starting to come into the city, so we've got to be careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 we got, oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, bloody hell. Let's go, 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 go. Get out of here. We'll take the other route. We will come down there because that could be a military checkpoint. But we'll come from the other way because this is busy. Yeah, we'll take a left down here and come up through this way. Hopefully it's a bit clearer. Oh, wow, look at that. Like a trash, like a dump on the side of the road. Nice. Thing is, we're low on weapons as well. We've only got the pickaxe, and that's just going to tire us out. There's a lot of zombies on that road parallel to us, but we look okay on this this little road, which may actually be a train track. I don't know. Still pretty busy, though. Oh, no, look. Wait a minute. We may be able to get through this way. We can always smash that down as well. Okay, 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 okay. we got options. we got options. Get out. Definitely a lot safer coming this way, being as we do have the sledge to smash that down as well. Okay, it looks pretty clear. Let's get the sledge. We're going to have to move quick once this is all smashed down. Oh, God, there's loads coming. Come on, you bastards. Okay, we got a load of them. Oh, there's still more coming. Okay, that looks like a lot of them. Let's grab the sledge and start smashing again. We probably need to make this free wide, I reckon. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. We've cleared a path. Let's get rid of this bloody sledgehammer because it's so heavy. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Another tire's going to take it, all these dead bodies. Yeah, we've done it. Okay, let's go, let's go. Just going to get home now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a right here. We know that way's safe. Then we haven't got to go through the city. Hopefully the bridge is clear. My FPS is taking such a hit. I think it's the amount of zombies, the built-up areas, the snow on the floor, and also it is currently snowing as well. <laughs> Rip in peace, my PC. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, to hell with it. To hell with it. We're going through the city. We can't mess around here. It actually seems fairly quiet along this road, so that's a result. <laughs> okay, so I've brought the map up. So what we might do is go along these tracks all the way up to here that's probably the smartest thing to do isn't it instead of going all through here yeah let's do that oh god oh jesus christ god get the hell out of here my god jesus we are in a tough old predicament here i thought we was a goner then to hell with it we're gonna have to go through the city it's getting late as well we're gonna get tired just get me to my base that's all i want okay so we are actually coming up on our x that we marked when we was pushing into the city so it should actually in theory be pretty clear north of that fps is shocking it's down at 18 so hard to drive in it okay we're at the x let's just get up let's go north let's get to our base we should be fine now god loads of them have come come on over to this place aren't they we cleared this place okay well, we're at the supermarket that's fine let's deal with these bastards so they don't come trash our gate Ah, oh, we are home we have made it let's take a look at the old bloody truck uh yeah it definitely took a beating <laughs> Not horrendous, just the hood and the engine, but we can, we can sort that out. Let's also move all of this stuff over. All right, well, let's drop all our stuff off anyway. Let's get that shotgun away because it is in our main inventory. Oh, look at this. Don't remember finding that. That is pretty cool. Ah, we're going to need another crate as well. Let's just drop this on the floor for now. Oh, well, yeah, that was that was absolute carnage. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, we will take some of these hand axes as well, I suppose, because the pickaxe just is too heavy. Yeah, that was absolute carnage. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing a lot for the rest of these 10 days, that's for sure, after that. Okay, but it's 20 to 11, we're going to go to bed tomorrow, it's going to be a base day, we need to build some more crates, I also want to do some work on the car as well, but we shall see you then. Okay, day 57, we've made it, we've bloody made it. Let's actually take one of these doors apart to get a plank. 
There we go, lovely. Let's build another crate for our guns. There we go, lovely stuff. Yeah, that was actually terrifying. <laughs> All right, 79. Let's start eating some MREs just to bump these calories up. Can we eat another one? Yes, we can. Let's actually fill our car up with fuel. There we go. Lovely and full. Happy days. Let's just go and survey the entrance, see if any of them basses have come on over to our gate. No, all looks clear. Nice. Is this still saying we've got like 90 days left or whatever? 83 days, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, but it's half past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. It's going to be another base day. We're going to do some repairs on the car, I think, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 58. I am so happy we are back at our base. I do love this base. Let's get some food in us. Some sardines. Why not? Hey, let's treat ourselves. We've had a stressful few days. Let's just treat ourselves, you know? All right, let's go get some... Oh, we need a wrench. Wait, I think we have a wrench on us, don't we? Yeah, okay. All right, let's go get a new hood and some engine parts. Mm, I was going to say we may get another level in mechanics, but I don't think we will. Look at this, 87. We'll take it. All right, so we've got a hood. We got... How many engine parts did we get? 10. Mm, it's probably not going to do a lot, is it? We're probably going to need more. Let's take some from this truck. Yeah, we got 14. Also going to give us 14%. Eh, we can go get some other engine parts as well from the cars around here. Yeah, she took a beating, all right. But she pulled through. So we're on 60. Yeah, 74. Okay. So have a look for some a windscreen as well, because ours took a... We lost that. <laughs> yeah, 77 windscreen. We'll take it. And more engine parts. There we go. A lovely new windscreen. Let's also repair the engine. Ah, 86. Lovely. How much mechanic skill did that give us? Eh, not a lot, actually. But as long as we can repair our engines, we don't really need any more levels, to be honest. Okay, but it is half past ten. I'm going to grab an MRE very quickly. We're going to go to bed, and tomorrow we're going to go down... Let me just bring the map up here a second. Yeah, we're going to go down to this hardware store here, just to see if there are any weapons out that we can find. So we are running a bit low, but we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 59. Let's fill our water up and we'll go down on foot to that hardware store just to see what we can see. I don't think there's going to be anything, but we may as well have a look and we'll just crack straight on. Oh, we got some visitors. Oh, we have found some more shotgun shells in this truck here. That's good. I was actually looking for camping canteens. Oh, more shotgun shells in this here and duct tape we'll take. So we may have to repair some of our hatches. Not ideal, but I didn't really get a choice. Okay, so I think this should be a hardware store. Yeah, pretty sure we did go through it, but okay, we'll take duct tape and adhesive tape and more duct tape. No, nothing here. Just the usual. We got a load of duct tape though, so that's fine. All right, let's get, just get back. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, so let's actually see how much duct tape we've got. Where did we keep the duct tape? Ah, in here. We had three already, but we got a hell of a lot more now. <laughs> I have just heard a bulb go somewhere. I don't know where, but looks like a lot of them have gone, to be honest with you. But it is 20 to 11. We're going to go to bed and tomorrow, probably another base day. We'll see you then. Okay. Day 60. We are getting through them. Let's fill up our water very quickly. Let's have an MRE. Get them calories pumping. Maybe gain a bit of weight here. Yeah, 79 and up. That's fine. So yeah, what a bloody... What an adventure we've had over the past 20 days, my lord. So I think for the next... The rest of the 100 days, we're probably going to stick to the city. Try and find some good locations in here for loot and things like that. The population is high. It's a very high population place, this map mod. I also want to get down to these here. Well, especially this one, because this could be military here. So maybe that's our goal, to work our way down here, I think, over the next 10. But we're probably not going to be doing a lot for today, as it is a 10th day and we never normally do. Okay, we are back on day 61. We got a fair bit to do still. We got a fair bit to do. I think the first order of business is to try and get... Get down this bit that's what i want to do maybe get down and see this little military i think this is military down here so we're going to go down try and get in there that's going to be the goal for the 10 days we might get in there we might not first things first so we're going to have some food how are the calories looking 79 weight okay let's yeah let's have an mre we'll also fill up on water because i am not running out again what kind of weaponry are we looking like we could do with some hatchets can we that's that's what we need and also, what about our shotgun shells? Okay, so we do have 54. So maybe, just maybe, we take a shotgun down there. What do you think? Is this going to be a good idea? Probably not. It will draw them all to us. So we can get ready. We can blast a few. Yeah, I think, I think we do it, you know. Let's get some aiming up. Then we can start looking... 
are using some other guns, maybe some pistols. We've got plenty of 9mm and all that kind of stuff. We've got so many rifles as well. But let's just get down there, I think. Let's actually park here, because then we can retreat back to our base. And then let's go use a shotgun at this clearing down here. And then that'll bring them all out to us so the bastards can stop wandering into the street. Because they had all wandered on down here, hadn't they? Let's get the shotgun. Here's a better place than any. This is probably the clearest area around here. Come on, you bastards. Oh god, that's loud. Oh, there is a lot of them coming. Was this a good idea? I don't know. Oh god, look at them all. This is not a good idea. Aiming up, nice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Over the fence, over the fence. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, we got a level in aiming. Yeah, that's not really enough though, is it? This shotgun is not the best either. But at least that's a level, a level we didn't have. Let's put that away. We know not to use that now. Sure we had another one, you know. No, we don't. We got 12 gauge, but, oh, that takes 12 gauge. Let's take that. Let's take this one. Let's give this one a whirl, shall we? Oh my God, this takes one shell at a time. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> we'll just take the old, uh, the hatchet down there just to clear the bastards out. At least we should have brought a load of them to, to us though. We're probably gonna need the machete for this, to be honest. Oh my God, there's one got in here. How did, no, no, they broke my gate down. No, you bastards. Get off me! Oh, what did he take a chunk out of? Nothing by the looks. Jeez. We got lucky there. Okay, well, we're going to have to repair this gate again, aren't we? Let's go and try and clear some of these bastards down here. I think we might need the machete for this, to be honest. Ah, uh, looks like they've all wandered up there, which isn't a bad thing. We can take them off one by one. All right, looks like we got the majority of them. Let's go and look at fixing. Actually, let's jump over the fence and then we'll get some hinges and stuff to hopefully fix that fence. Oh, look, yeah, they're getting through. Hey, get out of there. Jeez, you bastard. No, my lovely gate, no. All right, well, we got all the stuff there. It doesn't allow we can dismantle the gate, so we're gonna have to bring the sledgehammer down, but we'll probably do that tomorrow, I think. Actually, let's look at putting some metal gates on. Let's see if we can make them yet. Hmm, doesn't look like we can make, oh, no, it doesn't look like we can make a gate, so. Okay, we probably haven't read whatever we need to read for that. So it looks like being old fashioned wood, but it is 20 to 11, we're gonna go to bed tomorrow. We're gonna fix that gate, we'll see you then. Okay, day 62. I think I can hear some bastards outside, so let's go and see if any have wandered on over. Probably closed my door. Come on, you bastards. Where are you? Okay, there's none there. Right, today we need to fix our gate, and I've just remembered the sledgehammer's in the car, which we abandoned, so we're going to have to get that. But while we're down there, we'll clear it out for any of the bastards as well, just so they don't wander over and break our new gate. Oh, leveling axe. Nice. What are we on now on accent? Level four, get in. All right, well, we've dealt with a fair few. There's still a couple more, but oh, there's still a lot more. All right, well, that's a lot of them taken care of. Still haven't found another camping canteen, have we? All right, well, let's get back to base for the day. We'll fix our fence up and go from there. Well, there we go. It's destroyed. Rip in peace. But time for gate 2.0. Oh, we need another door hinge, apparently. Okay. There we go, look at that. Lovely, good as new. We'll also have a quick scan of the perimeter and I want to check that other gate to the north that we blocked with a car. No, nope, that all looks good up there, happy days. Well, what a start. Well, at least we're safe now anyway, so. Okay, but it's 20 to 11, we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow's probably gonna be a base day, you know, because we want to let them corpses despawn so I don't really fancy driving over all of them to get down into town, so. Yeah, we'll see you then. All right, day 63. Let's just have a little scan down at the gate, see what it's looking like down there yeah all looks pretty clear thankfully just gonna have a look see if there's a camping canteen in this car oh and this one as well because we could do with another one no but i have found a box of shotgun shells so we will take them let's grab a bite to eat as well i think how is weight probably need a yeah eight inch one okay so we'll have something small maybe pickled tomatoes in milk wow okay i don't know how i feel about that i mean i don't like tomatoes anyway <laughs> but it's 20 past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're pushing down there we'll see you then all right day 64 we are just gonna crack straight onto this fill our water up let's also grab ourselves some canned shrimp meat yeah we'll do that that sounds good <laughs> all right get that in you ivan right let's get the hell out of here let's push on 
come down, or try to anyway. Hopefully there's some corpses would have despawned, so the drive will be a little bit better. So we're actually on minus 25 at the minute, so it's pretty, pretty cold. Oh, wow, okay, okay, you better calm down, you bastards. Jesus. All right, let's go. Let's just push on down there. Mm, so it doesn't look like the corpses have despawned. Um, okay, well, we're here now, so we're going over them. Okay, so we're down at that main road. We are just going to pull over. Let's turn the engine off. We don't need it on. All right, let's get out. Let's deal with these bastards. Oh, okay, okay. I'll we'll probably go on foot to the end of this road, I think. Yeah, to the crossroads and we'll clear it out as we go. Hopefully we'll find ourselves some nice shops or something. We don't mind a hardware store to get a new axe. Oh, we got some shops up here. Let's go and have a look at these. Got a lot of zombies as well, but... Oh, God, there is a lot. Cool, there is a lot. I want to have a little look in this shop as well. Oh, it's some kind of restaurant. Okay. Let's have a little peek in this car, see if there's a camping canteen in there. Oh, I see this sneaky bastard. Screwdriver, not really interested in that. Meh, no. Tell you what, these little hand axes ain't too bad, you know, with a high enough level. Okay, we got what looks like some kind of supermarket. Yeah, let's grab some chips to take with us. Okay, that's a grocery store, not too worried about that. Oh, God! Where the hell did all these bastards come from? Oh, we are getting tired. Okay, we're going to be careful here. Okay, let's go and sit in this van for a little bit. Because oh, I was locked. <laughs> okay. So I also want to check it for camping canteens as well. No, just cigarettes. Still a load of the bastards in there. Oh, let's actually mark this block off as done. Because, yeah, there's nothing that we really need now. We will check these as we go, though, on foot. You know how we roll. We go down on foot, we clear the way, then we'll come back in the car and go a little bit further. So you got to do it, slow and carefully. I think these are just residential, though, by the looks. Oh! Yeah, we got another shop there by the looks. Got a lot of bloody zombies. Maybe we get the machete out for this one. Uh, yeah, I think we do. And some beta blockers. Come on, you bastards. God, machetes are so good. We need another one. Let's check the boot of this car. Don't think it's a police car, but... Nah, nothing in there. Okay. Uh, we got what looks like a gas station there. Okay. How is the old maintenance looking? Ah, half a level. Okay, so we are getting there. Minus 26. God, that's cold. Let's go have a look in this shop up here. I don't think it is a shop. It looks more like a restaurant or something. Yeah. Oh, we can actually rest. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. But we might be able to rest on that. I mean, we can lie, but... <laughs> oh, jeez. That's for shitty, these bastards. All right, we are making progress. Oh, look at these signs for the gas. I like that. That's really good. A lot of detail. Right, let's see if we can get in one of these cars just to rest up. No, we cannot. We could get in one of them, though. Oh, shotgun shells. Nice. We'll take them. Oh, might be some good ammo in the back of this truck here. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, let's head back to the car because we're going to start getting tired soon. God, look how many bastards have come around here now. Ah, oh, there goes the axe. All right, let's get home. That's enough excitement for one day. Oh, there's no bastards trying to break our gate down, which is a result, I suppose. All right, we are home. Now, what I want to do is repair some weapons. It's not ideal, but... But, really the only option we've got. Yeah, that didn't really do anything. It's pretty pointless repairing them, to be honest. Okay, well, what about the machete, though? Ooh, scrap metal we can repair it with. Surely we got scrap metal somewhere. Well, that's probably a job for tomorrow. We'll go around and we'll go try and get... So we may have to go into the house and dismantle some stuff, possibly. Because to get a 55% or whatever it was repaired, yeah, we'll take that. But it's 10 past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to look at repairing that machete. We'll see you then. Okay, day 6. So what we're going to do is go and have a look at some scrap metal. Now, I would have thought there would be some in one of these garages, but we're going to take our welding mask and stuff with us just in case we need to go into some of the houses. Oh, it doesn't look like we was actually dismantled stuff down here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we come down, didn't we, without the mask. Oh, look at our hair. Luscious long locks. Mm, we're not getting any scrap metal. And we're nearly out of bloody juice on the propane tank. Jeez. 
Uh, maybe we have to go in the houses. I found. I'm not sure if they give you scrap metal, so we'll go in the houses. We'll go refill, grab a couple more torches, and then head into the houses. Oh, <laughs> we've got bloody three propane tanks on us. We don't want that. Jeez. We're actually going to cut his hair as well because this is not Ivan's style. Was it a buzz cut we gave him? No, it was spikes, I think. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of this beard as well. Lovely. Bloody lovely. What is our metal working? Uh, oh, we got some bastards out here. Ah! Okay, let's go in some houses down here because I feel we've done the ones to the west, so... This is what we want, cookers and fridges. Look at that, straight away, scrap metal. And some more, okay, so we should be able to go and repair it now. All right, let's repair scrap metal, yeah, look at this. No, uh, where is it, where is it? Look at that, nice, nice, okay. We may as well repair this one as well. Yeah, let's do it, nice, okay. We got a couple of good machettes on us now, which is good, and I think tomorrow, we're gonna take this bad boy down there, I reckon. Yeah, we're gonna test it out. We got it, we got it, won't we, to hell with it. Okay. It's 10 to 11 we're gonna go to bed yep tomorrow we're going back down there in the apc we'll see you then okay day 66 we have awoken let's grab ourselves some food we got anything on us no it doesn't look like it let's get an mre in us because the calories are low and our weight is actually dropping okay so we leveled off that's fine let's fill up our water all right let's take this bastard for a joyride shall we oh god it's so loud it needs filling up with fuel it's actually quite mobile let's try and fill it up doesn't want to let me there we go. Looks like it's at the back here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Now, it doesn't have any boot space or anything like that, but... Oh, med kit. It does have the seats, but we're just using it to go and clear it out down there, I think. Maybe even ram some bastards, you know. Depends if it can plow for... Oh, it's not that good handling at high speeds. Okay, we got to bear that in mind. Hopefully, we can just mow through the bastards. Okay, let's go. See if it loses speed when we hit one of them. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I definitely feel a lot safer in this. Yeah, it cannot go fast, though. we got to be careful of that. <laughs> We're just hitting bastards left, right, and Chelsea here. Oh, look at all of these. Oh, yeah, we've not been down this far yet, have we? Let's just try and get down there. Okay, it's actually pretty clear down the south side here. Okay, we are actually getting down to it by the looks. Yeah, these military here. Let's try and run some of these bastards over. Oh, there is a lot. Oh, we're getting bogged down, we're getting bogged down. Come on, come on. Okay, that that was that was risky. <laughs> What's up here? Maybe we could do a little staging area up here by the church. Okay, let's try it. We, we got machetes, so let's try it. This could be a very bad idea, but we've committed now. Oh, yeah, this was a really bad idea. This was a really bad idea. Look at them all. Oh, my God. Oh, we got to spread them out a bit. Let's go around the building. Oh, God, there is so many. This is such a bad idea. Hopefully there's not that many on the road though. Uh, there's a couple, we've got Nomad. Let's clear this road out and we'll just keep looping them around. Okay, let's just take it careful here. Okay, let's go and have a look, see what we're uh, dealing with here. It's like a lot of them went inside, <laughs> bloody idiots. Okay, it looks like we've spread them out quite well, actually. Not bad manoeuvring, if I do say so myself. Thank God this... Well, literally, thank God this church is here. Ah, oh, looks like the majority of them. Got some stragglers. We'll use the axe on them. Why not? Oh, I don't know. We've got a few down here. Let's get the hatchet out. Ah, you bastard! Ah, laceration! God damn it, I whiffed that. Schoolboy arrow took a chunk out of our jacket as well. You bastard! Ah, we need painkillers, do we? Oh, we don't have any honours. Ah! One time I don't bring painkillers out. Mm, don't know if we could do that, you know. Let's try for a little bit. One at a time, we'll be fine. Ooh, a hand axe we will take, though. I'm going to keep looking at the zombies because we might get lucky and find some painkillers on one of them. Let's actually try and get in one of these buildings to see what's actually in here. Hmm, cells, okay, interesting. Oh, okay, yeah, look at this. Could be guns in here, could be. 
Okay, well, I think we're going to have to retreat, unfortunately. We're just not doing enough damage. But we can come down in the proper car tomorrow, I think, because it's not too bad. We may have to wait a day, though, for this to heal. Let's get the hell out of here, though. There was Lucky. Lucky escaped there. All right, well, we are home. I don't even know if we've got painkillers, actually. Maybe I haven't been picking them up, you know. No, I don't think we do. <laughs> That's an issue. Well... Uh, we're only in minor pain. We might be able to sleep with that. Yeah, we can sleep with minor pain. That's fine. And so we'll probably, yeah, hang around tomorrow and let this heal so we don't have to take any pain killers because we don't even have any. We'll have to keep an eye out for them. Bastard took a hole right out of the left arm. Well, the fireman jacket probably saved us from getting a bite there, to be honest. So I'm not complaining. Just hope we don't get bloody infected from it. But, I mean, we got lucky, so we should be okay. We are prone to illness, but... We should be fine, I think. Fingers crossed anyway. Or we might not be making it to day 100. Let's go grab some food to help it heal faster. Let's have some MREs. But it is 20 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we're just going to hang around. I think we'll see you then. Okay, day 67. We have awoken. We are still in pain. Let's actually remove this. Maybe disinfect it as well. Don't even have any disinfectant for God's sake. <laughs> well, let's clean that other bandage. Maybe today, actually, let's just go over to that supermarket, see if we can find some kind of medical supplies, maybe. How do I not have medical supplies? Oh, I found painkillers. Okay, that's good. Maybe some disinfectant or disinfectant wipes. No, no disinfectant wipes, but painkillers are fine. That's good. I'll actually take some. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, wasn't there a med kit in the APC? That might have something in it. Military bandage might have disinfectant on it. What's in this then? Med kit instructions. Um, okay. <laughs> Can we apply that then? Military bandage. Well, there we go. Hopefully that does the trick. All right, well, we're going to have this MRE. We are back in pain. Oh, it has gone a little bit now. All right, we're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we're going to go down, back down there anyway, in the, uh, in the Jeep. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 68. We are it's still in a little bit of pain, so I'm guessing the wound hasn't healed. No, okay. Bandages. Let's clean our bandages as well. Oh, we can't clean the dirty military bandage. Okay, well, let's get rid of that then. Um, I think we'll be okay to go down there today. Let's fill our canteen up. We'll also keep an eye out for some disinfectant as well. But let's just crack on. Let's get down there in the Jeep. No, they've broke my fence down again, you bastards. I'm going to run out of hinges at this rate. You bastards. Still so many about. Oh my god, look at them all everywhere. Oh, I have to spot this building on our left here, which has got all barbed wire around it. That's interesting. Let's just go and have a little peek, shall we? We're near the checkpoint anyway, so... This could be military. Uh, no, the shop's there, so it looks like it's probably some little community. But let's go have a little look. Actually, these look like storage lots. Yes, storage units, okay. All right, well, at least we know now. We'll just check this car for a canteen, no? No, we got the key, not that we need it, but... Nope, nothing in there, okay. On we go. Ooh, okay, okay, we gotta be careful because there's a lot there. Let's take some baiters. Also have cigarettes before the carnage. Yeah, thank God we didn't try and come through this way when we was coming back into the city because it is absolutely swarming with the bastards. Well, we definitely cleared a lot of them out. All right, let's have a little look around then. I see another generator up there. <laughs> Not a lot outside. Although we do have medical beds, which is a good sign. Let's have a little look outside. We look okay. It looks like we got some, uh, some guns in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, baby. MREs, a crate of 7.62. Okay. Really need shotgun shells, though. We'll just take all the ammo. Okay, pretty successful first haul. Okay, looks like we got medical in there. What up, mine? Ah, alcohol wipes. Yes, please. Never say no to beta blockers as well. Disinfect, alcohol wipes. Bandage, there we go. Okay. More beta blockers. Take the antibiotics as well. Bottle of disinfectant we'll take. And another bandage. And some more painkillers. Thank you very much. All right, what we got in here? Looks like some kind of holding cells. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay. Ah, get out of it. Okay, look at this. We got more, more guns. This is definitely the, the military place, isn't it? There's not many shotgun shells, though. That's what we need. Oh, look at this. PKM machine gun. So many guns. So many MREs. Oh, VSS. Yes. Just give me a bloody... Just give me some shotgun shells. That's all I want. Maybe one more level in aiming and we can take some of these for a test run. Oh, so much stuff. Look at this. P90 
PPSH. Still no bloody shotgun shells though. We all starting to get tired, but we've only got two more to do, so we may as well do them. Oh, and he had the key on him. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, get out of it. Do you want to clean this bandage? More ammo. <laughs> Another crate of ammo. Oh, we're very overweight, but we got one more to do, so let's just do it. Oh, machine pistol, yes. More more ammo. Okay, no shotgun shells, but, well, we might have to do it with pistols because, yeah. I mean, one level might be okay, you know. But, yeah, this this is definitely the place to go if you want guns, I guess. All right, now we need to get home. Hopefully, we don't get bogged down and have to abort the car because, yeah, we're probably not going to survive that. <laughs> so, we're going to have to be careful here. All right, we are home. We have made it. Let's get all what we can in our backpack here. Okay, but it's 11 o'clock. We didn't quite move everything everything over so we will finish that tomorrow and get everything all sorted out in its correct place so we'll uh we'll see you in the morning okay day 69 nice get an mre in us why the hell not and we're just sorting today i do want to maybe try and test out one of them pistols today as well actually all right so everything's out of the truck as i say we are a bit low on space so still some stuff has had to go on the floor but let's just have a look what guns we've got preferably a pistol we got pm pistol okay what does this take nine by 18 okay all right so we got 120 rounds for this gun so it's not actually a lot oh, i've got the wrong ones that's why we got 15 boxes of what we need okay that's that changes things so 240 okay nice leveling reloading now is a pistol going to be viable with level one probably not but we're going to go test it out level two i think we could probably get away with it but level one hmm, it's a bit dicey we got some candidates right here Close range is okay. Very close range, but it's better than nothing. Quite risky as well, but... At least it's hitting them. Mm, it's getting us there as well, slowly but surely. Just bring them in nice and close. You bastard. All right, well, we got options. We could definitely probably gain another level, I think, from this pistol. Mm, it is very slow, but like I say, we got no other choice, really. Okay, so he's getting us there, definitely. Okay, well, let's get back anyway today. Yeah, well, we definitely got options anyway. Let's see if we can get a couple more magazines. Yeah, we'll take them. This is only eight in a mag. Reloading's coming on as well. Nice. Okay, but it's 20 to 11. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 70. Woken up pretty early. Let's grab some food. So I think the goal for the next 10, probably just to explore the city more, I think. Maybe come down here. This could be something quite interesting here, maybe. Oh, what's on this island? Look, it looks like there's a bridge. Could even try and get over there. I feel like there could be something good over there, you know. Probably build some flooring across that way, maybe. But we still got a lot to do, but we are getting through them. Day 70, bloody hell. But as it is a 10th day, we're probably not going to do a lot today as we never normally do. Okay, we are back. Day 71. We are powering through them. Now, what I want to do for the next 10, let's just bring up the map here quick. I want to probably explore the east side of town. So we're probably going to come down here with some kind of firearm and try and clear it out, I think. I have also noticed that I think all of the bulbs are gone in here. <laughs> so we're on the lookout for bulbs as well. That was our way. Okay, so it is dropping on 79. Let's have an MRE, I think. Also want to change our pistol as well because this one is broken nearly. There we go. We got a nice new one. So the pistol's going to do us, you know, for the time being. Don't know what else. I mean, we've got a lot of bloody AKs and stuff like that for when we get another level. I think we need another level before we start using some other guns, you know. So actually, let's fill our water up we don't want a uh, repeat of a couple of weeks ago do we <laughs> that's for sure now uh, we got snow nice nice so i think we're just gonna head over to the east side we're gonna go east out of our base here and just you know we're gonna go and foot take the pistols see what we see we got 150 rounds hopefully that will get us up a level I would have thought so. Oh, yeah, we also need to fix our gate as well, don't we? We've got a lot to do around base, actually. But I think the first day we'll go out and have a bit of fun. I mean, what is even down here? Let's check these cars for 
canteens as well. May have already checked them, to be honest. I don't even remember, but oh well. Yeah, I think I already checked them. <laughs> oh, I didn't check these, though. No, no canteens. Okay, so what we got here. So it looks like we can't actually get over <laughs> this way. Uh, I do hear zombies, so I'm not just going to go barreling over. Ah, there's a couple. Let's actually just use the pistol. Why not? Let's get them levels. This is actually a big house. He's got a few garages here. Yeah, look, we can't actually get over. Okay, that's fine. What we will do is jump over these fences because I think this is going to be okay, this street. Famous last words, I know, but let's do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, so we got our first lot of uh, target practice. It's very nerve-wracking letting them get that close. But it seems to one-shot when they are pretty much point-blank. Doesn't seem to draw that many over either, which is quite nice. You never know as well, we might get lucky and find a little gun store or something like that. I mean, do they have gun stores in Russia? I don't know what the laws on guns are. So I know in the UK it would be hard to find a gun store. You might be able to find one somewhere for shotguns or something, but no, we got a few down here and also some kind of shop. Looks like a restaurant. Come on, you bastard. Oh, there's a lot appeared here. Oh, reloading up. Nice. There's a lot of bloody zombies around here, though. Oh, aiming up. Nice. Really makes a difference, that one level. Okay, well, that is a lot of them done. We got on level, but we are also out of 9 mil as well. But that's fine. That's fine, because we'll go and get some kind of rifle, I think, or something now. Let's just pick up some hinges as we go. Actually, let's have a look for some light bulbs. All right, so we got six light bulbs, so that should do us. Okay, so we've added light bulbs, and we'll keep the three spare ones there. That's fine. Now let's have a look what we've got then, shall we? See, they're all different types of ammo, which is going to confuse things. Some machine gun moment. We've got five of them, not in good condition. Okay, we'll put this broken machete away. Oh, wow, them cartons actually have so much ammo in them. Look at this. We got 49 boxes of 7.62. Wow, okay, that is amazing. We do not need that many, but we will take a fair few. What does the PKM take? Where's the magazine for that? 7.6254. I swear we got a load of that as well and oh, we got three boxes okay well the ak will do us for now yeah okay so we got we're ak'd up which is good nice nice with plenty of ammo as well we'll get rid of these nine millimeter we also need to build another crate out here i want to separate this as well from guns to ammo oh we have lights we have lights all right but it's 20 past 10 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow i think we're gonna go back down there again with the ak so we'll see you then all right day 72 now it looks like we got a bit of fog out there yeah we got a lot of fog so probably not the best idea to go shooting down in town today but what we will do is maybe try and get a new fence on let's get ourselves some hinges now it looks like there aren't that many stragglers so hopefully this will be the last gate we build doesn't look like we have any hinges down here but we do have a doorknob so all right, let's go and get rid of this sledge all right let's go and find ourselves some door hinges we never actually went in the back of this supermarket did we or did we oh hatchet yes i'm guessing we didn't <laughs> ah look at that two hinges mine actually need more planks you know yeah we need a few more planks so well, let's chop one of these trees down there we go we are back to being secure all right so the fog has cleared so we should hopefully be able to get out tomorrow what i also want to do is just drop this holster off because we don't have a pistol it's just giving us extra carry weight that we don't really want all right it's 10 to 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we're going in the town with the ak we'll see you then all right day 73 woken up at 10 to 10 a reasonable time let's grab ourselves some food maybe some pork stew yeah why not lovely lovely now do we drive down there now i think we go on foot you know all right so we're on that road we got a couple of bastards here let's see how good we are with the ak <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it's not the best. Oh, no, this is going to get me killed. Let's get the hatch out. Uh, it's actually gaining the levels pretty quick, though. The axe is so much more efficient. But we will not give up. The durability is so bad on these guns as well. 
All right, well, let's bring the map up anyway. Where are we? So we want to get, what, over down down to here? Okay, so let's just keep on going along this main road then, I guess. Now, probably a pistol would be better, you know, than a rifle. You know what, let's go full auto on this. Oh, we just miss everything. Nah, to hell with the AK. It's not that good. Not with level 2 aiming anyway. Okay, well, it's starting to get late. So we're not actually that tired, though. Oh, what's this? Some kind of warehouse. Oh, yeah, it's the other side of that fence. Let's go in here and see what we got before we head home. Um, Absolutely nothing. Looks like some kind of construction site. Now, can we get up this ladder? Oh, yes, we can. Look at this. Oh, wow. Is this completely safe up here? There's not a lot in here, but it's still pretty cool. All right, well, let's get out of here. We'll go back, see what pistols we got. I'm thinking maybe we drive down here tomorrow as well now. All right, we are home. Let's get rid of this AK. It just ain't cutting it for us, I don't think. Right, what pistols do we have then in okay condition? We got the bloody, whatever they're called, the PM PM pistol, but we don't have any 9mm though. That's what they take, isn't it? PM magazines take 9 by 18 millimeter. Okay. No, we have none. We've got like nine rounds, which, yeah. Seven, six, two by 25. Okay, I do have a few boxes of them. Okay, okay. Okay, so it looks like we'll be using this gun for the time being. We do have a fair few rounds for it. I mean, we've got a few boxes here, uh, which gives us 190 rounds. I mean, it's not amazing, but that's the best we got. It'll do, it'll do. But like I say, we'll probably hatch it anyway down there. Hopefully this is a bit better. Yeah, we could do with another level in aiming, can't we? But, you know, it is what it is, you know. All right, well, we got options anyway. Now, it looks like we may have a storm coming in. Freezing wind chill. Okay, well, we'll just have to see tomorrow, I suppose. We'll grab some food. Let's open another box of MREs, I think. There we go. Right, let's go to bed. We'll push on to the east side, depending on the weather, but we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 74. We got a little bit of snow outside. Not too worried about that, to be honest. I think we're still going to head out in the car. Oh, canned cucumber. Okay, let's eat some of that. Not a big fan of cucumber. I like gherkins, but... Right, let's also take an MRE with us, I think. And fill up our water. <laughs> yeah, snow. I'm not too worried about the snow. Let's just go. Wait a minute. How's the condition of our truck, actually? I'm just seeing these... This hood's a bit battered. Did we repair it? Um, no, that's fine. That's fine. A lot of corpses on the road. Not good for the tyres, but we're not going too far, so I'm not too worried. I am worried about flipping the car, though. Oh, dear. There's, uh, it's quite narrow down here. Oh, God, we got to go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, so it looks like it's down here, which, again, is very narrow. Do not like this one bit. Okay, we are in. There's something. Oh, there is a lot of them around here. Oh, dear. And that's a dead end. Okay, let's, let's get out. Let's just do, let's go to work. Machete time, I think. Oh, okay. That was a little bit a little bit scary. Oh, okay, okay. There is some kind of building over there as well I want to check out. Maybe let's go up and look at that building first. What is this building? Let's close the gate. Some kind of warehouse or something? Got hardware stuff in here and a dress on the floor and there is a gun on the floor or maybe we take that actually a revolver it's not in the best condition but well desperate times and all that yeah it's hardware stuff so uh, we might find a machete or something actually that'd be nice do we venture upstairs let's do it oh wow look at this I do hear zombies so no let's get out of it so it looks like it's just houses except for this building that's got a wall around it with barbed wire so we'll go and check that out Definitely some kind of warehouse. Do hear zombies in there. All right, one of these doors open. Ah, yes. Well, we got a lot of all sorts in here by the looks of it. We got books, we got hardware stuff. Looking for hatchets or machetes. Oh, an axe, we'll take that. Hatchet, yes, please. Another axe, yes. Another hatchet, yeah. Ah, oh, machete. Ah, oh, it's in such bad condition. We'll take it, though. Another axe, yes. Hatchet, yes. Okay, so pretty, pretty good haul, to be honest. <laughs> Pretty good haul. Let's go and have a look at that pathway. We might actually stay here for the night, you know. 
So I want to be as fresh as possible going through here because it is very narrow and we could get bogged down and have to abort. Oh, it looks okay, actually. It's the other side that was really bit. Oh, look at this. Let's deal with these. Yeah, let's get these as well, just in case. We don't want to get trapped and have all these bastards coming down for us. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Let's go and find somewhere to pitch up for the night. Maybe this house over here, actually. Let's see if we can get in from the front there. Yeah, they got some big old properties over this side of town, that's for sure. Nice bit of land. All right, let's clear this house. Yeah, it's all cleared downstairs. Looks all clear upstairs. Oh, what's this room here? Oh, we got balcony. Look at that. What is this then? Just a little outhouse by the looks of it. Okay, a little shed or something. Fair enough. They got a bloody couple of greenhouses here. Look at this. They got seed bearing cabbage. Wow. All right, it's 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go back to base. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 75, we have survived the night. I think we're just going to get back to base today. There's nothing really over here, is there? Let's just put a big old X down here that we've done it. Oh, we was thinking of going over to there, wasn't we? Although there is this pond here. Nah, nah, there's nothing there. So, yeah, let's head back, I think. Let's do it. Hopefully, we won't have any dramas getting back. Is that a military truck up there? Let's go and have a look in the boot quick. Uh, a leg wrench. Nope. <laughs> Why is our kill count on, actually? 3,467. Okay, not big numbers, but I'm happy with that. There's definitely a zombie under our truck here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Oh, look at this. This is what I didn't want. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It was this bit here as well, wasn't it? Oh, it's only a tiny little bit. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, jeez. I did not see them. They were behind the building. Good Lord, get me out of here. That would have done some damage to the car. <laughs> All right, so we're at these crossroads. I'm sure there was something I wanted to look at down here. So let's just get out and go south a bit. Yeah, it was this building, wasn't it? I think it was a restaurant, but we'll have a look anyway. Maybe take the new pistol for a test drive as well. See if we can get any canteens from this taxi. Nope, nothing in there. Right, let's get a pistol out. Let's take it for a spin. Again, only close range. It's pretty good close range, though. Quite fast fire rate. So, show me when you got two magazines, though. Pretty good, actually. Oh, it's brought a lot of them over, though. That's not good. Oh, yeah, that's brought a lot over. Oh, bloody hell, there is a lot, though. Right by our car as well. This isn't good. Is our aiming going up? Yeah, slowly, but it is going up. Should be fairly quiet up here because this is where we were shooting the AK. Ah, uh, there's not too many, to be fair. They have pushed us back quite a bit, but... Well, looks like we got a lot of the bastards anyway. Probably be some stragglers down here, but that's fine. Oh, what's down here? Look at this. Supermarket. What is this? Look at this. A butcher's and a fishmonger's probably. Yeah, okay. Another shop there. So many little shops. Uh, we still need over half a level for another level in aiming. Right, let's finally get in this bloody building here. It's definitely just going to be a restaurant, I think. But oh, I don't know, because that's the restaurant there, maybe. Oh, it's like a little department store or something. Okay. Hardware. Look at this. Oh, no, it is a bit of everything by the looks. Yeah, okay. Now, do we want to venture upstairs? <laughs> That's the question. Ah, to hell with it. Let's do it. Okay, okay. Well, it's pretty clear up here. Some clothes. I was going to say a jewelry store or a gun store, but it's um, an appliance store by the looks. Okay. What else have we got down here? Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, I think we're going to head back for the day because it is getting quite late. All right, we are home, safe and sound. Let's have a look at the damage to the car. Yeah, we're going to... Oh, look at these wheels as well. Okay, well, that's uh, definitely a job for tomorrow then. Yeah, we'll do some work on the motor, I think. Just grab some more... What does this gun take again? Oh, look, yeah, I forgot we had all these bloody axes and everything, machetes and all sorts. 76225. Doesn't look like we actually have any. I swear we had loads of them, but these boxes are 76239, which we don't take. Okay. Yeah, we are. We're low on ammo. Oh, well. We'll be fine. 
Okay, we're just going to grab some cigarettes because we are a little bit low on us. There we go, 14 should do us. Right, we're going to get to bed tomorrow. We'll do some repairs on the car. We'll see you then. Okay, day 76. Let's just get up and Adam. Let's actually have some of this. Oh, we've got the revolver as well, haven't we? But we don't really have that much ammo for that either. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's put the revolver away. Chuck it on the floor for now. Oh, we're running out of space as well in our melee weapon crate. All right, well, let's have some food anyway. Okay, there we go. Right, let's do some repairs. We're going to need, yeah, all of this. We're going to need a couple of good tires and a hood. I think probably we could get the tires off of this car, potentially. Yeah, the ones at the back are pretty good. Oh, it's missing one there. Okay, well, we got one. Okay, we got a couple of tires. We got a new hood. We've also got some engine parts as well. Let's get to work. This old girl, she's seen us through a lot. Okay, we'll also pump the tires up as well. Trunk's taking a bit of a beating. Can we actually repair that? Metal sheets. Okay. On screws. Ah, it could be done. All right. Tires have been inflated. And we've also repaired the engine a little bit as well. All right. So we are actually down at 78 weight. So we got to look at maybe, you know, increasing our calories. MREs for days, I think. Let's just eat a load of chips as well. All right. But it's 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I think we'll probably keep pushing on down where we was. But we'll see you then. All right, day 77. Let's go and grab some MREs, I think. Yep, let's get that calories pumping and get that weight pumping. There we go, lovely stuff. Let's fill our water up. Now, I think we are going to go back to where we was a couple of days ago. Try and drive down a little bit more, see what else we can see down there. Just explore a bit more, really. Sounds like we got some bastards trying to break our gate down. Oh, no, he's on the door today. Get out of it, you bastard. Come on. Jeez. Okay, I think we're actually going to park here. We probably should have walked down, to be honest, but oh well. We'll park the car here, walk down all the way, see how far we get, try and kill some of the bastards. All right, well, that's the first lot done. Oh, there's loads up there as well. I want to see what's in this build. I don't think we looked in there, did we? What is this place? Some kind of bloody food? Oh, it's like a stage, like a concert hall or something, maybe? Another shop over here by the looks. A lot of bastards in there. Let's get a pistol out. Ah, run, 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 run. Oh, that's brought a lot over. That has brought a lot over. Look at this. We are so low on ammo. It is very satisfying getting the one shots that close, but it's quite dangerous. I would not recommend it. Ah, uh, reloading up a level. Shame it's not aiming, though. Yeah, we are very low on ammo. <laughs> we might have to abandon trying to get aiming to level three, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, we could bring the AK down here, but it's just too inaccurate. The fire rate's not quick enough as well on single shot to take shots as close as we need to to get a hit well that's mag not even a full mag i don't think no six rounds okay so we have ventured down quite a bit and it's very quiet down here we've probably drawn all the bastards to, oh, oh maybe not maybe not all right let's keep pushing Look at this car. Oh, we're getting tired. Okay. No, no, no. It's too busy. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's get home. Let's have another look what kind of guns we can use. I don't think we're going to be able to, to be honest with you, though. All right. We are home. Grab ourselves another MRE because we're down to 78 and it's, yeah, it's not going up. Let's just pack away some of these MREs. Can we eat another one? No. Okay. I mean, we do have the shop to go and get some lentils and stuff if we need to, things like that. I mean, maybe a submachine gun would work better. Let's try it anyway. We've got plenty of ammo for it. All right, well, we've got it equipped. We may go out tomorrow and give it a little test run. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. All right, well, let's have a smoke. Then we'll go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll go test it out. Why the hell not, actually? All right, day 78. Yeah, let's take this old submachine gun out, see how we get on with it. Let's have an MRE just to get that weight pumping. So we are gaining weight. Okay, that's fine. Let's fill our water up as well. Let's wait a little bit just till it gets a little bit brighter outside. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go on foot as well. All right, let's test this out on some of these. Ah, we've got a candidate. Um, maybe not right near our house. Actually, we should be fine, you know. Well, it works. Oh, we got some candidates here. Let's see how about the range. Okay, okay, this works, this works. What about from here? Is this going to get him? Yeah. Oh, God, he got two. Oh, 
Oh, they're coming now. This is actually increased our level quite well, so we may get level three today. Come on, you bastards. Where are you? Oh, we got a load coming here. Can we get her from here? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, we shot up a lot of them. Not quite there. We're so close. What do we need? Oh, so little. Right, let's see if we can get it today. Come on. Oh, we are so close. So close. Maybe one more zombie. And we may have found him. Yes! There we go. Look at that. Aiming level three. Maybe we can get some one-shot kills from a bit further away now. No, not really. <laughs> All right, well, we're in a better spot anyway, so let's head back, I think. That was a grind. All right, well, we are home. Let's drop one of these hatches off just to keep our weight down. All right, it's 10 past 10. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. It's probably going to be a base day, I think. Oh, let's just have a quick smoke before we do go to bed. But yeah, I think a base day will restock our ammo and everything like that. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 79. I have heard a bulb break in the night. Yep, it's that one up there. That's fine. Now, this will do us. All right, now that we got a little bit better aiming, we could probably take a different gun out one that's got more durability like this takes the same mags and we have got a hell of a lot of ammo for it so okay let's go and have an mre again as well to keep the weight pumping all right calories are pumping that's good so we should gain some weight right, let's open these ammo boxes all right so we have equipped, what have we got here? The AKM rifle. Yeah, we got plenty of rounds for it. So this is probably what we're going to be using. But I think today we're just going to chill around base. We've had a hectic one and we would also let them bodies despawn as well. All right, it's 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Well, day 80. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. And we've only just got aiming level three. Brilliant. But we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 80. We have awoken at 6 a.m. Let's get another MRE in us. Why the hell not? So, yeah, that's got the weight to pump in, which is good. What weight are we actually on? 79 rises. So that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so the plan for the next 10, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Shall we? Yeah, I think we kind of got to get down here. This could all be military down here. We kind of got to explore it, haven't we? So it's just very busy around here to fully explore all the buildings. Britters would have been good with this with some suppressors that made it a hell of a lot easier but we have explored quite a bit to be fair do we even try and get over to this island I mean what's that there that could be so this could be a secret military island or something I mean there is that bridge there so it does make me wonder but we're probably not going to do a lot today as it is a temp date and we never normally do okay we are back on day 81 we are definitely getting through them aren't we only 20 left wow right so I think the plan over the next 10 is we're actually going to go down on this island because I reckon there's something here you know this definitely looks like a bridge so I think we're probably gonna fence over there that's the plan maybe we go up to the gas station here and shoot off the AK a little bit just to clear it out a little bit I think in the forest and that that could be a pretty good shout let's see if we got any ammo to take with us yes we have a lot of ammo let's just put all that on the floor oh geez we got 42 boxes okay you only get 30 in a box by the looks okay so 270 well we'll go down and assess the situation anyway today I think let's grab ourselves some chips gotta be a little bit careful because our calories are very high now and we're 80 and rising so yeah just gotta watch that actually grab some more smokes as well while we're at Home. and of course fill the water up <laughs> all right let's get down there we may even stay at our old base down there for a little bit possibly i don't know yet all right so just going past our old base yeah let's go and let's get over the bridge today just to see what it's like over there okay here we are at the gas station we may actually hunk down at the gas station i don't know if we are going to use the gun you know just because i don't want to get pinned down over here yeah, let's actually pop the gun in the trunk, I think. All that work for aiming. <laughs> we will use it again, though. All right, how's it looking in this gas station? We'll take the pop. Well, it looks like I smashed every single window in here, so we probably won't be staying in here. We'll just go back to our old bed. Wee, easy there. All right, we've got a fair bit of a way to get down through the forest here. Hopefully it's clear. At least we've got plenty of wood around to build the bridge. Yeah, we could go around and use the bridge, but I don't even know if that we're going to be able to get over on that bridge. And we'd have to drive through off-road. 
Oh, wow. Well, look, yeah, there's definitely something over there. A lot of zombies as well. But that's fine. We, yeah, we'll build a cross. Probably here, actually. Let's chop down some trees. All right. Well, we got plenty of logs now. <laughs> look at that. The snow's going as we're building. Oh, leveling carpentry. Thank you very much. What level are we on now? Oh, yeah, level eight. Okay, so we got one more to go. We'll probably do that tomorrow, to be honest. We may actually bring the gun down and just pop them off from here. Let's give it a shout here and see if any come over. Then we'll know if it's safe to use the gun. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's get back to the car anyway. All right, let's get out of here. All right, well, we are back here where it all began. Well, not quite. Let's clear these bastards out. Have a little smoke. Oh, look, we even left the door open. <laughs> Any bastards in here? No, it's fine. What VHS was this? Oh, the Thompsons. Nah, not interested. Oh, no, they broke my gate down. Always with the gates, you bastards. Always with the damn gates. Oh, well. Yeah, this was a nice little base when we was over here, actually. We're definitely on the bigger and better things, though. We are very hungry, but I'm probably not going to eat because we are, yeah, on 81. So we got to watch that. Right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to get over to the island. We'll see you then. All right, day 82. We've awoken in our old base, safe and sound. Oh, yeah, there was no water left in here, was there? Man, ah, that's not going to be a problem. Is there no bathroom in this house? No. Okay. Well, that's a bit strange. But anyway, we should be... Oh, oh no, we are not fine for water. Probably just chopping trees down all day. It got us a bit, a bit thirsty. So let's go in here and see if we can get some. Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, I didn't actually fill it up that much. Let's see if we can get some from upstairs. Not running out of water again. Uh, no. Right, okay. Well, oh, we do have some pop though, don't we? Okay. I mean, we should be fine. We'll go in the gas station. That had a toilet in there, so we'll get some water out of there. Actually, if we're using the gun, let's park somewhere a little bit safer, shall we? That we can escape for if it gets a little bit crazy down here. Let's take care of these bastards. All right, now let's go raid the petrol station for some water. There we go, nice and full. I mean, there's loads of stuff here as well, so we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Right, let's get down there and get shooting. Yeah, because what we've got to be careful of is that a load of zombies don't start coming down here, then we're going to be in trouble. But as long as we keep an eye out... All right, let's go to town on these bastards. Just keep a look out behind us. Come on, we should be hitting them from here. They're standing still. Well, they are coming over here, which is going to save us a lot of work when we get over there. This is actually increasing our aiming. Oh, so little. Yeah, we're not going to try and push for any more in aiming. If we get it, we get it. If not, oh well. What the hell is that? Some kind of giant burger on the table. Right, we need to get in there. Okay, let's, 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 I think we're okay to put another floor in. Oh, I see some more coming through. Okay. Oh, they can get through. They can get through. Okay, this is fine. Okay, well, we are, we are over. We are over. I'm not going to go in the back now. Let's get around the front. Oh, look at this. Are these, it's like Christmas lights. Is it Christmas? Oh, wow, look at all of this. This has got to be something cool over here, hasn't it? Ah, oh, PM Pistol, we'll take that. It's in good condition. Look at this. Look at it, though. we got the Christmas tree. we got a boat over here. Some Jack Daniels and a very large burger. Well, I mean, you know, if you're going to have a burger, you got to have a, you know, do it right. Get a big one. Fill up our water as well. Okay, let's go upstairs. TV remote. I believe that is one of the hot, rarest items in the game. That's what I've heard anyway. Okay, well, that's one house done. Got a little shed or something in a garage over here. Well, I guess our laceration is okay. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, actually. Oh, a hatchet, but it's in very bad condition, so we're probably not going to take that. Pretty cool houses, though, that's for sure. Got to be some kind of secret weapons bunker or something, isn't it? It's like a little... Look at this, they got the speakers and everything. This is cool. So I guess this is one of the map mods, you know, that's been added, and someone's done this island separately. Pretty damn cool, though. And uh, it doesn't even show on the map. This is this some kind of rock star or something living in here. Okay, well, that's that building done. What else we got around here? Oh, look at this, the door's here. It does just look like a house. Yeah, it looks like it's just houses, but they're very big houses. Look at this, pool table up here. Oh! You bastard! Gotta be careful. <laughs> Got to be careful. Yeah, they're loving their speakers over here, aren't they? We are very, very hungry. Let's have some pop. Look at these hats. Yeah, these are definitely like mansions. This guy's got an elevator to his roof. 
do hear zombies in here. I just don't know where. Oh, here we go. Nice bedroom. Look at this. What's, what's that? A meat tenderizer on the bed. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. Well, it's getting late, so we'll probably we'll stay in one of these houses. Probably in this room here. Look at this. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> yeah, we'll probably stay in here and finish exploring the island tomorrow. Now, I do see these ladders, so we will go up there. Oh, look at this. A little loft conversion by the looks. I'm not jumping out that window. <laughs> yeah, so we got more houses. We will go through them all tomorrow. So I'm interested to see what else is over here. It's got to be some little secret or something, isn't there? But it is 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, keep exploring. We'll see you then. All right, day 83. We've woken up at an okay time, 10 past 6. Not ideal, but we'll probably wait around actually till it gets a little bit lighter. We do need to fill our water up though. There we go, 10 past 7. We should be fine out there now. Now uh, we got snow, but yeah, let's just keep exploring. Doesn't look like the zombie pop is crazy busy over here. We had a few up at the north side, didn't we, the gun, but that looks about it. Look at this building. This looks good. We'll go in there in a sec. Oh, easy. Oh, wow. With some, uh, <laughs> there's some big old bleach bottles in here. <laughs> Can't interact with them, so they're just part of the map, I guess. Love the Christmas trees. So many bleach bottles. Uh, exposure survival. That's the first VHS we found. Don't really need that, though. I mean, I think this guy just loved bleach. He's got it all on his wallpaper and everything. Where does this door go? Oh, a little balcony. Okay. Oh, there's a tent there. Nice. All right, let's go in this glass house. Oh, I see zombies in there. Well, doors are locked, but I mean, the house has just got glass walls. So, you know what we do with that? Oh, we can't even, we can't smash them. What? Okay, we're in, we're in. Doesn't look like we can actually get upstairs because of the to elevator only. Okay, well, all right. Well, doesn't look like we're going up there. I hear things smashing as well. So, all right, let's do this side then. Let's explore this side, the east side. Doesn't look like there's anything over this side. That's fine. Then we'll go to the south. We'll see if that is a bridge there as well. Well, uh, I should probably eat some chips because we are very hungry. Okay, weight is dropping out, which is good. Oh, we do need to rest somewhere. Let's get jump in one of these houses and rest up. Okay, what we got down here then? Oh, we got some zombies. We got some big old houses. Interesting. All right, let's have a look. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's hang around because hopefully this island should be pretty clear now i see some zombies coming from up there we might be able to take them you know just gonna keep our wits about us i mean we may as well use the gun now haven't we oh there's a lot in that building okay all right let's get the hatchet out oh there is quite a few starting to get a little bit panicked actually let's take some baities Okay, well, that's uh, the majority of them, I think. At least we know the rest of the island should be clear now. All right, what we got in here then? Anything? We will keep taking this pop because it'll take our hunger away and won't give us calories. Now, this big old room. I'm living the dream in here. Got a balcony and everything. Maybe we stay here for the day, actually. For the night, sorry. <laughs> Oh, he's got a big old garage as well. Look at all this. Yeah, I think we'll stay here for the night and then keep pushing on down tomorrow. Living like kings tonight. All right, it's 20 past 10. We're going to get to bed tomorrow. We'll finish the island. We'll see you then. All right, day 84. We have awoken fresh and ready to go. We are still very hungry, but we're on minus 2,000 odd calories. So we should be able to eat now. Go, look at that. We should still be dropping. Yep. Now it looks like we got a bit of fog outside, which isn't ideal, but we do. We work with what we got, really, don't we? Oh. Well, yeah, this is awful fog. Maybe let's go and wait in this house here to see if it passes. Again, another pretty cool and big house. All right, let's wait a little bit on the balcony here, see if the fog passes. <laughs> it still has not passed at 20 to 5, so it looks like today's going to be a write-off. Ah, oh, we don't have any bloody gas in our lighter. Damn it. All right, well, it's 10 past 10. The fog has finally gone, but we have lost the day. But hopefully tomorrow we should be okay. Let's go to bed and we'll crack on tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day 85. Weather looks okay outside, which is good. Now, we do need a bloody lighter or some matches or something now, which isn't ideal. But there's nothing we can really do about it, to be honest. The gas station at the vehicle at our Jeep will probably have, have some form of fire starter. Oh, yeah, look, the bridge is out there. Okay, well, we've only got this one house left. It's a bit spooky, actually, this house. It's so dark in here. I don't know where the, where the hell they're banging. Very dark in here. It's like a maze. 
Yeah, I do not like this building. I cannot see nothing. Oh, there's more stairs here. Okay, we're in the loft. Oh, there's a rifle over here. SKS. Terrible condition. All right, let's get out of it. I think we're done with the island. If I can remember how to get the hell out of here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, the bridge is gone. You got a little toilet here. There is a, is a zombie in there. We're not going to mess around with him because we are tired. Well, exhausted. Cool little island. Definitely worth checking out. Let's check these zombies for any lighters or anything. Ah. Perfect. I've got a lot of gas, but it'll do us. Okay, we are out of here. Well, thank you, Island. You've been a pleasure. All right, we're back at the car. Let's go and see if we can get a couple of match boxes. I wouldn't mind keeping a box of matches in our fanny pack, actually, as a backup. So, uh, all right, well, we'll just keep a lighter in there. Oh, no, there is matches there. Anything worth taking while we are here? I mean, there's a load. Of oh, let's drink a load of pop. Oh, there we are. Well fed. We've drank, what, nine cans of pop. All right, let's get back to our proper base, I think. I've missed it. I won't lie. I've missed it. All right, we are home. Now, I do want to check the hood because we may have, um, you know, hit a few zombies along the way here and it looks a bit battered. Uh, 39. Okay, well, we need to do something about that. We're going through hoods like there is no tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Right here. Thank you very much. We'll also take your engine parts. Now, engine's on 88. Nice. Lovely. Good as new. Look how many hoods we've been through. Jesus. Well, I mean, that one's completely broken. And then we got, what, 18, 39, 36. Brilliant. And the AK is not really doing as much good as it. So we'll just get rid of it. <laughs> just get rid of it. Wouldn't mind. What ammo did the PM take? 9 by 18 mil. All right. Well, we're not taking any, any guns out to hell with it. We don't need them. ESS, that's actually suppressed, isn't it? Looks like it might be. Okay, okay. What does this take? 9 by 39. Okay, we've got two boxes there. Also looks like that's suppressed as well. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. We got some suppressors here. We only have two boxes of ammo, though. So how many we got in there? Ugh. 10 in each box. All right, well, it's something. It's a suppressed weapon, I suppose. <laughs> All right, but it's half past 10. We're going to have a very quick smoke. Fill our waters up and go to bed tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but we'll figure it out. We'll see you then. All right, day 86. Waking up at a reasonable time. 10 to 8, not too bad. Now, we do have fog, which isn't ideal, but I think we might go on foot a little bit up to this area up here. Just up here, just see how we're looking up there. Test out this uh, suppressed rifle thing as well. Let's do it. Let's hop the fence. Let's go. Just a little bit more exploring. Oh, we have some zombies already. Let's try test out the rifle. It's good. I like it. <laughs> Shame we don't have more ammo. So we got some kind of big car park. Yeah, some. Oh, it's a football field, maybe. A lot of zombies around here. Oh, God. See all them burst through there? Oh, my God. Look at this. Let's get the gun out. <laughs> Perfect time to use it. And we're out of the two mags, so we've got nine rounds left. Actually get the machete, I think. Whoa, where the hell did all these come from? Uh, looks like we got the majority of them that burst through there. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, there's a load there. Let's deal with them. Maybe duck in this house, see if we can get some food as well. Why is there so many around here? A bit hesitant to go into this building now. Oh, look at this truck. No, let's not go in there. Um, I'm sure we'll find a shop somewhere. And what's this here? A shop. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I got a few shops around here by the looks. This actually looks like a bookstore. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, not really what we wanted. Uh, we got some stuff in here. Uh, marmalade. Yeah, okay, eat the marmalade. And some jam. We still need another camping canteen, don't we? Oh, we got a big old supermarket there. Okay. No bloody camping canteens anywhere. We were lucky to find the one we've got. Okay, let's keep pushing along here. Oh, chocolate. We'll eat that. Okay, we got some kind of building here, which looks quite interesting. Also, quite a few zombies around, but we'll make short work of them. All right, let's go have a look then. Oh, what's that building there? That looks quite interesting. Maybe we have a look in there as well. Um, that is a restaurant. Um, <laughs> Okay, brilliant. What's our axe? Our axe is getting there. Aiming. Yeah, ripping piece aiming. 
What is this building? It's got its own little pier. Maybe a hotel, actually. I don't really want to go in there. No, sir. So we got more storage lots down here. So many storage lots. Construction site over there with a crane. That crane's pretty cool. All right, let's head back, I think. So we are quite a fair bit away, and we are on foot. All right, we are home. Probably put some food in my backpack so i don't forget put a couple of chilies we may as well drop off this rifle now do not we because we don't have any ammo for it so see you later right but it's 10 to 11 i think tomorrow let's bring up the old map a sec i think maybe we check this out this can be quite cool is this like a golf course or something like that but yeah well we'll have a look in there and then go from there really but we'll see you in the morning all right, day 87. We've woken up a bit later today, but that's fine, that's fine. How are we looking calorie-wise? Let's get some... You know what? Let's have an MRE to hell with it. There we go. Probably leveled us off on weight because we were... Oh, 78 and dropping. Okay, uh, maybe have another one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, okay, let's carry on exploring. Let's fill our water up very quickly. Let's go and carry on exploring up north. Like I said, I want to get into them little back roads. Could be like a little forest there or something. But let's go and explore any. Oh, we got a bastard. We got a couple of bastards right here. Come on. As I was saying, let's go and have a bloody hell. Look at this. Oh, God. Minus 36. Body temperature's holding at 36, though, so that's fine. We definitely got some good clothes on, haven't we? Let's have a quick look at the insulation here. Yeah, oh, we got a bit of a gap there where they took a chunk out of us, the bastards, but we're, we're okay. Oh, we are fighting cold a little bit by the looks of it, but that's fine, it's fine. Wind resistance, not amazing. What about our blood vessels? Mm, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Right, let's go up this road, up this street here. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of woods or forest. Oh, we got a little shack thing up there. Let's go have a look. Some kind of burger stand, I'm guessing, if there's a football field here. We will, of course, check for a camping canteen. Not that there's much point even getting one now, but it means we're so late in the, in the playthrough. But it's worth checking anyway. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Looks like there was, it was just a forest up there anyway. Oi, okay. Okay. Watch out, watch out. Looks like car alarms do draw them from quite far away. To be fair, I rarely have car alarms go off. I think I've probably had maybe that's the second or third I've ever had, I think. A mm, couple more cars and stuff. Looks like a parking lot, possibly. I got a load of residential by the looks. Little school down there. Nice, nice, nice. A lot of bastards banging on this gate. Yeah, they're gonna they ain't gonna be long before they break through that. Here they come. Come on, you stupid bastards. I'm over here. Yeah, I think we've been on that road down there. Yeah, we have, because there's a load of blood there. That's our calling card. Okay, let's carry on along this road then, see what's down here. Ooh, maybe a military truck over here. Let's go check the boot of that. And of course, we'll check the glove box of this for camping at canteen after we dealt with this bastard. Get out of it, you bastard. Oh, get out, get out, get out. A few more bastards coming over. Nope, still no bloody camping canteen. All right, hopefully we can get some ammo for our suppressed rifles in here. Nope. <laughs> oh, I hear a lot of zombies. I think they're in this building here. Probably a lot safer just going out on foot, to be honest. That's, uh, oh, we got a few here. Come on then, let's have ya. All right, what we got over? Whoa, easy there. Easy there, fella. What have we got here then? Oh, look, that's like a... Driving school. Ah, <laughs> nice. Okay, what we got here? It looks like a bloody restaurant. Got a church up there. Okay. Shall we give the driving school? I feel I need to go to the driving school. So we'll give it a go. See if we can get around without hitting any cones. <laughs> hopefully we can get in this van. And it's got fuel, hopefully. Uh, we do have a nomad down there. Maybe we take a coat, actually. And maybe her backpack as well. That is, wow. That is so, so much less on the bike defense and everything. Look at that. How is it that? 25.35. But we have had a chunk taken out of this, so I just don't know. 
I just don't know, but a backpack, what's that? 3489. Let's have a look. 3489. Yeah, okay. So we will actually take the backpack and we'll put new attachments on it and everything like that back at base. Um, we'll oh, the trousers are actually better. What trousers are we wearing? Padded. Yeah, okay. I, mm, no, these give us a lot more insulation and everything like that. So we'll keep what we got on. That's fine. We will take the backpack though. Has fuel apparently. I want red, so I guess so. no, it doesn't have fuel. Okay, well, brilliant. Yeah, nothing in the back. Okay, well, at least we uh we, oh there's a pharmacy down here by the looks. What's over here as well? Ah, uh, construction site. Okay. All right. Well, let's start heading back so we can do this work on and we can change our backpacks over and stuff. Okay, we are home. Safe and sound. Good little excursion, that. Definitely. I think tomorrow we'll have a base day. We'll sort our bag out. And you know what? I might drive down to that driving school and give it a test and test myself in the truck the next day in the Jeep <laughs> the day after tomorrow. Yeah, I think, I think we'll do it. Why the hell not, eh? Let's actually go down and check on our gate as well. Yeah. It's holding pretty well. Nice. All right. It's half past 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. So base day. We'll sort a new backpack out and everything like that. We'll see you then. Okay. Day 88. We are up and Adam. Right. Let's sort this bag out. I'm sure we got leather and thread somewhere. Yeah. We got some thread. Nice. And uh, we got some leather as well. Anything else we want to put on there? I think that's it. You know, right. Let's get it on our back. Chuck that down there. Get out of it. All right. There we go. We've got it. Machete's on our back. Looking good. Hey, can we put one of these hatches on there? Yeah, we can. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's not in the best best of conditions, is it? <laughs> Maybe not then. Let's put one of these good ones on there. Because I think we got a cut. Yeah, this one can go on there. Lovely stuff. Lovely. I mean, we do have this padded jacket here with no holes in. But it's just... Ah, oh, we're okay temperature-wise with, with our ripped fireman's jacket so it's fine maybe we could repair because i think i've got the mod repair all clothing or any clothing or whatever it's called just don't know if it does work with fireman's stuff i would have thought so yeah oh okay nice that's amazing probably should have done that ages ago to be fair but oops how's our weight looking actually 78 okay maybe we should start getting some mres in us i think when we're freezing we are so slow that's interesting okay well it is minus Minus 35 at one point out there, I think. Right, let's get some MREs in us. There we go. We're gaining weight. Okay, so we're cold. Yeah, so the, yeah, it just slows down. Minus 30. Okay. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. We're about to go to bed. Now, a little test outside. Now, our temperature is dropping. Let me just fast forward it a sec. Yeah, look, we are dropping temperature. So, like, minus 34. These clothes just don't cut in it, I suppose. <laughs> Which, you know, these are probably one of the best you can get. How's the padded jacket, actually? Mm, Windsor, yeah, so that is better. Maybe we do wear it, you know? Yeah, let's wear it. Oh, wait a minute. We can wear that as well? Oh, no, we did take that off. Okay, it's just dirty. Let's see if our temperature drops down now. We are very tired. We'll go to bed in a minute. Yeah. It's still dropping, so it's probably worth keeping the fireman's jacket on because having the padded ones isn't doing that much difference and it offers us more protection. So, okay, right, anyway, let's go to bed. We stayed up late, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 89. Now, in the night, we did drop as low as minus 15 in here, which, yeah, we may have to start sleeping with, with the fire on, I think. Now, also, we do have fog out there, which isn't going to be good for our driving test, is it? But we're still going to do it anyway, because we're not having a base day again. Let's just get on down there. Minus 29. Let's get this heater on. Okay, so I think if we just follow this road down here, it should take us to the driving school. All right, we made it. There's a few bastards around, but we'll, uh, we'll make short work of them. They just want to come and see how amazing my driving is. All right, that looks like most of them. <laughs> right, are you going to give this a go then? Oh, oh, we got some people on the uh, on the track here. Come on, come on, get out of it. Get out of it, you bastards. Right, let's see if we can get round without knocking any cones over. <laughs> Okay, let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Look at this, easy stuff, easy stuff, easy. Look at this. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, okay, well, oh, oh, okay, well, mm, I think, I think that's a pass, I think that's a pass, at least I didn't smash into one of the fence or something, which, uh, yeah, I thought it was probably going to, but, yeah, I'll, I'll take that as a pass, All right, but let's just park the car up here, and we'll, we'll go on foot and have a little explore south of here, I think, being as we're down here, check out this pharmacy, maybe, not that we really need anything, but, uh, I think it's actually a hospital, you know, yeah, it's a hospital, okay, 
Well, I don't really fancy going in there, to be honest with you. Look at this, minus 33. Well, pretty much minus 34. Oh, we will go in this, though. Let's open. Yeah. Any good stuff in here? No. Oh, there's another part of the hospital here. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's deal with these bastards down here first. Yeah, let's take care of these bastards down here as well so they don't sneak up on us. I'm going to check out this little building here as well. Oh, another little supermarket place. Okay, that's fine. Also, can we climb these ladders? Let's have a look. Oh, we can. We can. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> All right, let's get down. Oh, I thought we were just going to jump off the edge then. My God. All right, let's go check out this other bit of the hospital then. Oh, wow, look. Books got plenty of first aid books. And yeah, general stuff in the lockers. Not really interested in any of that. All right, well, there's not really that much in here. And I don't really don't like hospitals because there's normally a high zombie presence in them. Which kind of makes sense when you think about it. If you've been bit in the zombie apocalypse, you're going to go to the hospital. Well, most people would. As trained zombie apocalypse... Survivors wouldn't though, would we? We would know. Okay, it just looks like we got load of residential down there. Yeah, just residential everywhere. Right, let's start making our way back to the car, I think. So our body temper is staying at 37, which I'm guessing because we're running and fighting and everything like that. Yeah, we're actually moist. <laughs> probably sweating a bit. Get that heater on. Oh, I wish it would stay on when you turn the car on. There's probably a mod for it somewhere. Oh, I think we did pretty well in the uh, driving test. Consi oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you want to revoke my license, maybe? <laughs> as I was saying, I think we did pretty well in the driving test because uh, it's bloody foggy as well. Okay, while we're in the car, let's go up and check the other barricade that we had to do on the other gate up here. Yeah, still all looks fine to me. Good, good, good. All right, let's check the hood after that incident. Ah, 56. It'll be fine. I mean, we could repair it. That, that should be fine. How is the APC actually after we smashed all of them zombies a few weeks ago? Oh, the hood is at 0%. Well, it's not, and the engine's at first, so it's not really very good for ramming bloody zombies then, is it? Hmm, okay, well, that, that that's risky because we could have got ourselves in some right old trouble down there. But probably not ideal, this APC, because it doesn't even have a boot in it or any kind of storage other than the seats. All right, it looks like the fog's finally cleared, but it's no bloody good now. Now we're back at base, is it? All right, let's actually go and put some wood in our fire as well. Put some of these books in there and then we'll use the magazines to start it. Actually, should we, can we rip this? Yeah. We got 30 scrap paper. I mean, we're not even going to be here for another 30 days, so that's absolutely fine. Add fuel, add the scrap wood, and actually add all these books as well. And then we'll chuck the paper on the floor <laughs> um, to light it when we go to bed. How much fuel is in there? Nine hours, okay. Okay, so that'll probably do as a night. Probably go and find some logs or something. Yeah, there's trees over there. Maybe we do that tomorrow, actually. Right, let's light this fire up then. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Oh, instantly the 21 degrees. And it's minus 11 out here. Amazing. We may even get a bit sweaty in the night, but that's fine. Right, but we're going to get a bed tomorrow. We'll probably get some logs to put in our fire, actually, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 90. We've woken up at half past seven. It's a nice temperature in here. Body temperature is 37, so that's good. Let's turn this off. Still an hour left on it, but that's fine. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. We are toasty. We actually got a bit sweaty. We got a bit moist. Do we have a wood? Actually, I know where there is a wood axe. Down here, I think. Yeah, down here. Let's grab that and chop the trees for some firewood. Okay, so we got four logs. Let's see how long that gives us, shall we? Drop this fire uh, wood axe. Okay, add four logs. Okay, so that gives 25 hours, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Now, let's bring the map up. Now, right, what do we do for the final 10? I feel we, we haven't really, you know, utilized the city to its full potential in regards to going to everywhere, but it's just a lot of residential everywhere these all look like residential be nice if the map had color coded but you know it is what it is i'll let you can go all the way down this road here probably be a bit spicy down there to be fair with you but i don't know we'll figure something out for the last 10 don't really want to go all the way out of town on the last 10 we never did go down here but then it makes me think is this even finished because there's nothing there's just roads here on the map so don't want to get all the way down there and there'd just be nothing because it's the other side of the bloody map oh this actually could be a an airport here you know 
We'll figure something out, that's for sure. But we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as it is a 10th day, and we never normally do. Okay, we've awoken on day 91. We got the fire roaring, so we've got a nice 28 degrees inside, which is bloody warm, actually. Put that bad boy out. All right, I think we better get some food, maybe some. How is our weight looking, actually? 79, okay, yeah, get some MREs in, yeah? Let's actually open another box as well. We've got five boxes. <laughs> Keep a couple of them on us. Just bring the old mappage up. Now, I think for the next 10, it's going to be a pretty calm 10 days, I think, because we're so close. So there's no point risking it all, but we probably will actually come down to this area again and maybe go along this way this time yeah i think that's what we're gonna do so let's just crack on let's do that today get us out and about just have a look what's down there explore a little bit more the gate's still holding up which is good no more the bastards around we've probably cleared them all out to be honest oh where the hell did all of these come from okay we better deal with these so our travels down here are a lot safer let's get to work probably gonna need some beta blockers actually Oh my god, there's so many of them. Where the hell they all come from? Oh, let's try to spread them up around this building here. Oh, okay. Well, there's still some over here, so let's go and deal with them. All right, well, <laughs> let's uh, carry on. Good lord, there is a lot of them. Get out, get out. Come on, let's go to work. Let's actually get the machete out, I think. Go -ho -ho -ho, there is a lot of them. Ooh, we could be in a bit of trouble here, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, maintenance. Are they nice? Let's take them around the building again. <laughs> could do with a shotgun around about now. Oh, God. There's more of them up here. Oh, right. Well, that's... Oh, there's more. There's more. They pushed us back a right old way. Looks like the jeep's clear, though, which is good. All right, let's actually rest in the jeep for a little bit. There we go. Right. Oh, I can still hear more. Yep, here they come. All oh, right, okay. Well, let's get exploring down this road, then. There's still a lot of them, so probably be a couple of days of clearing out, I think. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, it's busy down here. Yeah, there is so many. Look at them all. Oh, jeez. Okay, so it looks like we got a hell of a lot of them down there. So I think it is 20 to 3, so we probably head back for the day, I reckon. Yeah, let's head back. Let's not push our luck. It's been pretty close down here, to be fair. We've had a, a lot more than I was expecting. Then I suppose we've not come down this far in quite a while, so we should probably clear these out, to be fair, as well. And we have got a load of them back at base now, so we will just throw that down there. See you later. All right, well, we are home, safe and sound. What else we got in here? We got any other machetes that are good? Could put a metal scrap on that. I think we'll be fine, though, to be fair. Oh, these are quite good, yeah. They're actually... I think they're the same as the one we got. Uh, let's put it on our belt. How's the old weight? 79, that's fine. We could probably have... Uh, we'll have an MRE, but we'll wait until before we get to bed. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Let's... Yeah, let's grab an MRE in us. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be a base day, actually. We're going to chop down some trees for some logs to put in our fire because that's probably got to be running out now isn't it ah uh, 14 hours okay but yeah that's the job for tomorrow so we'll uh we'll see you then okay day 92 yeah it looks like the fire has actually gone out so what we're gonna do today oh what the hell am i doing in this room what we're gonna do today is go around the base get a load of logs and stock up i think oh and look at that it's foggy as well perfect let's get the old wood axe let's go chop some of these trees wait do we have logs down there uh no we don't okay that's fine all right we got a hell of a lot of logs we've got 16 logs so hopefully that should uh do us a while anyway let's chuck them all in and see what how we're looking all right so we have 110 hours that should do us <laughs> all right let's get this fire going oh there we go look at that right we're gonna go to bed tomorrow i think we're going back into the city there we'll see then okay day 93 we have awoken let's turn this fire off so we don't waste our lovely precious logs there we go have an mre out of here i think oh this water dispenser is empty okay well we got through one of them that one's still nearly full what about this one and that one's got a fair bit in it as well okay we'll definitely have enough to last us the the rest of the uh days i think anyway all right let's get down there let's get 
killing some of these bastards. Hopefully some of the corpses may have despawned. No, they have not. <laughs> Can't actually remember what I set the corpse despawn to, actually. I normally do it lower than default, but I can't remember how long. All right, we are down. Let's deal with these bastards. Oh, God, where the hell did all these come from? Looks like we got some sheds down there, but it does look like there's a lot of zombies around there. Oh, they're coming over anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's go and have a look in these sheds, see if there's anything good in them. Oh, it's bins. <laughs> um, well, okay. Then not know we'll be getting much from here. Pretty cool, though. Love the detail. Camping canteen in here, maybe? Nope. We will rest in the car, though. Okay, let's go down here and see what we've got down this bit. Oh, wow, look at this. Big old construction site here. Right, let's try and get onto the main road and keep pushing east, I reckon. Maybe we get a camping canteen from in here? No, a lot of money in the glove boxes. So many bloody zombies everywhere. Just check this old station wagon for a canteen. Nope, we'll rest up here, though. Oh, we got a soldier up here. Interesting. Go and have a look. Yeah, he's got a lot of military stuff on him, but where did he come from? That's the question. Uh, we're going to start getting tired soon. Okay, I think we head back for the day. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. We've made progress. We could probably drive down a little bit further as well next time we come down here. Yeah, we'll clear up any stragglers along the way as well. All right, so we're back in the Jeep. Let's just get bloody home, I think. God, look at them all on this road again. My God. Oh, I've just realised that we've left a case of ammo on the seat, didn't we? Bloody hell. Well, we are home safe and sound anyway. 76239. It's a shame they don't give us any bloody good... Any ammo for the pistols. The ones with the suppressors. We do have the PKM that we still haven't used yet, haven't we? We do have a magazine. 76254. We do have three boxes of ammo for it. We do have a little bit of ammo for it. Maybe two magazines worth. But, yeah, because it's, a, well, a magazine and a half. Do we take it down there? Well, we can't change the firing mode. Maybe... Maybe we do. We kind of got to, haven't we? Let's be honest. Oh, we're very overweight, though. It does put us very overweight. Out of hell with it. We'll put it in the back of the car. We'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, but it's 20 to 12. We set up a little bit later today. We're going to light our fire. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Lovely. Right, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 94. We've awoken at 10 to 10, a little bit late in the day. Right, let's put this out, save our logs. How much fuel we got left? 90 hours. Okay, perfect. Now, I think today is going to be... Oh, have all the lights gone out in here? We lost all the bulbs, or is the generator? <gasps> Maybe the generator's blown up. Oh, no, the generator. It's blown up. No. Oh, no. <laughs> right, well, I think we're going to go find another generator. I can see one now on the roof. It's just, it. how the hell do we get up there? Right, okay. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, we probably should have been checking that. Let's see if we can get on the roof and go grab that generator. So there's ladders here for this roof. I imagine there is some for that roof as well. Oh, we may have to board across then. Okay, well, let's get some logs. But yeah, we can board. There's some trees here. It's fine. It's fine. Well, there we go. Didn't even think to check the condition of it, to be honest. Amateur mistake. Amateur. Okay, we need more logs. All right, well, we are over. <laughs> Let's get rid of them planks. Oh, bad little base up here. He's got radiator. He's got bed and everything. All right, let's grab this Gen 8. There we go. I wonder if he was using the generator to power that radiator there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, easy. Bloody hell. Where the hell did he come from? Jesus Christ. Good job we have fuel in this gas can here. There we go. How long has it got in it with that bit of fuel? 83 days. Okay. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Where's this bastard come from? Where the hell? Did I close the gate? What the hell's going on here? Yeah, I closed the gate. They must have got through under the car over here. Let's go check it out. Okay, it looks pretty clear everywhere else. She got anything good on her? Antidepressant, really. We'll take the lighter, though. Okay, let's grab ourselves an MRE, I think. Lovely stuff. How is our weight? 79. Okay, can we get another one in us? Yeah, do it. Do it. Why not, eh? Right, let's get our fire going. Lovely. Right, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 95. Working up at 10 past 8. Not a bad time. Not a bad time. Put out the fire here. Save the logs. Oh, I think we're going to go down, down to the city. We're going to test out a PKM, I think. Don't know if it's a good idea, but you know what? I don't care. 
We're celebrating. Celebrating nearly hitting them 100 days. Celebrating not blowing our base up with that generator as well. All right, we are down here. Let's just check this in the backpack for now. So I want to get a quite far away from the car before we start shooting because this could draw a lot of the bastards to us. Oh, there's still a lot of bloody bastards down here, isn't there? Jeez. All right, you know what? Let's just get it out. Let's do it. This could be such a bad idea. I don't even care, though. I want to test it out. Oh, God. It takes a while to Ah, uh, it's, it's doing the job. <laughs> oh, we jammed already. Brilliant. And again. <laughs> Oh, it's jamming all the time. Okay, we're dropping it. We're dropping it. It is just jamming too much. Get rid of it. Go back to the old faithful hatchet. Might have to be the bloody machete, you know. Well, so much for uh, not leading them to our car. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. There's so many of them. So many. What have we done? We should be fine, I think, though. You just gotta keep chipping away at them in PZ. And you gotta just bamboozle them with the cars so they all get stuck. Look at that, bloody idiots. Ah, the mache's gone, no! Alright, well, rip in pieces that axe. We've already repaired it. Let's get the axe out. We are a little bit exhausted, so let's try and get back to the car. It looks like we have dealt with a lot of them, if not all of them. Alright, we're rested. We've dealt with them. There's a few stragglers, but we'll make short work of them with a hatchet. Oh, we've definitely gone to work down here, haven't we? Bloody hell. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we're down to these little shops, because I do want to have a look what's in here. A lot of zombies by the looks of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this shot? A bloody grocery store by the looks of it. Yeah, same there as well. Okay. Well, we should probably head back because it's getting a bit late in the day. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, we are home. Now, I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the days we've got. We may just hang around base, you know, because going into the city, we're not really making much progress, are we? And it could take, you know, weeks to actually clear it out and get anywhere. So, I don't know. Maybe we do some base improvements, you know. But it is half past ten. Let's get our fire going, and then we're going to go to bed. So, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 96. Let's turn this old fire off there we go how much wood we got in there we got enough 73 hours yeah we got plenty <laughs> now what i might do today is go and reinforce that little gate over on our east side there because yeah i don't really want zombies being able to get in there to be honest with you let's go get some logs and we'll probably build a fence around it i think and we got how many nails we got we're probably gonna need more aren't we oh yeah 100 nails should do us that's fine right let's get over there let's build a fence around something to do oh god this guy's still in here oh yeah bloody hell <laughs> amazing all right how are we gonna do this then i think what we'll do is i mean we probably should have done this before to be fair but let's chop the trees down quite good because there's not that many zombies up here which is working to our advantage that's for sure and put it there like that jump out here and then we should just be able to build a, a wall across there hopefully let's see shall we yes we can oh there's this bastard's coming through hey get out of it and there we go the entrance is secured. Yeah, we really went to town in here, didn't we? Look at this. I feel maybe we should let this guy out of here now. I mean, you know, he's been in there probably a hundred, well, nearly a hundred days. So let's let him out. Come on, buddy. You're free. You're free. Hey, you're free. You're free. Lady, you're free. Come on. Come and see the outside world. Come on. Let me show you my base. Come on. Okay, look. You like the place? You like what I did with the place, lady? Well, you don't seem very enthusiastic, do you? So, well, that's how we deal with that. Oh, you had a can opener on you. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll grab all of these logs back here because, well, 
Never had too many logs. I mean, did we build some stairs? Mm, nah, there's not really much point, is there? There we go. We've added them to the fire. What we got now? 108 hours. Lovely. Okay, but it's half past 10. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, we may adventure out a little bit to our north. Just see what's going on in these houses up here by the river there. Or the sea or whatever it is. Probably the sea, actually, if there's a big freighter in it. But, um, yeah, we're going to go to bed. Let's turn this fire on, actually. But yeah, we're going to go to bed. We'll have a little explore tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day 97. Let's turn this fire off. There we go. We also need to fill our water up as well because we are very low. Go, okay, let's grab ourselves an MRE, I think. Oh, we'll just hit another bulb go. Well, we ain't too worried about that anymore. We got snow as well out here, but that's fine. Oh, look at this, minus 34. But yeah, let's do a little bit of exploring up, up in these houses. We haven't really looked in them, have we? There could be some really cool ones as well. Like this one, potentially. Look at this. What's going on in here then? I know there's wheelbarrows and everything. Well, I don't like it in there. It's a bit too claustrophobic for my liking, to be honest. Got some lovely plants in this house. Not a bad little house, to be honest with you. Nice and uh, cosy. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a bloody trophy out the front there. Maybe he could be a hunter. Maybe we'll find some guns. Let's go in there. Gate's locked. I don't know if I really want to jump over, to be honest. Let's go have a look in this one here. Whee! Oh, well, they've broken that down. So he does a job. Okay, it's a nice, nice little house, this. Nice little barbecue set up here. I like it. Um, not a lot in here at all. Right, let's go to the house across the road because it looks like they might have a swimming pool or a pond I want to check out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. They're living in luxury over here. All right, well, let's head back. I don't want to go further down next. That's where that bloody car alarm went off, so... All right, we are home. Let's grab some cigarettes. It looks like we're actually out of cigarettes. Bloody hell. All right, it's 10 to 12. Let's go start that fire and go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, it looks like we got a bulb going here. Let's uh, actually, we'll change that tomorrow. The fire will give us a bit of light tonight. There we go. Oh, look at that. Very moody. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 98. Turn the old fire off. Let's put some bulbs in our bedroom here. Oh, we could go like, oh, they're all white. I thought it was orange then for a second. Oh, what will do? There we go. Look at that. We'll take this scrap wood and put that in the fire. Just why the hell not? Actually clean this up a bit as well. We never did anything with these magazines, did we? Oh, well. Also, these guns here as well. It's just absolute carnage down here. Maybe we do look at putting some crates there. I mean, these ammo cases take 34. Can we put a load of stuff in there, maybe? Let's try, shall we? Looks like you can. Look at that. Who needs bloody crates when you got... Well, these crates. How's this battered old beast doing pretty pretty bloody good actually i mean the trunk has taken a right old beast and the trunk lid how much capacity have we got in there now after all of this still 76 it's pretty good let's um looks like we didn't take the hood off of this no still in good condition well we'll take it take your windscreen as well it's not perfect but it's better than what we got there we go she's as good as new put them in the hood graveyard okay it's 10 past 11 we are going to grab ourselves an mre i think uh maybe we have another mre actually what we on 79 yeah let's have another one let's get that fire going okay we're gonna go to bed we'll see you tomorrow okay day 99 we have slept in very late today but it doesn't really matter as i say we are probably just gonna hang around the base i think for the next few just to you know there's no point going out and risking the 100 day run for for what just to kill a few zombies down here i mean we probably could have explored more but we did get a load of cities i mean and this this took longer than i thought it was gonna be there's loads of little areas around though it would be pretty good as a multiplayer server i think although the lag can be a bit of an issue in the city but yeah it's definitely been a fun one old ivan oh look at this beard we got to get rid of this beard hair what did we what did we have the hair i can't even remember anymore flat top no no it was spikes there we go let's get rid of this bloody old scruffy beard as well let's take his let's take his equipment off shall we let's have a look at that lovely handsome face there oh he's a little bit a little bit dirty <laughs> we should probably look at taking off this uh this bandage as well yeah I'm guessing we didn't get zombification from it which um which is a good thing i'm not complaining about that right, let's go give him a little wash oh look at that lovely and clean let's actually wash all his clothes as well bloody hell look at the difference that makes <laughs> he was so dirty how much water's in there 40 so okay what we can do is take a giant water bottle and refill them so there is 200 in there i think yeah there was bloody hell there we go they should be a lot fuller now this one should have what's this one going at 194 what about this one 
This one should be fun, actually. Yeah. What about this one? 140. Okay, so yeah, we got we got water for days. Look at the difference it makes us being clean. <laughs> Jesus. We should actually probably put this stuff on because it does give us some protection. Yeah, especially the mask. Okay, let's have a quick smoke before we go to bed. And tomorrow, well, we're on day 100. We've bloody done it. Well, kind of, because we normally do run to, you know, day 101. So let's get an MRE in us. Why the hell not? Actually, have some maple syrup. Treat yourself, Ivan. We've bloody done it pretty much. That's got to be pumping the calories. 80, yeah. Yeah, we may get overweight from that. Let's light the fire. Lovely stuff. We're going to bed. We'll see you on day 100. All right. Day 100. So we got to survive to day 101. Then we would have survived 100 days. So I suppose today we'll probably just go around the perimeter. Make sure it's all clear. Check our gate. So we got a bit of fog coming in. Yep. The gate's all okay here. And the gate's all okay here. Perfect. Okay. So it's 10 to 9. I have been stood outside all day. Because I wanted to see what happens when we do get so cold i mean our body temperature is 22 and we are actually losing health oh yeah we're hyperthermic <laughs> Um, okay, right, well, we better go inside then. Never been hyperthermic. Looks like we're not losing health anymore, but that's fine. Let's go into our nice uh, hot fire room. Yeah, look at this. We're gaining it now. Lovely stuff. Right, well, we're going to go to bed, and tomorrow, well, we've bloody completed it, haven't we? We'll see you then. Okay, day 101. We have awoken. Let's, let's leave the fire running, you know? So we need to survive one more hour. So let's just fast forward a little bit. There we go. We've done it. We survived 100 days in project. Project Russia. Three months, 10 days. As you all know, Project Zomboid month is 30 days, so 369, 10, 100 days. Wow, it has been an adventure. Let's bring the old map up and we'll go over, you know, where we've been and everything like that as we normally do. So, yeah, humble beginnings over here, which then led us to here. I really like this. It's probably the best base I've ever seen, you know and I've ever had, I reckon. But we didn't really explore that much of the city, which is a bit of a shame, but there's so many zombies down there. It'd, it'd take weeks to get through it. But we did explore some of these little areas down here, which were pretty cool. Not that many military places. I mean, this place was carnage, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, absolute carnage. If you go there, make sure you're either coming through this way. Looks like there's probably an entrance there, to be honest, though. Um, yeah, coming through this, this way uh, over here, so you have water. Or maybe don't take high first. This area was pretty good. I think we got a police station in there. Yeah, I, I, I regret not being able to get down in here, especially because it looks like there's an airfield there as well, and this could have possibly been some military barracks or something. But the colours... Oh, what was that? I reckon that was some kind of prison, you know. But the colours haven't actually been that accurate, especially with the city here. This was a bit of a nightmare trying to navigate and find stuff. There's probably some good weapon locations in here that we just didn't find, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. This little island was pretty cool. It was really cool, actually. This, what I originally thought was an airfield, was not. It was just, uh, I think, a little town or something. Yeah, it was a little little town, wasn't it? And this was a warehouse over here. This, I'm guessing, is farmland, maybe? maybe yeah i feel like this is unfinished i could be wrong let me know in the comments oh uh, we never went over here either but uh, there could actually be something over here look at this and there's a bridge that could have been something mm. well it's food for four and this here looks pretty cool as well but you know it is what it is to be honest let's have a look, quick look over our skills uh, yeah we didn't really pump that many i mean axe we got to what no nah, four and a half which is quite nice this maintenance is good handy is such a good trait actually i'm gonna play with that more often i think because having the carpentry we didn't even really grind carpentry but we managed to get the levels which is nice because most places i'd be wanting to get carpentry to get onto the roof to put a rain collector the plumbing sinks obviously this run we haven't been able to because we didn't have rain and we didn't have the mod snow is water because i thought it might be a little bit too easy but we have found free water dispensers so you know make of that what you will so i'm an mre actually we got anything nicer no it looks like being mre have that also have a smoke as well ivan yeah mechanics we've grown quite a lot actually didn't we long blade as well but farming i think what well, we we harvested some seed bearing crops early on aiming was an absolute nightmare to grind and level three is pretty pretty useless with these weapons normally level three you're okay but with these nah maybe because i just use pistols around level three and not rifles but we didn't have many rounds for the pistols did we that was the issue so i mean with a higher aiming skill these rifles would would have been more handy temperature we was act okay actually we didn't get hyperthermic until that yesterday and that's because i intentionally stood outside look at this fog um because i intentionally stood outside all day just to see so when you drop to around 20 you start getting that interesting so this was the easy version of 
cryogenic winter uh, mainly as just a test to see what it was like as i haven't done a run with it before but also i wanted it cold as we are in russia but i didn't want it too cold but you know it's good to know for next time so maybe if i do do a cryogenic winter run again we we'll probably go for medium i think but we'll see we'll see now let's get on to the kills now long blunts how we're looking baseball bat 92 sledgehammer 2 okay bare hands 18 so 18 stomps is that it Axes 2843. Bearded Axe, yeah, I remember that. It was two handed though, wasn't it? And slow, like a sledgehammer. Hatchets, the one. Oh, well, two hatchets. Um, <laughs> Normal Axe, Pulaski Axe. They are a bit slow. Tomahawk was good. Good range on that, but we only found the one. 71 on the pickaxe. 301 on the hand axe. Long blade, yeah, machete. Nice. 1211. Firearms, this is interesting. So the shotgun, 84. Pistol, 128. AKM, 141. Tokarev pistol. 141. That submachine gun was pretty good actually. The AKS 74U, 129. And the AS Val rifle that was suppressed on PKM. We got 36 out of 100 rounds. So 36% hits. That's not bad. Well, 36% kills. That's not bad. And vehicles. Bloody hell, 130. Well, there we go. It has been a lot of fun, this one. It has been a lot of fun. Now, there was lag issues in, in the city, which is, I think it's just a mixture of the amount of zombies, the weather, the snow on the floor, and also such high buildings. It's kind of like that in Raven Creek, to be fair, but I think the snow just makes this a little bit worse. But it's been a hell of a lot of fun, that's for sure. Definitely check it out. So, we're probably going to leave it there for this episode and this series. Uh, as always, the mods are linked in the description as a Steam collection, so do check them out if you wanted to run any of these ones but yeah it's been a blast as always thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy watching it as i did playing it and we'll see you in the next one cheers just want to give a massive thank you to all of our youtube members but a big shout out to everyone on the shambler tier john smith rob jones 309 basehead akuna whiskey mcdaddy too cool norm slater sudsy 34 jasmina composition geek love nails and a coach in lunacy thanks guys really appreciate it